Good morning. Good morning, everybody. Good morning. Yesterday I started with. Din, 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 What's your favourite Christmas song? Din, 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 I think din, it's din, probably the the one they use in Die Hard. The weather outside is frightful. Oh, the weather outside is yeah. frightful. That's my favourite song. Yeah. Christmas song. Okay, I'm going to say it, because if you mention Christmas and Die Hard in one sentence, it is not a it Christmas is. film. Best Christmas film <laughs> of all time. No! It's my favourite. Hi, yeah. Just because it's set in Christmas. Yeah. We, I call, viewers know this story, because we always talk about it when we have Christmas in July and also Christmas in December. But I've had, we had, Andrew and I have never had a crossword in 15 years, not one. Ah. Nearly, because he forced me to sit and watch... I pers this is my personal opinion, have to say the most dreadful film I've ever seen, Ooh. Muppet Christmas Carol. What? Absolutely. What? He hyped it up yeah. and he hyped it up and he hyped it up and I thought, okay, I'll give it a go. Oh, my word. And you almost had a crossword over the Muppets. Yeah. <laughs> He made me watch it right to the very bitter end. It's so good. And he said, but there are dancing, singing Brussels sprouts. But that didn't even do and it rats. Me either. I know. Rats in, in, in grass skirts. What more do you want? I won't be watching that again. No. Kermit the Frog and Tiny Tim no. and Miss Piggy. Didn't do it for me. I love though. it. I think you're outnumbered here, Mark, because yeah, we're all in favour of Muppet Christmas Carol. It's always the case. <laughs> I mean, it just doesn't. Maybe I'm not on that humour length, you know, that wavelength or not. Oh, it's know. brilliant, especially, can, can we have a lump of coal, Mr Scrooge, for the fire? No, heat wave. This is my island in the sun. <laughs> seen it a few times of it. Yeah, just a few. <laughs> <laughs> it's a classic. Okay. It's a classic. Right. Love Actually's got to be up there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah Love yeah. that one. Always raises a little bit of a tear in Elle's yeah, eye, yeah. does that. Um, and the countless Christmas carols. The original, you know, the old black and white. Yes. Ones, yeah. I watched one of the old Santa Claus movies last year. Not keen. No. No, the Dudley no. Moore one. I've never I used seen to love Elf it as either. a kid. Elf is brilliant. Never seen Elf. That's got to be up there on my no, favourites. Right. Yeah, really. Nativity. The first Nativity. Oh yeah, is brilliant. Martin Freeman. Yeah, yeah that's, that's brilliant. Yeah. Um, text him. What's your favourite Christmas films? Yes, because yeah. it is. You might be thinking if you've just tuned in to Jury Maker, thing, what on earth is going on? Why is what Mark wearing a Christmas jumper? Why are there Christmas trees behind you? It's a fair question. A fair, very fair question. Very fair question. Well, yeah. it's Christmas in July. It's something that we do across all yeah. craft channels. And, it, and it, actually, it's not too bad today because it's, it's raining outside. Yeah, it was so, yesterday as well. Right, so Absolutely it bucketing down. I mean, if, it, if it was 40 degrees out there and we were sweltering and we were in shorts from the <laughs> waist down, then it'd be all right. But it, well, it's not too bad, actually, Christmas no. in July. No, it actually feels a little bit wintry outside. Yes. One of my friends I noticed on Facebook actually put her fire on yesterday. Lots of people have, yeah. Yeah, she's Amazing. like, it's July and I've had to I light know. my fire. I prefer it that, that than the other way, yeah, than I the, have to say. Than boiling hot. Oh, yeah, me too. Yeah. Me. Yeah, no, look, you, you know, yeah. I don't function in anything over 30 degrees. No. <laughs> I just turn into like, oh, yeah. <gasps> can't go, it's too hot. <laughs> um, anyway, what have we got planned for you this Super Sunday? Exactly that. It's going to be super. Those of you that had your eyes on the racks. They are cool, aren't they? There's a sentence yeah. I never thought I'd be saying. What's that? Those you of you that had racks. eyes on the racks. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, a, a, kind of a little bit like the conversation we had yesterday, really. Um, but the racks, there's got to be a better way. Displays. Let's call them displays. The displays <laughs> um, are available as your early bird this morning. If well, you're I thinking love... about your craft events, your. I love these. These yeah, cars. yeah, they're coming. They come with it, do they? Yes. Oh, it's part of it. They're how amazing. perfect. Yeah, yeah, and yeah. that's how we did our essentials hour yesterday. Perfect. Displaying Ross's bits and bobs. Yeah. What was the other ones that were said, Ross? Wow. Yesterday. Sorry to bring it up again. Ross's essentials. That one. That's quite a tame one. Ross's yeah. essentials. Yeah. yeah. There was a, there was a few nice suggestions. Essentials. <laughs> yeah. Um, lots of people trying to get their hands on Ross's essentials. <laughs> you know, there was all of that. Um, trying to grab his stash. Grab his like stash. That, yeah. Grab his bits and bobs. Right. Yeah. yeah. Um, the, one, one customer said she has to wait for her <laughs> husband to leave the room so that she could grab Ross's bits and bobs. Right. Yeah, fair enough. <laughs> um, <laughs> today it's all about racks. Yeah. Um, so they're coming up as your early bird this morning. So we're doing those at nine o'clock. Oh, amazing. Um, so we can't shop ahead and pre-order on those as of yet, but they are coming Do we have many of them? Oh, that's a good question, actually. Do we have many? And uh, most importantly, what's the price? 
Well, I'll show you. We have we've got a hundred, singles as well, haven't we? Yeah, we have a hundred of each, and you can get the white yeah, and the black, joking. and they come with the cards. Yeah, yeah, I know, amazing. So very, very, very affordable. Hundred of each. Yeah. Is that all? I know. I know. No. Oh no! I know they will sell out. That's a certain. Um, that's why we've put them in the wow. nine o'clock hour right. because then more people can see them. Obviously, and it's fair. It's fair that way. That's and they come amazing. with the cards. You haven't got to buy those cards brilliant. separately. That's amazing. Your deal of the day today. Those of you that know me, and I had this conversation the other day actually. Um, <clears throat> what's your favourite? Somebody actually said, "What's your favourite item to discuss on air?" And I was like, "Oh gosh, that's a tricky question. I should be able to answer it." Very you are easy. you are probably more enthusiastic over pearls than any other. Well, that was my answer. Yes. And yeah, yeah, your yeah. deal of the day are some of the most yeah. lustrous pearls that you could possibly, possibly wish for. Now, these are natural colours. They are beautiful. But, oh, seriously, Agreed. they look like they've been dipped in gold. And I think the, the nicest part about your little speed, your little talks on pearls are when you talk about the virtues. The five virtues, yeah. absolutely. <laughs> the five virtues, it yes. does. It sounds ever so seductive, it does, doesn't yeah. it? Um, so your deal of the day, and you are going to get a mega wow. deal of the day today, full. Look, I mean, look at the it's overtones. Like amatrine. Yeah. You've got, <laughs> mm, well, we. I don't know if our graphics actually said it. Let's double check. They should say the word metallic in there. And remember, I'm just going to throw this one and then we'll move on. But um, <clears throat> they should say metallic because, because from a harvest, from a harvest of 10,000 pearls, less than 10 will be naturally metallic. And you've got a full strand here. So um, incredibly, incredibly rare. So they're coming up at 10 o'clock today for all you pearl lovers out there. Amazing. I need to show you this showcase as well that Chris oh. perfectly displayed this morning. We've waited um, years for this. Wait, years? It's been ages. Can I show my favourite one? Yeah. I'll just, you, you peruse while I put my specs on. I'm just going to show put you. Put my specs on. This. Yeah. Wayne actually asked uh, producer Ross, you know, we've got a parcel of fossil jasper, natural fossil jasper, which takes billions of years to form. Um, do you want it in your show? And Ross is like, do I want it? Look at that. Of course I want it. Isn't that absolutely extraordinary? Aren't they stunning? Look at these. <sighs> yeah. Uh, white one, look. They've they taken billions of years to form. It must, it must be six or seven years since we've had fossil on the show. A long, long, been. long time. Yeah, yeah a long time. So you saw how Four popular times. your Botswana Agate was, that showcase. Um, <clears throat> this is going to go in exactly that same direction. Incredibly, incredibly wow. rare. And you've got different fossil, uh, fossils within each of those. I know, in amazing. That's your favourite, is it? That's my favourite. Um, and you've got all your rounds. You've got yeah. your beautiful graduation. So this is happening at 11 o'clock today. Um, so make sure you're ready for that one, everyone, because it's going to create quite the frenzy. And I'm also thinking we'll go perfectly with what this hour features. So this hour, and we did speak about it yesterday, is last of stock jadeite. Yeah. I haven't done one of these hours for a very long time because let's let's say it as it is. We don't we shouldn't really want to be clearing out our jadeite. There's a gem so we can't. The, um, the no, wheel no, there's not. Um, yeah, this hour is all about your colours of type A jadeite. None of these are dyed. None of these are type B or type C. They are all totally and utterly natural. Um, so it, it won't take you too long. And please be careful, though, when you're sourcing jade that you're looking for type A um, and you're also looking for the real deal because obviously with something considered as valuable as jadeite is, it does sort of leave itself exposed to, um, to potential imitation. So these are genuine laboratory certified type A jadeite, the rarest of the rare, arguably one of the most valuable gemstones um, in the world, um, certainly one of the rarest. So these are coming up in this hour. Um, and it's not just what's on this tea bar. If you have a little look on the website, it is completely jam packed with amazing goodies. So all the W's at jewelrymaker.com, click watch live. And then if you scroll down the page when our, when our website takes a little, wakes itself up. Oh yeah, come on, come on website. Yeah, it's still got the bink, 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 <laughs> bink, bink, or the or the spinny wheel, oh, yeah. the buffer wheel of doom. Windmill of doom. Yeah, yeah. Is there, yeah. What, the, if you watch, it's like watching a bo uh, kettle mm, boil, isn't yeah. it? The more you watch it, the longer it seems to take. <laughs> but if you go to watch live and then you scroll down, yours will probably 
uh, jump up quicker than ours. But um, scroll down and you'll see like a menu of Last of Stock Beautiful Jadeite. Here we go. Bingo. Um, <coughs> also, all your beads, 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 essential beads, beads, 40. Use that and you can and some web deals on your Durston right. tools as well. Um, so you can shop all on, uh, of those. But if you're after one of the rarest gemstones in the world... <laughs> It always stitches me up the website. Um, like the collar wheels that Mark spotted. Ignore some of these prices because we will be taking them to true jewellery maker deals. Shop ahead to guarantee yours. You know the messages. You know we're not getting any more red. We've said that adamantly. Mm, yep. We will endeavour the bangle. Your bangle. Yeah, that bangle oh, yeah. is unbelievable. But they are super, super, super exclusive. If there's anyone you want me to physically bring to wear, then drop us a message because we are live in the studio, aren't we, Mark? Completely and utterly. How often do you get asked that question? All the time. All the are you actually I get, live? I get asked two questions. Yeah. I, they say, do you have a hair and makeup department? Yes. Is the first question. And then, is it really live? Yeah. It's the second. Or is it scripted? Yeah. I get that as well. How could we possibly script? As, yeah, that's what I said. <laughs> like, I, clearly, <laughs> <laughs> Clearly you have never watched then because yeah. you wouldn't think we were scripted if you actually watched for any length of time. Yeah. <laughs> Especially with me. Um, anyway, yes, yeah, so have a look on the website, some of our finest jadeite pieces. But look, let me just explain why we do things like this. It is not worth our while to have just ones and twos of these Absolutely items not. within our vault. Um, so you are getting them at true clearance deals. Last of stock opportunities this hour. And then mark your kits. I know. Really do, do, is let's completely. Talk, let's talk about the. Oh, I don't know which one first. No, let's let's do it in order. Okay. So nine o'clock kits is all about one of my favourite stones, black spinel. And if you've never used black spinel before, this is a really an introduction because we've got little we've got little starter strands of black spinel, five different shapes and sizes, with the most amazing sterling silver and cords and elastic. So that's coming up at nine o'clock. And then the last time I had these on the show was January the second. Well remembered. Yeah, I had a little check, and it's the long-awaited return of the Mosaic Disco Balls, which are one of my favourite products ever. We've got four colourways. We've got lavender, peach, aqua, and white. And this is just some of the pieces that um, we got featured. I mean, they're little that. works of art. They're aren't amazing, they? and they're, they are so smooth. I mean, they're intricately yeah. made. All these little pieces of shell have been popped into resin, yeah. and then drilled through and sh and polished. So and they're not they're, very they're scratchy. Just, no. They're going to be comfortable to Absolutely. wear. But they're Mark, gorgeous. whenever when you last brought these to air, which was some time ago, yeah, yeah. they always they all sell out, they don't went. they? They all went. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And in the, when we first launched them, which was about must be three or four years ago now, mm. we bought them as long strands. Yeah. And they were they were really expensive. Yeah. And we can't get them in strands anymore. So, we, so we've gone down to little packs of 10 and 20. Yeah. And just to give a little taste of, because you don't need very many. I mean, Well, no, you use them as individuals, size. don't Absolutely. you? Absolutely, yeah. Um, they're, they're so yeah, instead of them being, you know, a huge investment, yeah. um, you can get them at an affordable yeah. price tag. So we've got some messages into the studio. Good morning. Uh, hello, Kathy. I'm with Mark regarding the muck pits. Amazing. Really? Thank you, Kathy. Don't like you don't like the Muppets. Does that mean you didn't like the TV series? No, that's either? probably it. Actually, I wasn't a huge fan of the. They were a bit scary, the but Muppets. Yeah, when you when you were a child, some of them. I loved them. Mm. I, I used to really like the grumpy old men as well. I used yeah. to think they were hilarious. <laughs> the grumpy old men who sat on the balcony. Yeah. Um, hello, Kent. Say Muppet Christmas Carol. Best bit: light the lamp, not the rat. <laughs> You have to be there, I think. <laughs> <laughs> it's so good. Uh, hi, Amandi. Hi, Alan Mark. Uh, not a Christmas film, but Grease 2. OMG. Grease 2. Maxwell Caulfield and Michelle Pfeiffer. Oh, I think, yes. that, I think that was her first film, wasn't it? Was it? I think it was. It seems to bring about that was her first she's film. She's a good yeah. Sandy, Michelle Pfeiffer, because let's be mm. honest, she's very attractive, isn't mm. she? Mm. She makes a good Sandy. I can't remember the film, though. I know I've watched yeah. it, but I can't remember the film. Very 80s. Very 80s. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, hello, Margaret, saying good morning. Not a film exactly, but Ross Kemp's um, A Christmas Carol. Oh, very watchable. Oh, I've never seen that. So he played Scrooge, I'm assuming. OK. I, yeah, I need to... Yeah, he, wouldn't, he wouldn't have made Bob Cratchit, would he? He would have been Scrooge, I would imagine. He'd make a good Scrooge Ross Kemp. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. He's, oh, he is Scrooge, is he? Oh, there you go. Have you got the picture, have you? Uh, yeah, yeah. Is this Ross Kemp, the guy, the SAS guy? Yes, from EastEnders, oh. the Mitchell brother. Yeah. Yeah. Huh. Yeah. I need to see this. Yeah. I feel like we're all going to go home and watch this <laughs> when we get home. 
amazing. Oh, Ross is going to show us a picture. Of him. <clears throat> I want to say. Apparently, he's really good. Well, he's a good. He's a good actor, yeah, isn't he? He's yeah, a very yeah. good actor. Yeah. Um, I almost wish he was Bob. <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah, he would make a good Scrooge. Who was Bob? In this. Oh, okay. Gosh, that, yeah. there's an 80s picture if ever I've seen yeah, one. Yeah. Look that's, at that. That's, um, that's Warren Mitchell, isn't it? Alf Garnet. Oh, gosh. Yeah. Wow. I need to watch that now. This is quite an old... Yeah, right. He is, it, that, he's like, it's like they've just put... So it's just set in modern Mr. What, what was his name? Mitchell? Phil? Was he yeah. Phil? Grant, he was. He was Grant Mitchell on that yeah. poster. That's yeah. what it... <laughs> they've just put him on there. Strange. Uh, so I guess this is a modern interpretation of, yeah. of, of A Christmas Carol then. Okay. okay so I've oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Christmas past, present and future. They're the three ghosts. Uh -huh. Ah, okay, yes. okay. Yes. Hello to you, Kent, saying Elf starts our Christmas countdown oh. in our house. A good film to get the Christmas mood. Have a good day, Ellen Mark. Mwah. And to you, Bless V. You. Yeah, Elf every time. I'll never get bored of that. You need to yeah, watch I Elf. Watch that. Yeah. It is good. Santa, I mm. know him. <laughs> I love a good Christmas film. Uh, oh, hiya, Ted. I'm with you, Mark. Muppet Christmas Carol. Yeah. Muppet Christmas Carol. Die yeah. Hard Any Day. Amazing. Sorry, Ted. I can't, I can't agree yeah. with you on that one. Yeah. <laughs> maybe the Muppets should do a film around <laughs> Die Hard. That maybe they should supply Kermit in a white vest. And no shoes. No shoes. No shoes and yeah, socks. A bit dirty I'd with a gun. Yeah. I'd watch that one. I think he'd make a really good. A Bruce Muppets Willis. Christmas Die Hard. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Yes. Die Hard with a Muppet. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I, I, there's, a, there's a catchphrase from Die Hard, isn't there? Yeah. But yippee yay. -yay. Oh, yeah. 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 I imagine Kermit saying that. yippee yeah. yay, -yay. <laughs> 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 Amazing. Chris, this is what jewellery makers yeah. like. Sorry, we're still <laughs> welcoming Chris into the fold and he's thinking right now, what on earth is going on? And they say it's scripted, honestly. Yeah, it's scripted. Who could have come yeah, up with totally it? totally scripted, absolutely. <laughs> um, OK, shall we get cracking? Keep those messages coming in, though, because they're tickling yes. me. I d now have got this visual of Kermit the Frog as, as Bruce Willis. In a dirty Willis. white vest. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Now, your last of stock, beautiful type A jadeite. And we are going to start with a brand new low price tag. Um, so get yourself ready. Now there's a hundred of this one, so technically shouldn't really be in uh, this oh, yeah. in this uh, hour. So we're going to start with ah oh, the lotus flower. Um, okay, here we go. It's a brand new low price tag. Lotus flower is one of the rarer colours. That's the fusion of colours that you get within this, and it's totally and utterly natural. Look at where we are starting, jewellery makers. Now that is. I, let me just check before I say it. Through drilled, yeah. Through drilled. Um, the lotus no. flower considered to be a, 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 a symbolic of transition and symbolic of going through that muddy journey like the real yes. flower actually yeah. does and That's blooming right. out the other side as well. Um, and you can see it, can't you? You can see that beautiful lavender presence. This is totally natural. We're starting at $39.99. Technically, these aren't last in stock. We've got 100 of them available. Now, whether you put it upwards, I guess, like it would in nature. Well, I was just thinking that I would put it downwards uh -huh. and I would put a little, I put a, get a head pin mm -hmm. and I would put a little two millimeter bead at the point. Yeah. And then as you're working up towards the shepherd hook, you'd start with a 10, 8, 6, oh, 4. Oh, lovely. So you get a beautiful shape of beads at the top. Beautiful. It'd be lovely, wouldn't Love it? Love that yeah. idea. Yeah. And this is Lotus Flower Type A Jade. Now, to launch what will be an absolutely amazing Sunday, but and also an incredible last of stock opportunity to source one of the world's rarest gemstones. Never been lower than what's on your screens. I mean, we are at $39.99 for Type A Jade. Right. You don't see those prices in, in Mason and Kay. You don't see those prices in Sotheby's and Christie's and Bonham's and First Dibs. You don't. Um, but what you do see them is here at Jewelry Maker. Now, straight away, we have got people getting multiples. Are you thinking your suites of jewelry? Are you thinking, have you got someone in your mind? Because, uh, uh, you know, I can certainly th think of some of my nearest and dearest who are maybe going through a time in their mm. lives, you know, where yeah. they've had a bit of a, 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 a tough year. One friend in particular, she's had a particularly tough year, um, but she's coming through it, you know, and she's, she, she's all, it's all looking positive moving forward. This What's, is number one, isn't it? Yeah. Aren't we forgetting to mention one? Quite important little. Oh, oh, I didn't know. 
you know what I saw? I thought, that looks familiar. And then I just checked on the little specs there, look. I didn't know. Designed by our very own beautiful Hand Susie carved. Menham. Hand carved, work of art, and we're not even stopping oh. at 29.99. Hope she's not watching. I hope not as well. I hope she's having a like, lie-in after a day's work yesterday. Well, yeah. I won't tell her if you won't. No, okay. Uh, and we're gonna take it to a brand new Every day. single person so far has multi-bought them. Yeah. Because if you think tattoos, yeah. lotus flowers are often, oh, yeah, uh, you yeah. know, a requested tattoo. I bet Tom's tattoo. got one, has he? He hasn't, actually. Oh, no, he right. hasn't got, no, right. he's got... He's we won't got... get on the tattoo chat again. <laughs> <laughs> that was an interesting that conversation, was. wasn't it? Yeah. yeah. Um, he's got tigers, he's got a yeah. willow tree, he's got ja a Japanese lady. I've got, yeah, mm. I, lots of tattoos mm. on there. But yeah. no, not a lotus flower, yeah. actually. Yeah. Um, but it is very much requested, again, because it's got meaning behind it. The lotus flower is considered to be the most beautiful flower and certainly one of the rarest, and it grows in murky waters. And it's right. symbolic of that, that, you know, transition in your life. You know, maybe you've gone through difficult times, rocky periods, and it's the blossom that comes mm. at the other side. Um, we're taking it to a brand new low, lovely jewellery maker starting your Sunday with an absolute bang. Yet, we did, none of us knew that this is actually one of Susie's uh, pieces. So apologies to Susie if you are watching. Today we are taking it to a brand new low, even though there is quantity of them. Um, I mean, just imagine those two on a pair of oh, shepherd hooks. Stunning. I think beautiful so earrings. Beautiful. Or one on a simple chain. And we had chains yesterday. If you d weren't able to watch yesterday, we might be able to recap some of them. £19.99. Oh, it's not... We're not talking about a gemstone that's abundant. Jadeite, especially this location of Jadeite, Burma, mm. is mined out. And yet he'll go, ah, oh, brand new low, yay. <laughs> <laughs> you know, for, I'm just saying, you know, it's Burmese jadeite. We shouldn't be taking it to those, those crazy low prices. It's irreplaceable. Our team are in China. In fact, they might be on their way back soon. Um, in China, trying to source more uh, um, um, opportunities of your type A jadeite. However, it is not looking likely. 1999, Candy, Carole, Marion, hello to you, North Yorkshire and London and London. Well done to you, Susan and Lancashire. New customers getting involved. Um, amazing deals. I'm just thinking one mm. little pearl lotus yeah, flower. Gorgeous. That'd be so pretty, wouldn't it? No, it's my kind of jewellery, yeah, that is. Yeah. Um, and it's only going to cost you £40 for type A jadeite. Yeah. You know, I've said it so many times before, Mark, but these are opportunities, purchases of gemstones that we will mm. never regret, no, will no, we? No, no, no. It's when, got, it's got um, an art deco look about it, hasn't it? Yeah, definitely. Like old cinemas. Yeah. Reminds me of the swags and things of old cinemas. Do you remember the day when the ice cream lady used to come oh, down yeah. through the... With it? Yeah. I used to want that job. <laughs> Did you? Yeah. I was like, I want to be the ice cream lady at no. the cinema. Uh, because every, oh, every kid's excited to see the ice cream yeah. lady, aren't they? Well, you get, the, you get the ice cream with a little wooden spoon. Love that. <laughs> that was my goals. That was my goals, yeah. Um, amazing. Well done, everybody. Um, let's do... It's this. Oh, it's so beautiful. This has only ever been on air once. Look at that colour. I'm not surprised you're shopping ahead on this. It's such oh, a rare yeah. colour. It's like spearmint it is, almost. yeah, yeah. Um, it's very pale sage, isn't it? It's yeah, lovely. beautiful. Really like that. Silvery I mean, sage. Color. And look how wet the luster is as well. Remember, with quality jade eye, it should look like a melting ice cube. Um, you should have that lovely wet surface luster, and that indicates that you've got a fine crystal structure. So. Uh, um, minimal fractures or mottling within the gemstone, which is obviously going to assist to the translucency. I'm not surprised you've shopped ahead on this one. It's such an elegant strand. Beautiful, sometimes referred to as like, mm. oh, it is on our graphics, yeah, rice bead yeah. shapes. Um, you know, it's going to work lovely with your kits that are coming up, Mark, I think. Perfect, with the spinel. Yeah, yeah, with the black spinel. How many do we have of these then, Moscow? 15. Okay. So, got a bigger quantity. Look at that quality. That's gorgeous. And it's exactly the same colour from one end to the other, yep. which is really nice. Yeah. Perfectly, perfectly matched. Um, and look, when we first started selling jade here at Jewelry Maker, and it was nice, but it wasn't this quality. No. I think we can all agree on that one. It was much more opaque, much more mottled, um, didn't have the translucency. The quality, we really, it's, it is probably the only benefit really that I can uh, I can sort of say out loud um, on the back of the pandemic is the quality of the cal uh, of the jadeite that we've managed to bring to air we're at 149 pounds there's only a handful of them available 
and we are going to take it under £100. Mm. If you are a collector of jadeite, and I tell you what, what a collection um, to have, a gemstone that is no longer being mined after centuries upon centuries of unearthing this beautiful gemstone, um, considered to be one of the world's rarest in the top 10, most definitely considered to be one of the most expensive. You know, what an, a, an amazing decision to collect this gemstone. Um, well, make hay while the sun shines because that window of opportunity is definitely closing. We're going to take it under £100. Keep an eye on that split payment as well, which is 0% interest. This, again, I'm going to steal a Dave Trothism. We shouldn't be able to get jadeite, type A jadeite, out of money from a cash machine. It is a gemstone that's normally wire, bank transferred and all of yeah. that. You know, upward bids, not downward bids. Let's clear the vault. One opportunity singly. Look at the quality. It is a really beautiful, like, oh, that's like a Granny Smith apple it is. green, it isn't is it? It is, actually, yeah. It's and kind of in a wastage as well, isn't it? I'm just thinking if it was a if it was a rectangle shape, a cuboid, yeah. and then they cut the raise, cut the rice bead out. That's quite a bit of wastage. Yeah, though, well, it's like it? a marquise, isn't it? Yeah. I suppose yeah. without the facets. Um, oh, he's gone rogue. Rogue Ross, going again. We want to bring you as many of these jade ideals. Celadon. I like the word. Isn't there a film production company called Celadon? Oh, I don't know. Seems to ring a bell. Mm. I'm not sure. Celadon. Oh, Celador. Is it? Celador. Oh. Is, it, is considered to be the nicest word to say in the English language? I mean, I think that's up for debate, don't you? I, I don't know. Technically not the English language, but I think the Welsh language, the nicest word to say is poppity ping. You know, microwave. Um, Celador. You, Adam likes saying cake. I like eating cake. Yeah. <laughs> cake. Uh, going even lower. Last of stock opportunities. Hello, Leone. Hello to Marion. Hello to Gloucestershire. Pompous, I like to say. Pompous, I think, is a good word. Pompous. Pompous. Yeah, that's good. Good word. Maker in London's getting two. Hello, Susan and Angela. Nice to see you. Make sure you're checking out your baskets. These are absolute clearance deals. We've had this, it's a rare opportunity for, uh, for us to do a last of stock opportunity jade hour. And we're not bringing you the lesser quality, we're bringing you oh, some of our finest yeah. examples. I mean, look at the colour wheel strand for, as an example of that. Yeah, yes. Look at that split payment, my goodness me. 19 pounds and 99 pence only <laughs> um, for apple green. And it's totally natural. There's no dyeing, there's no polymer impregnation. It's all mother nature. Make sure you're checking out though, because we had a limited quantity of these. They would go beautifully they with would. your um, with your yeah. uh, spinel that's coming up in the mm. nine o'clock hour. And of course, if you've if you stocked up on your stashes, Ross's essential stash grab yesterday. Did that, that go well? It went very well, yeah. People oh, were brilliant. crying. Right. We might have the last of stock today. Right. Um, people were crying out for their essentials. I saw the heavy they would, ship and hooks sold out in seconds. Yeah, yeah. they were. Yeah. They we were desperate for Ross's bits, weren't we? Absolutely desperate for them. Seventy nine ninety nine only, um, or nineteen ninety nine. <laughs> <laughs> um, well done. <laughs> that beautiful green. We've gone back there. Yes, we have. We've gone back there. Um, Susan, well done to you. <laughs> London, well done to you. Look at that beautiful, like melting ice cube luster, all natural and of course certified. So if you want to get your documentation, you can do that. Well done. Amazing. Um, let's move on to... The red jade, this strand is incredible. Firstly, it's super long. Um, Chris, can I, can I ask for a bust? Thank you, lovely. Um, because That's amazing. look at the length of this. And you get two sizes of spade, don't you? You're basically you buying two strands buying two in one, strands. aren't you? Yeah. Because that's like a normal jadeite length, isn't it? Thank you, lovely. Um, Thanks. And then you try and get hold of, bless Chris, um, you try and get hold of like the rounds and the rice beads, yeah, you know, exactly. it's two separate yeah. price points. And then you've got obviously got a, are they colour matched perfectly? Well, look at that. Look just, at that. just strand it. This is, this, this is like Sotheby's eat your heart yeah. out. Remember Roland Schlusel's words. He said to actually get uh, um, an exclusive solid red jadeite, natural red jadeite, piece of jewellery or carving is astonishingly rare. And we know that because 
it's how it forms. Um, there he is. There is Roland Schlussel alongside Dave Troth at uh, Tucson. That's not this year. That was the year previously. Um, had the privilege of, uh, of meeting him. Very friendly chap. And if you look just over Dave's shoulder as well, look how little red jade out yeah, there is. Yeah. Um, and he actually said at that, that event, I remember the words, he actually said, well, once this is gone, and he was kind of pointing to all his jade out pieces, he says, we're going to have to diversify mm. into other gemstones because it's irreplaceable. Um, he believes that the red jade out will actually overtake uh, the price point um, of your imperial green because it is the rarest colour. No ifs, buts or maybes, it is. Um, because it forms sometimes in, in the oxidisation of the boulders. Not always, though. So here it is, pillar and stone. The price of type A jade eye is right now at an all-time high, particularly difficult for us to source, uh, is, is the sourcing of the skin. That's the red, by the way. This is the fancy colours of jade, lavender and red. These prize colours are so rare because this is the skin of the boulder as it oxidises. This is why you never get solid red colour sculptures or jewellery. The skin is so thin comparatively and and the boulders aren't coming out in the current market. And wow. yet here I have for you all a solid red type A jadeite strand necklace, whatever you want it to be. And I always say with red jadeite, it should look like the ripest, juiciest cherry tomato. That's, yeah, if you, if you see as an example, how little of that boulder is red. Mm. We're talking probably barely a millimetre. Yeah, yeah. um, he, he went on to say these colours have turned the industry on their head. The demand and supply is a real issue and as such we are seeing some of the highest prices for this material and still dealers are reluctant to sell because it's simply irreplaceable. Um, we are finding it easier to provide imperial green to our clients and at a more affordable price tag for the first time ever. So again I go back to that uh, question. Do you think we are going to regret purchasing red jadeite um absolutely not i mean i haven't got a crystal ball i can't read into the future but if it's irreplaceable that's good if you have it in your in your collection remember what wayne said as well our gemstone buyer look we can get it but it's treated it'll be type b and it's more expensive so hmm. so what we've got we've made the decision what we've got we're not getting it again not getting it again. So um, this is one of the last chances. And I, I know we won't have many of these, Roscoe. How many have we got? Five, yeah, five. exactly. So there's five left in the vault. And it will sell out this morning for sure. It's a long strand as well. You've got 65 centimetres. You want to see, get an idea of price points of red jade eye elsewhere? Well, it's not £499. Let me just put it that way. Um, so you can look at a bangle that was sold at auction. And this was um, back in 2014 when the mine was still operational. They don't focus. Let's be honest, it's more white than red, yeah. isn't it? <laughs> um, but look, sold at auction back in... Uh, uh, 10 years ago, 10 years ago, when, when the Burmese mine was still unearthing jadeite, 25,000 US dollars. We've got a little snuff bottle I think we can show you. There it is. That's cute. It is sweet. 2007, and by the way, that's, that'll be tiny. Estimate between 10,000 and 15,000 US dollars dollars back in 2007 what do you think that'd be valued at now yeah, or sell for now yeah. you know here we are at 499 pounds and still not done um again tucson 2022 the boulder skin has di completely disappeared from the market as it's the only material that has never been stockpiled this this has resulted in the most drastic price jump in the jade market has ever seen we strongly feel that it won't be long before the auction record held by per is held by purple or red jade, uh, which changes everything we have ever understood about jade. That was spoken um, in Tucson last year. We're at £499. If you look at the colour wheel from Mason and Kay, you'll see you have the finest, rarest colours within this strand. Now, we have five, and already a couple of these have gone, so well done to that collector. I've got other people on the phone lines and also on the web. Wendy, you've got yours. Well done, lovely. Just simply restrand it you don't need to reinvent the wheel with something like this oh, wow. straight down to your amazing
amazing clearance deal. Please know, I feel duty bound to say this now, please know that is no reflection of the true value or worth. This is something that, and I get it costs money to do it. Um, I used to work in the jewelers where they did lots of valuations. Um, at some point, get this valued. And the reason why you need to get it valued, not just for your own ego, but for insurance purposes, yeah, because yeah. to actually replace something like this, we're not going to be able to do it for £299. Um, we can't do it right, right now, today. £74.75 on your 0% interest split payment. Well done. Wendy, you've got yours. London's multi-bought. Sue, Maker, North Yorkshire, Theresa and Elizabeth. I've got three left, so I'll leave those with you. You are over allocated. I've got one more red jade strand to bring you. Well done, Elizabeth. I've got eight left out of the 150 that we first launched. It's a finished oh, yeah. piece of jewellery if you want it yeah. to be. Um, it's already knotted. Look how beautiful that is. So again, long strand. All the work's done for you, isn't it? It is. Take off two from the end for earrings and uh, use the threads to pop on a little lobster clasp or something. Gorgeously colour yeah, matched as well. It's beautiful, isn't it? Again, when you, see, when you think back to that boulder, and not every boulder will oxidise, how little of that boulder it had the lavenders in there, didn't it? it? had the greens in there, but there was, I don't even you know if you could describe it as a millimetre of the red colour. Yeah, exactly. Was that even worthy of cutting? I'm not sure. I'm no expert on it. But these are solid and they are totally natural. These have not been dyed, polymer impregnated um, in any way, shape or form. Now we have the final few of these available in the vault. That quantity is... Oh, first price crash. We're going to match the price of the rice beads. 65 centimetre strand. What's the quantity, Ross? Eight, okay. Look at the split payment. There's five split payments wow. on this. I do remember. Yes, 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 yeah. Out of the 150, that's right, we added five-way split payment for the first time ever. Oh. So more people could actually get involved. It was on the 4th of, the, of this month, 19 days ago, and then we crashed the system on the back of it. Um, so we've got eight of these left. For whatever reason, I don't know, maybe somebody changed their mind um, or fell out of baskets, whatever it is. It was the day that Wayne revealed to us all and said, look, we can't get red anymore. This is the last time. Um, we're going to match that price for you straight away we've got collectors in london hi amaya hello to cheshire hello to telephone caller i've got eight available going even lower than 299 pounds again that consistency and quality of that cherry tomato red that's not a term that they use in china by the way they don't use cherry tomato but i figure if it's okay to say mutton fat um, then I think it's okay to yeah, say cherry absolutely. tomato. And it does describe it perfectly, the yeah. colour that we want. Um, look at the split payment. We introduced that at the beginning of this month. Crash the web. I've got the final eight opportunities. £199 wow. only to get hold of this, or £39.80 pence with your 0% interest split payment. You heard Roland Schlussel's word, who, who, by the way, Roland Schlussel is like one of the most influential individuals in the jade world, particularly here in the West. He has contributed, hugely qualified, by the way, he's a doctor of lots of different things, um, as is his wife. Um, hugely qualified. He's written in countless books. The book of Jade he's written on, oh. that Dave carries, the book that he was holding in that photograph he contributed to as well. So he, he knows his stuff, um, I think it's fair to say. So if he, he predicts that Red Jade is going to overtake Imperial Green moving forward, I'd take that. Yeah. I'm totally yeah. going to go with that. Um, there he is. So he, that in colour book, and you can see Jade there um, on the front cover. That's why we wanted that photograph, because he was wow. one of the authors. Now, um, remember, you only also have 22 minutes on this hour. Gillian, Maker, Karen, Carola, Sharon, Maker, Patricia, Maya, and Cheshire. We cannot go any lower. It was irreplaceable at £299. It's irreplaceable, frankly, at £999. Um, and here we are bringing it to you um, at one today. I had eight available. These have already been confirmed. Um, we're over allocated. But if you're watching right now and you haven't made added it to your basket yet, you haven't yet picked up the phone lines, just to give you a heads up, there still is chance. Um, you can still do it. Um, we're not going any lower. We're not going any lower. We've got the five-way split payment. There's four of them left wow. um, within the vault. 
Dawn, Gillian, Karen, Maker, Dorothy, you've just got yours. Sue's on the phone lines. You can do it as well, Sue. Just press your option one, speak to our call center. Amazing. Karen, you've got yours as well. Um, congratulations. What an amazing, amazing purchase for you all to get hold of Type A Red Jade. I, maybe worthwhile as well getting your certificate of authenticity because it will say that it's Type A grade. Now, if you want rounds, um, there is, um, okay, there is item number 25 on the website. There is only one, though. Oh. Um, so if you've missed out on this one, I can show you a photograph on the website, oh, yeah. yeah. Um, so that's a 38 centimetre strand, 150 half carats. You can get hold of that one if you wish. Um, there are only three left of this next opportunity. I love these. Comes boxed, obviously. It's so beautiful, oh, isn't it? Look at this. It's, you know, this is, this is, I, and I said it when we launched did, these, yeah, I, genuinely one of my favourite pieces we've ever brought to air. It just screams Cartier for me. Um, that could walk out of a Cartier boutique, I think. And Cartier, of course, work with your type A black jadeite. And then on this side, you have your beautiful type A translucent imperial white. Zircon, there's only three of these available, set in a huge amount of 925 sterling right, silver. Yeah, um, a hinged bangle. Look, so you can see and feel. Listen, you can feel that quality. Um, and it's going to, instead, if you struggle with the full bangles, the full carved bangles, then a hinged bangle is definitely the way forward. The quality is unbelievable, second to none. The grade of your of your jadeite, I mean, you've got to think it's carved into that curve. Um, so it is a work of art. There are only three of these left in the world. There was only ever about 15, I think, ever commissioned. Um, I think that was the highest oh, quantity. Yeah. Um, sorry, beg your pardon, oh, there was 30. Yeah. That's 30 in the world, though. Can we just put that into perspective? 30 in the world own a, ba a, a bangle like this. How exclusive. You know, when speaking of Cartier, when they do limited <coughs> edition, they still do thousands. You know, when they do one of a kind yeah. pieces, which yeah. they do, okay, that you're talking hundreds of thousands of pounds then, but their, their limited edition pieces are still thousands mm. in their quantity. Um, you've got genuine zircon, type A monochrome, that yin and yang contrast which I just love you've got that feng shui connection as well um, with the meaning of your jade I'm going to leave that with you because there's interest on the web so good luck at 499 fabulous um, let's do oh oh black carved landscaped oh yes sorry yes double carved I love this one the works of art, aren't they? I just remember, like, I mean, to paint this on a canvas is one thing, but to carve it out of something that is physically as hard as steel oh. by hand and get this level of detail. So you've got the, the beautiful sort of bridge. You can see the water coming down between the, uh, the mountains, the hidden pagoda. You've got those wonderful, very sculptured trees. That's like called the, cloud pruning in is the world it? of topiary. Is it? Mm. I thought they naturally formed no, like that. No, they no, don't. No. They've, been, they've been pruned to look like that. Amazing. Yeah. Yeah. It's through drilled as well. So you could easily just, you know, fit this directly onto your cord. You've got the river here and the little man in his boat there. Um, literally going down the river. Absolutely incredible. On the other side then as well, you've got further little bridge. Look at that detail. It is Stunning. artistry above all artistry. And remember what Wen Hao you spoke about in uh, Sotheby's, he was saying that when you're looking at um, jadeite, consider it not by its, you know, carat weight and, and, uh, and size. Look at it for, um, um, for the wow factor. You know, jadeite should have that wow factor because the artistry is as important as, um, as the quality of the gemstone. We're at £1,299. I mean, imagine this on like a beautiful corded necklace, absolutely stunning, um, that, I don't know, maybe you knotted either side yeah. using your technique. Yeah, yeah. Somebody referenced absolutely. that yesterday, by the way, Mark. Um, your foolproof knotting oh, yes. technique. That, 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 They've had a go. Yeah, and they did really well oh, on the amazing. Wall of Fame. Imagine doing that with this at the centre. Um, it's, it's basically two works of art in one, um, and they are all hand carved. Now, you know, how many master carvings have you actually seen us launch here at Jewelry Maker recently? Oh, that's true, yeah. None. We haven't launched any for a very, very, very long time. It's because we can't get hold of it. 
We literally cannot get hold of it anymore. It must be very frustrating for Wayne. Yeah. But that you know everybody is screaming out for these products and we just can't get any now. Can't get it. Um, must be quite. You know the world honest, wants yeah. it, don't they? Especially this level of artistry. Yeah, yeah. We're at four hundred and ninety-nine pounds, and we are not stopping there. Couple of you with it in your basket already. There's four of them left. Good luck. It is, you know, last chance, final opportunity. Never say <laughs> never in the world of gemstones, but it's highly unlikely. That's you know, um, with, with Mr. Lou and Bernard talking about the fact that, look, I, I, I'm, not, I'm not selling any more jadeite to you, uh, jewelry maker or gemporia, because um, the Chinese market will pay whatever price point. So I get that he's a yeah, businessman. Yeah, he has to true. look after his family and his employees as well. Um, so he is, it's being held exclusively now in China, as it was previously, to be honest. I only had four. I've got Caroline there. I've got Helen there. And I've got another maker there. You can still do it, though. They haven't yet confirmed. There's only four available. So pointless adding more to your basket, because there's not those available, basically. Um, make your confirmation. I'll leave that with you. Uh, last the stock opportunity on that one. Okay, next up, I'm going to bring you the colour wheel. Hello to you, Chrissy in the Vale of Glamorgan saying, morning all. Hope you all have a fab day. Uh, the TV guide says eight to nine jewellery display racks. Did I miss them? No, you didn't. No, They're coming up at nine o'clock. Um, you haven't missed them, my lovely. They're just there. Yeah, yeah. You can't shop ahead as of yet because there's only a hundred of them. And you get the cards as well. And you get the cards as well, yeah. That's a ridiculous point. Yeah, I know. So they are coming up. You haven't missed them, Chrissy. So they're at nine o'clock. Um, oh. Nine o'clock for those, lovely. Thank you for messaging in. Right. This was an idea, a concept that I heard. I agree. Mm -hmm. I agree, agree. This is the biggest auction, I think, in jewelry maker history. Um, and it was an idea and a concept that I heard that was being bounced around over about two years ago, two and a half years ago, possibly. Wouldn't it be amazing if we could do a strand like the Mason and Kay color wheel that we show all the time? Um, and it was kind of said flippantly, like, no, nah, it's never going to happen. We're talking about some of the world's rarest uh, colors. Um, however, um, the wonderful team did succeed. Um, what you're looking at here is that color wheel and it's all totally and utterly natural. Remember Roland Schlussel's words, the reds and the yellows, which come under that same umbrella, um, are irreplaceable. They are the rarest colors in the world. You've got your black, which is takes the longest, so three times as long to form in black jade out than any other color. You've got your lavenders in here. You've got your beautiful apple blossom greens, um, even some of your aqua blues. This is all totally and utterly natural. And if you remember, we've referenced uh, necklaces from Gumps. Uh, Gumps is a jeweler's over in San Francisco, who this became one of their signature wow, designs. Um, yeah, and they've done this for decades when it was coming from the ground. So the Gumps jade necklace, um, early multicolored collector's piece sold. Um, it's knotted with some with a gold class, nothing too, you know, out there. Sold for ten and a half thousand pounds. Um, here we go, same one a little bit closer. And we were discussing this, weren't we? Actually, the quality of our jade yeah. eye is it's, yes. it's a finer translucency. Yeah. Yeah. We found another one of Gump's pieces. Um, there you go. 1960s, £4,700 with a simple clasp. It's just knotted and they've mixed the colours up, which I quite like about it. We're already beating that price tag. This is type A, ours is type A. What about seven millimeter, like ours? In fact, ours is bigger. Um, £2,000. That's quite small, 17 inch. Yes, it? it is quite short. Well, yeah. yeah, some people that I don't know, if, Ross, there should be some photos of the makes I made with the strand. You've had this strand to make with? Yeah, I launched it on the show with Dave. Oh yes, I remember. Yeah. Amazing. Oh wow. That's beautiful. Well, I tell you what. That's, that sounds quite reasonable. That is minutes. very reasonable. But yeah. again, look at the quality of the jade. It's, I mean, yeah. it's, it's multi-colors, but can you see the mottling? 14 carats. 14, 14 oh, carat, carat yellow gold. gold. Oh, okay. yeah. um, the actual jade is not as translucent as what no. I have before me. It's still lovely, and you're still talking $1,800 to get hold mm. of that piece. Yeah. We are going to beat that price. You've got a full 40 centimeter strand, and we're at 999. Still not done. This is, again, last chance to get hold of this strand. We found one elsewhere. Um, and we were all saying, I'm not sure I would feel confident buying it from this website. Doesn't 
I, I don't know. I, I, it doesn't give very much information, does it? No, but there we no. go. Price $1,200. That is jadeite. But again, I don't know if it's type B. I don't know if it's type C. But still over a grand. Then we found a bracelet. That's cute. Yeah, gumps, rosary linking, techniques that we demonstrate all the time. Um, with gold, 1,000. And we counted them, didn't we? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14 beads. Should we do the same just for kicks? 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14. So that's 14, so I can make that bracelet three times over and still have surplus. Probably yeah, four times yeah, over. Amazing. So amazing. With your rosary linking. We're beating that price point. I know you haven't got the gold. I know you've got to add the gold to yours. Uh, and you've got to create the piece. But it's the jade that, built, uh, that has the bulk of the price point. We are no way near done. It's the final nine that we have. In 60 seconds, we are going to take it to that clearance price tag. To that clearance price tag. And I don't think we're going to see it on air again. Not them if you have the opportunity. Take inspiration from Mark's beautiful jewellery. Um, you could probably watch back the, the actual launch of these. It was something that has taken quite literally two and a half years to put together. It is historically as well one of the biggest auctions that we've ever done here at Jewellery Maker. Um, all because of these beautiful natural colours. At 999, that's amazing. It is genuine. And I'm, I'm not sitting here and telling you that's not an afford you know, that's not considered amount of money because it absolutely is however for what we are getting it really really isn't good luck to everybody and well done to those of you that have already dialed through and secured yours like hazel like annie in yorkshire and patricia in yorkshire um, you can do it remember roland schlussel's words he believes that these fancy colors that haven't been stockpiled over many many years um, could absolutely overtake the price of imperial jade in the foreseeable future and i don't think that's it's not a daft statement it's understandable that statement good luck everyone we had nine Two hundred and ninety-nine pounds. <laughs> Crazy, isn't it? When we saw a stra uh, you know, a, a Gumps multicolored mm. necklace for ten and a half grand, yeah. price of a nice car. Mm. Wow. Two hundred and ninety-nine pounds, or seventy-four uh, pounds and seventy-five pence. You think you can go into Gumps and say, "I tell you what, I'll only give you seventy-five yeah. <laughs> quid today, and then yeah. next month I'll yeah. give you another seventy-five quid." Is that all right? You know, does that work out? Highly doubtful, especially at 0% interest. Um, remember, you only have eight minutes. Gosh, where's the time gone this hour? Eight minutes on this hour to make your confirmations. Have a keep, keep an eye on the website as well because there's lots of last of stock clearance deals on your type A jade. I make sure that you are checking out those baskets. Look at that. You've got dippy egg yolk yellow, which is totally natural. You've got lavenders. You've got apple greens. You've got the deepest terracotta reds. You've got the, the beautiful black, which we know takes billions of years to actually form three times longer than any other color um, and it's all certified totally and utterly natural well done to those of you that have got yours amazing now let's do yes i I've love this, this one. one before isn't it gorgeous yeah, i've not seen this one black and yellow just works doesn't yeah. it just cool. works yeah i think it's got quite a modern twist um, we're going to go straight down Time is running out. We're going to match the price that we have just done. If you love yellow jadeite, then this is the one for you. Do you remember that ring that, that, that Dave inquired about that's just one yellow yeah, yeah. jadeite cabochon? Yeah. That was something like two grand, wasn't it? I can't remember. There you go. Yeah. Hi, I'm inquiring about your jadeite with the photo. Hi, this yellow cabochon price is 3,800 US dollars. Thanks. That's one cabochon set in gold and just some melee diamonds all the way around. You've got an entire strand here with jet black as well. £299, but there's a clock ticking. Straight away, lots of collectors getting involved. I love the black and gold combination. And they're natural. They're not dyed. Totally natural. I mean, they, could, they could have threaded it alternating the whole strand, but then you wouldn't be able to see the, the, the differences in the, in the reds, would you? Yeah. And the yellows and... The oranges. Yeah, you can see the quality, can't you, beautiful of the colour. Done, beautiful done. You know, that ring, that quality is no is no better no, than no. ours right now. You've got that perfect, it's not it's not an insipid yellow, it's that glowing, and I always say it like egg yolk yellow. Mm. It should be bright and vibrant. It's totally natural. There's no enhancement to this whatsoever. Going even lower, last of stock opportunities. How many did we have, Ross? 
Okay. We've got single figure quantities at 149. That's one of the best prices I've seen, That's actually. Outrageous. 49 pounds and for type A jadeite. You know, you know, it, it's, and we're very fortunate, I always consider this, we're very fortunate to have had this window of opportunity um, to purchase jadeite because I never imagined owning right. this gemstone. No, no. Um, it's incredibly expensive outside of these four walls. Multi buyers getting involved. Marion, well done. London, well done. Susan's well done. I've got new customer. I've got another new customer on the phone lines as well. Um, Essex, hello to you. <coughs> Make sure you are checking out everybody um, because there was just 10 at the beginning of this auction. There's no way near that quantity now. Hazel, you can do it too, my lovely. Heather in Kent, um, well done. You can still do it. We, I think this is going to be an on screen sellout. Wendy, you've got yours amazing um if you love your yellows stay where you are on those phone lines we're gonna um bring you an exclusive yellow strand love. this is one of my favorite pretty isn't it it's one of my favorite strands you've ever bought to wear such a pretty color i would just make myself a stretchy with that yeah i'm not i wouldn't faff around with it just keep it really simple and yellow is considered yeah. to be one of the the, the most positive colors mm. isn't it yeah, it's gorgeous um color of friendship and happiness yeah. Lovely. We're going to take this too. What did you say, Ross? One price crash. Oh, mm, that's beautiful. <laughs> oh my goodness! So all that stretchy bracelet, which mm. there was a photograph on the same uh, PowerPoint actually of a yellow jadeite bracelet, um, and that yellow jadeite bracelet was something like seven hundred and ninety-nine pounds for a stretchy. Um, it didn't. It you know when something looks so vibrant and also the. Yeah. You think a bit dubious. Yeah, I've been, yeah, I'd have been yeah. dubious about it. And, and they also had looked like they were fissures that had been kind of painted into the surface, but £799. Here we are at 699 and obviously we're not stopping here. In fact, I'm going to say it out loud. How many have we got? 10. We're going to take this under £100 for you today. <laughs> uh, yeah. Oh, yeah, under £100. I'm just really dubious about that bracelet because yeah. they've all seemed to have the same marking in them. Do you see where I'm coming from? And also, they'll be very, you have to be so careful because they can say natural jadeite and they're referring to the gemstone, not the treatment. So it might be jadeite, but not, it might be treated jadeite. We're at 99.99, so I can show you high-end jadeite, cust customized. See, what does that mean? Yes. Customized, yes. Um, natural grade A. It, it says it's natural, but I'm a bit dubious. 799 US dollars for that stretchy. Or you can get hold of this strand and you can make yourself one um, <laughs> for 99 pounds and 99 pence. Well done, Dorothy, Ayrshire, Janet, new customers. Hello, Karen and Marion. Loving, loving how busy it is this morning morning um, getting hold of of course one of the world's rarest gemstones and once upon a time if you go to Forbes if you go to uh, Guinness Book of Records whichever it might be that does the rarest list you know the top 10 jadeite is always in there um, it's probably even higher now isn't it because the Burmese mine is now closed um, yeah especially if we sort of start being more selective and talking exclusively about these natural fancy colors Amanda you've got yours amazing well done to you if you're waiting for the racks, they're coming up in the nine o'clock hour, so you haven't got too long to wait for those. Um, they are going to be super popular. I think but this is going to be the quickest sell of the year. Well, there's racks. only a hundred, isn't there? We should have got more, shouldn't we? Should have bought more of those. Yeah. And they come with the little cards as well. Make sure you're checking those out, everybody. Thirty-three pounds and thirty-three pence only. I love this next strand. It's one of my favourite jadeite strands that we've brought. I think it's so Very beautiful. Nice. I love the shape of jade. I think it's really lovely. Uh, very linear. They're going to do it in one price crash. And you've also got some really beautiful blues in this too. Yeah. Reds, blues, all natural, and also your imperial white colours. I, I, I just it's love gorgeous. this. I've not seen this one either. Really I've, simple, I've isn't it? Yeah. This is a stretchy. Perfect. Yeah, you wouldn't do anything with that. No. Me. And we've got the perfect yeah. elastic, actually, in your we case. Have. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. absolutely. Um, that will yeah. complement these colours. We're going to go straight down. One price crash. 50 carats that you're getting of your multicolour jade eye, including the red, including the blue. And I was half expecting this to say that this was Guatemalan. Half expecting it, just because you've got almost like an all neck bluey colour in this, yeah, haven't you? Yes, yes. Now, the phone lines right oh. now, surprisingly, oh. are completely clear. But I guarantee when we get to that <laughs> price point, oh, that's a good word. it's going to ignite. Oh, look at that. Game one for the gents. Oh, I love it. Yeah. I absolutely love the rondelles. 
Yeah, all, all, the, all the gents are saying, nodding, they'd wear this. Yeah, in a stretchy bracelet, really simple. Yeah, cool. And jadeite, of course, is considered to be protective. Lots of beliefs and meanings behind jadeite. £79.99. <laughs> pounds and 99 pence. There are seven of them left. Oh. I'll say it. If you don't, I definitely am. That would be a really quick make that I can do yeah, yeah. that I would probably give to, to Tom. It suits him as well, I think. Yeah. And it's a long enough strand to make a nice gents bracelet yeah. as well, yeah. isn't it? Um, good luck. £26.66. Ross said, <laughs> told you so. The phone lines have gone crazy. Dorothy, Ayrshire, London, Nicola, Elaine, Maker and Sorry. Hello to you all. If you want those multiples, I only had seven. Um, so you do need to check them out ASAP and remember also this hour is on a time restraint so if there's anything else that you fancy on the website um, then make sure you are checking out those baskets amazing well done well done um, have I got multicolor rounds I yeah I love it oh, look at this. like spinach green <laughs> this is very romantic I do apologize it reminds me of tinned veg tinned Veg. You know, when you buy tinned veg and you get the, the green, you get the carrot cubes and the peas oh, yeah, and, yeah, and yeah, that yeah. sort of thing. It's, it's those sort of colours. Yeah. yeah, it is though, it isn't is. it? Because it's yeah. a different green. It's a totally different green. Um, well, if it's okay to call yeah. nephrite spinach green, yeah. why not? Yeah. It's beautiful. And it's all right to describe something yeah. as mutton fat, yeah. which is not the most romantic oh. description. Um, hello, Janet, saying I've got this strand. It's stunning. It, it really is. I love this, Janet. It's the, it's the, and also, you have got two of the rarest colours here. Hello, Alison, saying this is a super, super intense colour strand. Really pleased I bought it. It's well incredible. done to you. Yeah. Um, so those of you that have added to your basket, we're going to do it in one price crash. Right now, phone line's clear, but I guarantee that will change as soon as we bring your clearance price point. Look at the quality, as Alison just said, super, super intense colour. And it's all natural. They're not bleached, they're not dyed, not polymer impregnated. <gasps> wow. Goodness me. I, <laughs> and I know I'm like a broken record here, but that is no reflection of the true value or worth. At some point, we should consider getting this valued and appraised because we would not be able to replace it. And that's why no. things are actually valued for insurance purposes. We would not be able to replace it at $69.99. You've got to remember, you know, I know wow. we keep saying it, but this is not coming from the ground anymore. The Burmese mine closed relatively recently after centuries of mining. And these are the rarest colours that Roland Schlussel spoke about that he imagines will overtake the colours of your imperial green. Because over those centuries, they've stockpiled uh, mm. imperial green. They haven't stockpiled the lavenders, the reds, you know, the yellows, to be honest. So incredibly rare. £23 of 33 pence only how many did we have sorry ross 14 dorothy london elaine and ayrshire gloucestershire maker maker marishka karen and sarah in cornwall and some of you have multiples um oh, no. good luck to you all make sure you do check out everybody um i'm going to try and squeeze in as many of these deals gosh it's a long strand i've got three more that i can hopefully squeeze in this hour this is described as emerald green. Look at that colour. Gorgeous. Again, that's, that's a colour. It reminds me of moss agate, that sort of... Yeah, look, really, really it? rich, yeah. yeah. It's beautiful. And it, it takes me to Mason and Kay in my mind when, um, as I follow them on social media, yeah. and, you know, when they take videos of certain pieces to kind of draw people's attention, obviously, it's pieces like this, but they'll have one or two of those beads. They don't have an entire... Oh, have I picked up oh the wrong one? Oh, God, look at that. Oh, yes. Let's put the two together. So this is coming up straight after. I beg your pardon, that's my mistake. <gasps> oh On my your God. screens, it's frustrating. You're yeah, looking at something yeah. that looks completely black, don't you? Uh, but here in the studio, has anyone got a phone, a, ca a, a torch? Because this is the most bottle green jadeite and it's totally and utterly natural. Wow, really, really, thank you, Chris. Really, really intense, um, intense green color. Really, really intense green color and it's all natural. Seriously, 
We're at £79.99 with the most incredible translucency. There are only 10 available and 18 of you with this in your basket. Good luck to you all. You'll see it when you get it home. Take it to um, natural sunlight and then you'll see uh, that wonderful. It's like a really deep bottle green colour. Marion and sorry, hello well to you. Um, yeah, that, well done, new customer, London. You've got yours. It's on the verge of selling out. And I well think done. what would be a perfect Together. combination, yeah, yeah. six millimetre rounds. Oh. Uh, they look lovely together, don't they? Perfect. I like the patterning. Um, you know, we call floating flower, where you have mm, the yeah, kind yeah. of suspensions of colour in your jadeite. That, that's what this is, basically. Yeah. You've kind of got these that's lovely amazing. rivers of natural colour. Um, crazy price, says Ross. Oh, I like it. I like it when Ross goes a bit crazy. Mottled emerald green. Now, you've got this, and then one more auction. About three minutes left. <gasps> what? <laughs> For a full strand as well, isn't it? 38 yeah. centimetre strand. Six mil. Do you think you ever see... Our favourite size. Do you, do you think you ever see 50 pounds on Mason & K? I doubt it very much. Do you much. think you ever see 50 pounds? Oh, no, look. How many did we have originally of these? Um, once right. upon a time, 105 wow. of them. Down to the final. 12 pound 49 pence. 12 pound 49 pence. That's I amazing. spent more than that at my, my daughter's summer fate. More than 50 quid or 12 No, 12.49, 12.49. Did they have a tombola? They then? had a tombola. What did you win? Um, sweets. Oh, right. Yeah. Enter the raffle. Yeah. What did you win? I, have, I don't know yet. Oh, you don't, don't know. I probably haven't because oh. I haven't heard anything. Um, a whiskey, did a, Probably. <laughs> um, knocked over some teddies. Oh. So got some second-hand teddies. Spent oh. more than that. I could be getting type <laughs> A jadeite here. Um, with that intensity of natural colour, Elaine, Ayrshire, well Marion, Amanda in London and Surrey and Karen and Dorothy, lots of multi-buyers on this, I love it. Why is it still on split pay? I don't know. That's amazing. I've never seen a split pay for 12.50. No, not on Jadeite, no. Brilliant. Well, any actually. Yeah. <laughs> Got one more auction in your closeout Jadeite deals. Um, keep an eye on the website. In fact, we'll go through it straight away uh, right now because after this auction, everything will disappear. So if we go oh. from the bottom up, um, you'll see lots of sellouts. So oh, there's the rice beads, the elephants sold out, the carvings, like the Burmese. Oh, You've got some of your jadeite fasted bicones. You've got this auction. If there's anything on the website, oh, look at those. You've got the vases, oh, yeah. they're auspicious. Um, in jadeite, you've got some haigus on there, um, some of the Chantilly carvings, another elephant. Um, Oh, I love that in number 39. Uh, faceted jadeite coins you've got there. You've got the Cartier-inspired panther pendant. Those earrings I adore. I think they're amazing. Oh, number 25, there's some red jadeite. Um, I love 24 as well. So these are all absolute last of stock opportunities. Lots and lots of sellouts. And there's ones and twos, really, left within the vault. So um, they're available on your screens for one more auction length. So... Good luck. And the next auction, we're going to do it in one price crash, one minute, and then we're going to go straight to break to bring back the racks and Mark's amazing kit. So the lavender, oh, love it. Beautiful lavender jade. Yes, Ross's new essential stash. It's the racks. <laughs> we just didn't want to part with that sign. That's it. The racks oh, are coming up. Um, 45 carats, again, natural. How often do we see full mills in jadeite? Hardly ever. I guess because it's wasteful. Yeah. How often do we see a whole lavender strand? Remember what Roland said? He believes that this, the rare fancy colours, lavenders and reds, will overtake that of your imperial green. We're going to do it in one price crash. How many do we have? 30. Okay. Way more than I was expecting. Oh, wow. Um, okay. But we originally had over 200 of them. That's how popular they have been. I would put this with a Botswana. I think it would be perfect. Lovely. Now, go straight to that price point and then put a 60 second clock on your screen. That's to close this auction and the entire hour. I've got 30 of them available. The most lavender. Um, oh, <laughs> goodness me. Oh. Really? Oh, my word. I think, I think you may raise a very good point there, Adam. What would Roland Schussel say? He'd be rolling his eyes. 
God. He would be rolling his eyes, wouldn't he? He'd be like, for goodness sake. I, and I do find it quite funny, like the other day on Friday morning, I'm talking about one of the world's rarest gemstones with a turkey on my head. You know, I, <laughs> only jewellery maker, only jewellery maker would you find. You're not going to go to Sotheby's and see somebody auctioning like that. Um, no. 39.99, you are getting that same precious rare material. It's totally natural. Worthwhile getting your certificate of authenticity. You have got 16 seconds till the closure of this auction. If you've got a phone in your hand, stay where you are. Um, if you've got any item, not just this one, um, in your baskets, make sure you check them out. And don't go anywhere because the racks are coming up after this. Jewelry Maker has its own dedicated call centre with highly trained staff waiting to help you with your orders or any queries. Happy shopping with Jewelry Maker. Did you know that when you purchase with Jewelry Maker, you have a 30 day money back guarantee? Happy shopping with Jewelry Maker. Want to know what's going on in the next show? Then head over to our website, click on the TV guide, this will tell you who's presenting, which guest we have joining us, along with what's going on in each hour. If you ever miss a show, you can catch up by clicking on the day you missed and then click watch this show. You can also view what product was on and if it's still available to buy. Catch up on Jewelry Maker. Jewelry Maker are proud to be part of the Gemporia partnership. Our partnership family includes Jewellery Maker, Gem Collector, Gemporia, Sewing Street and Yarn Lane. Jewellery Maker presents the Great British Summer. As the heat wave hits, the British public are making the most of it while it's still here. Here's Carol buying an ice cream from a local vendor, playing games at the fair and frolicking about in the sun. But Carol has forgotten that Jewelry Maker celebrates Christmas in July, a chance for customers to get their supplies in ready for their Christmas designs and gifts. So Carol can take a bite of that ice cream and hello to that Christmas jumper as we present Christmas in July. Oh, Carol, you scamp. Buying with Jewelry Maker couldn't be easier. Here's a quick overview of how to get involved. When you see a product you like and you want to purchase, you will see the graphics appear on the screen. You'll see the item code and a starting price. As time goes on, you'll see the price drop. And as viewers call in and customers add it to their baskets online, you'll also see the quantity decrease too. No matter at what point you order, everybody pays the final low price. And there's only one PMP charge on everything you purchase throughout the day. We offer you a 30 day money back guarantee. So there's no risk whether you're purchasing for the first time or any time. Happy shopping with Jewelry Maker. Jewelry Makers, did you know that you can purchase as many times as you like throughout the day and you'll only be charged one postage and packaging fee? No matter the size, weight or quantity of your order, how many times you check out that day, we will still only charge you that single PMP. Keep things simple on Jewelry Maker. Our friendly and knowledgeable help team are available 24 hours a day, 365 days a year. If you have a question or query, contact us on 0800 644 655 and press option 2. Alternatively, you can email or drop us a direct message on our Facebook page. Jewelry Maker, happy to help. It's easy to stay in touch with Jewelry Maker. You can like our Facebook page and join our community of over 69,000 people. You can follow us on Twitter and tweet us your messages and opinions. You can also find us on Instagram and even TikTok. Make sure you get involved and stay up to date with Jewelry Maker.
Are we ready? I think so. These are ace. So good. Uh, oh, they're on pre-order oh, right now. Oh, dangerous, dangerous. It is dangerous. Just so you know, there is only a hundred of these available. They come with the tags That's as well, which of which you get loads of. You can choose your color, white or black. Um, they're going to absolutely fly. Plus, you've got that little, yeah, you've got the little display if you wanted to put maybe your branding yeah, or pricing brilliant. on there as well. Yeah, brilliant. How good are these? We used them yesterday, didn't we? For Ross's Essential Stash Grab. We did that, we used them then. And they were so good. You know, genuinely, I think we should have these in the you studio get loads as well. On these yeah. Yeah, yeah. So, should we start with the white and then step into the black? You know, I, I immediately think of those of you that do your craft fairs because oh, where your space on your table is limited. Yeah, absolutely. You've got to go upwards, yeah. haven't you? That's right. No, absolutely. Yeah, yeah. And I would I would get three of each and I would do rainbow colours. So I'd have yellow earrings, orange earrings, red earrings. Perfect. And just have them in, in colour order. Perfect. I think they look amazing. And, and you can display chains yeah. on there yeah. like we did yesterday. They're long enough to do that. Yeah. Certainly your bracelets. Um, and yeah, um, and they're lightweight as well. So if you're thinking about, you know, the transportation of your displays, etc., these always, always fly. And I don't want to just talk solely about those of us, uh, those of our audience who have a business, which we know a lot of you do. But um, this is also something that in your home or in your in your studio, wherever it is you make your jewellery, you know, how frustrating is it when you go to get a chain and it's all tangled? <laughs> you know, this is going to prevent that from happening. What about your necklaces that you wear or bracelets that you wear on a regular basis? you could have this on your dressing table couldn't you um, so I don't think it's this is not solely for our jewelry maker audience that have got uh, um, um, businesses now we're at 19.99 comes with the tags as well of which I should talk show you you can put earrings in there and necklaces like we did yesterday um, so you have the kind of little cuts and grooves so you can use both of those and bracelets and brooches oh, that's amazing um, or what we did was staple the oh, little yes. bags on there as well um, and you can it's you know nice nice sort of card so you can write on there too the phone lines have lit up and 19.99 is not your price we are going even lower on this we get 100 cards yes there's loads of those it's oh, crazy 12.99 that's amazing that's your that's your display pretty much good to go yep i think earrings are the most difficult to display yeah, the stands really, never stay no, upright, no, do they? So no. they always fall, whereas these will yeah. absolutely, you know. And if you use the, I mean, the, the displays that we use for earrings, I mean, you, you could probably have maybe 10 on your stand at max. Yeah. And then, as you said, they're going to keep falling over. And, and they don't gonna... look great either, do no, they? No, but the, this is amazing. When I had my jewellery business, it was, earrings were, stands were just so frustrating mm, because yeah. um, obviously trying to sort of cut down costs, I used to buy the ones which were like, uh, um, like fabric coated oh, yeah. card yeah. and they just bend backwards mm. and they'd never be right. So yeah, it is really difficult. I agree with you to yeah. display uh, to display your jewellery nicely and uh, and also repeatedly as well without damaging them at twelve ninety nine. That's an absolutely incredible deal. I think these are going to be perfect if you're lucky enough, like Mark, maybe to actually have a room set up solely for your mm. jewellery making. You're going to use it. You can hang tools on here if absolutely. you wanted to. Couldn't or your you? wires. Or your I mean, wires. We're or your spools. For wire storage, aren't we? All your beading yeah. thread coils, yeah. and you can literally just sort of dispense it as and when you use and it. Even your seed bead tubes. Oh. Um, oh, here we go. Oh, game seed changer. Bead, seed bead storage. Go on, game word. changer. Mark, yeah. that right there. That yeah. right there yeah. is why you're such a talented designer. <laughs> I mean, you're organised and you think of these things that I would never yeah. think of. Amazing. Yeah. Multiple uses. Lots wow. of you shopping ahead on the black ones. Hi, Julie, saying just bought the black one for my jewellery. Fabulous. This is a thing you could use it for your jewellery. I mean, I, 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 I'm, I'm terrible at sort of taking jewellery off and just leaving it on the side. You know, whereas this, where it can get potentially knocked um, or knocked over, little kids or, or yeah. animals, whatever it is, that kind of knock them over and they disappear and you're not looking after your jewellery as you should. So this, yeah, great to actually have in your home as well. Um, 12 99 for the white. You get the tags with That's it, so you haven't got to buy that separately. And then you can pre-order on the black ones. Already I've got three full rows of names and people getting twos and threes, I can see yeah. there as well. Yeah. Jennifer and Sylvia, Judith and Sally, Lynn and Muriel. 
Muriel. I've got 25 oh. out of the 100 left. We knew these were going to be a yeah, sellout. We do. Um, yeah. Knew they were. Um, make sure you are checking out your baskets. They're nice and lightweight so that you can transport them if that's what you do. We're going to put a 60 second clock on your screen and that's to close this auction and of course then we'll dive straight into the black. Um, in terms of colour coordination, if you go into, I don't know, a boutique near you, like a, I immediately think of like a, there's, there's like a, um, in Ulster, there's a nice privately owned little boutique shop with like ladies clothes and jewellery and things like that. It's going to be displays yeah, like this absolutely. that you see. Yeah, yeah. Hello, Alison. Yeah. Mark, great idea for the sea bead, especially in the midst of a project and you want to keep the absolutely. tubes out, uh, out yeah, but yeah. away, ready for the next time you work. Yeah, that's a brilliant idea. I'm trying to, I'm trying to think how to use it that way. I'm just, I'm just looking at it thinking. Magazines. Oh, I see. Yeah, or Oops. you could pop, pop, if you're selling rings, you can drop rings Ooh, on, yeah. maybe. Yeah, That's yeah, quite a lot yeah. of, bit of a waste of space, though, isn't it? Never mind. I, I was, I was, well, no, you could, put, you could put a fabric and maybe use your rings, yeah. and then and then um, put maybe your flyers or something mm. like that yeah. on there, or your bags, yeah. or... Has Chris got an idea? A spool. A spool. A spool. Very good. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. So that they don't roll everywhere. Mm. Yes. Yeah. The yeah. black, by the way. I would go for the black. All of my busts and things were black on my stall. Were they? Yeah. I can't decide. I like them both, yeah. to be honest. Yeah. That's how many of the black that we've got left. We'll hold it on your screens for one minute. Here's your price tag. No surprises here. They have absolutely flown, and we knew they would. Um, yeah, a minute to close this auction. We only had, sadly, 100 of each of these. So, um, And you do get the paper cards as well that you can staple onto. That's what we did yesterday yeah. with your findings, just literally staple them together. Um, and you, get, you go to them easily. You know it's not going to get damaged or knocked. You're not going to sort of knock things, basically. 12 99 everybody. It's busy, busy, busy this morning. Well, I'm just imagining, if, I was, if, I, if this was on your stall yeah. and you had all the earrings, just to be able to flick through like this. Yeah. I mean, how satisfying is that? Showing me age now, yeah. but do you remember, um, like, do you, who remembers Athena? Oh yeah, I love Athena. I may. With the tennis lady. Yeah. With the bottom. Yeah, and, and the, the man, man holding man the baby. With the baby. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> I had that poster. <laughs> We're showing our age And then totally. there's the, then there's a mechanic with a tire in each yes, arm. Yes, yeah. these are the posters. <laughs> You go with Athena if you had a bit of pocket change, <laughs> um, a bit of pocket money, and you could yeah. buy your posters, yeah, and you'd flick through them like that, That's yeah. Right. And if you wanted anything Garfield related, that yeah. was the place to go. That was the place to go. Yeah, yeah. I had that poster, the man with the baby in his Did jeans, you? yeah. Right, yeah. <laughs> that and a Nirvana poster oh, as well. Okay. Yeah. Right. Um, there we go. Makes they've sold out. Well, well done, done, everybody. Congratulations Amazing. to you all. Um, congratulations. Oh. Yeah, love Nirvana. Um, oh. oh, we got individual we ones as well. These are cuter than cute. Ah, oh. so perfectly if you are thinking about oh, just for your dressing lovely. table or for maybe yep. you've got limited space. You know, in terms of you're working and you are thinking, yeah, that's a great idea, Mark, with your seed beads. Mm. When you don't want to put them away because you know you're going to use them, like your yeah. golds and your silvers, etc. Right, which one and are we doing can, first? You can leave the lids on. You can unscrew, empty your seed beads and then click back in again. Love it. Genius. It's like I a spice those. rack. Yeah. Now, we're doing the white one first. Um, also, they come with the cards. So if I just lift that up, you can see... So you get a selection of your cards, nine pounds and 99 pence, but that's not your price. <laughs> Plus you've got that really little clever kind of triangular that's ingenious. roof that you could stick, you could stick yeah. things on. So it, holds, so it weighs it down to stop it from tipping back. Yes. But also it's, it's really good to pop your business card or a bit yeah. of marketing. Or, or you can do, I don't know, yeah. 20 pounds, 30 yeah. pounds. You can put those prices on there, Fantastic. couldn't you? Fantastic, hooray. Um, in 45 seconds, we are going even lower, everybody. Have we got a hundred of these as well? Hundred of each of them, um, and they're high enough as well to be able to hold your chains. Yeah. So if you were putting, um, like maybe you stocked up on your sterling silver chains yesterday, you could put them all on there as yeah. well. They're amazing. All your spools. I like that idea of using it with your beading threads and your wires and things yeah. like that, because um, then it's easy access for them, and they're taking up minimal space, aren't they? Uh, first off for the white, then we'll dive into the black. Is the black single available on pre-order? It is. I think that's oh, probably yeah. going to sell out before we even get there. Not nine ninety nine for you today. Display stands always absolutely fly here at Jewelry Maker. And to my knowledge, I don't remember ever doing these before. No, I've not seen them. These these are new for me. Hmm. 
I think we'll be doing them again, though, judging by the feedback from our call screens. They are proving to be very, very popular. £6.99. And oh it, I don't God. think you're going to ever need to replace these. No, they're very, very well made. Very strong. Yeah. Look classy. Nice and simplistic. Yeah, when you, you know, uh, yeah, oh. on your bedside table, you know, when you take your jewellery off at the end of the day, pop them on there. You know, the cat's not going to knock it over. Sorry, that's a, an issue in, in my house, you know. Cat goes and does oh. the poor thing, knocks the jewellery off. It's my fault, should be putting it away, tidying it away. I've trained mine not to touch anything. Your cat's very well trained. Mine, yeah. not so much. I've been very strict with their upbringing. Mm, mine, are, mine, mm. mine would be bad influences right. to your cats, to be honest. <laughs> yeah, every, every morning when I'm getting ready, Dave is just waiting to go and run in my wardrobe. Like, stop it, Dave. Stop it, and then I can't get back out again before I go to work. Um, Dave. Uh, 6 99 Yes, Ross? Oh, he says oh. I'm going lower. Amazing. There's 40 Don't left. Quit. Everybody's going to pay the final low price tag. Lots of you multi-buying. You could have these almost sort of dotted around, couldn't you? Because lots of people have different workstations. You might have some. You might go away on the ca in the caravan wow. and maybe do a bit of jewellery making. Four ninety nine only. Well, I just think like Alison makes on the boat, she doesn't does. she? Yeah, yeah. So she might need one of these there, or maybe in smaller size. Um, perfect. Loads and loads of you getting involved. I just think, you know, even if you haven't got an artisanal market or do, do things like your craft fairs or your, or your fates or your charity events and things like this, you're going to find a use for these. Because I think you could literally hang tools, Everything, threads, yeah. Sea beads, as you've just said, strands, sterling silver um, from these. And yesterday, I have to tell you again, I really think we should have these in the studio. I think they're really Other good yep. um, for us to actually uh, display items as well. Phone lines have gone crazy. Lots of fours, threes and twos getting purchased. On the verge of selling out. This is the white. You can shop ahead on the black one. And they do come with the cards. So you get a pack of the cards as well to go alongside um, To go alongside it. You haven't got to purchase those separately. Four ninety nine only. It's a great deal, isn't it? I love it? that. That's amazing. You weren't expecting them to be no, that, were you? No. Um, black one's one. almost gone. Oh, I think the black's the favourite. We'll match that price though. <laughs> I can't decide. I do like the white one personally. But sunglasses? Could you put your sunglasses That's on? That's a good there? idea. Yeah. And your spectacles? Mugs! Mug tree. Yes. Your favourite mug? Put it on there. Yeah. That's a good idea. A little mug tree. Four pounds and ninety-nine pence only. Well done. These are on the verge of actually selling out, everybody. And you can see, oh, in fact, they've wow. gone. Well done. They've gone. Congratulations. Well done. I see they'd be a nice stand for your slider bracelets, wouldn't they? Mm. All that hanging Just on. Have that them all nice. Yeah, because yeah. you'd have the tassels, wouldn't you? Yeah, yeah, yeah really lovely. Nice. And people can sift through them nicely. Yeah. Like the posters in Athena. What Bring happened? back Athena. Yeah, it sort of just disappeared off the high street, didn't it? It did. It was a real shame. Yeah. I used to know, like, yeah, yeah go, oh, yeah, we're yeah. off to Cardiff today. That means there's Athena. I can go and get some. Posters. And in Oxford, our Athena was next door to CNA. Where is CNA? CNA. Yeah. CNA. My cousin, yeah. my cousin made me laugh because I met her with my cousin. We don't see each other that often. She was like, she was talking about when we were kids and she was going, oh, I was always really jealous because you had CNA clothes. I was like, really? <laughs> what you would. Was there something called Tammy Girl? Tammy Girl? Oh, yeah. yeah You'd made Tammy it girl. if you had Tammy Girl. <laughs> You'd absolutely made it. <laughs> right then, let's bring oh, your beautiful kits. Um, we're going to start with. An amazing bundle of black spinel. Totally natural, no enhancement whatsoever. And, and, and I really enjoy talking about black spinel because mm. it is a gemstone that is on the red carpet time and time and time and time and time again in lots of different cuts. Um, obviously, with black spinel, because it's a completely opaque gemstone, the cutting is mm. crucial. You need it to be faceted and polished to perfection because it's all about the exterior, isn't it? Um, so let me show you the other components first. You get two, I don't know if you can see those. Let me grab my tweezers one second. You get two lovely sterling. Ah, perfect. Oh, they're cute. Thank you. I love these. Oh, ah, so Mark, cute. they're adorable. Two beautiful sterling silver charms. Your That's stars cute, and moons. Aren't they? Yes. Amazing. Loving those. And that's just one black spinel on some sterling silver. Sterling silver, yeah. Sterling so silver, 0.4 millimetre wire, and then the little findings. Which I mean, we that, had yesterday. That, that's a £20 pound pair of earrings. 
any day of the week. Definitely. Yeah, they are Definitely. very cute. Well, we had these components yesterday. Oh. We had black spin uh, sorry, we had shepherd hooks. Right. We had the point four wire oh, and brilliant. featherweights. Amazing. Yeah. So you could if you got involved yesterday, you can make the, remake these earrings. Plus you're getting the most beautiful, beautiful cord. Oh, look at those. So the silver cord, it's a DMC cord. So if any of you are into cross stitch or embroidery or tapestry, um, this is really good because you, it's, it sings, it's six strands twisted into the thicker gauge. Okay. So what, those who cross stitch, you take one, you cut, I don't know, if I'm doing it at home, I'd cut a three foot length and then you separate it into six and you pull one out at a time and then you do your cross stitching. So, so it's, it's used for what's something called block work if you're if you're incorporating silver and gold threads into, okay. your, into your christmas tapestries or your samplers or something like that can but i not with this kit. you can not with it yeah yeah so perfect for jewelry making yep. and macrame and you've got, yeah let's bring some of yeah, your lovely so, jewelry over yeah. oh mark so, so i've plaited i've taken i've taken three pieces and plaited so you can see that you can see the separate strands when they open out here and that's just using we've got as i said we'll see when we get the stones and then I've made the, some of the bracelets. Oh, there's the bracelets I've used using the cords. Wow. Amazing. Mm -hmm. Absolutely gorgeous. Let me just move those that way so you can see it all. So you get those and then you get your spinels. Now the spinel strands, are f there's five strands. Yeah. We're opening up this auction at 49.99. So if we solely talk about the spinel on its own, I think we'd all agree that's an absolutely incredible price tag. So look, you've got your ovals. They're beautiful. The fasting is stunning in all of these strands. You have oh, look. your, I don't know how to describe those, faceted freeforms. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, good call. Yeah, yeah. You have your briolettes. This is probably the finest strand of briolettes of Spinel I've ever seen. They yeah. are beautiful. They remind me of the um, Sandra Bullock earrings yeah, yeah. that I've shown before. Gorgeous. Then you have these beautiful flat faceted drops as well. I mean, two of those in a pair of earrings yeah. or on your necklace like you've done there, Mark. And I can't physically hold them all. Um, here's some more beautiful jewellery as well. Oh, Mark, these are all cut stunning. And, and I love yeah. that you've kind of singled them all out, used them oh, yes. um, on their own. Last but by no means least, you have the most amazing strand, all natural. Black spinel known as one of, uh, it, it is considered to be one of the most lustrous, um, but cutting and polishing is absolutely crucial. You are getting a, a, a lovely selection of shapes. So even at 49.99 for those, for the spinel, that's amazing, it's 10 pound per strand. But we are not stopping there. Going even lower, good luck everybody. Um, whether you use, I mean, perfect, use the cord as the carrier. I love this bit of rosary linking in between. The only way to get hold of the oh spinel is in this kit. Um, and we're talking five pounds per strand, no enhancement whatsoever. If you're looking for the shiniest of black, the most lustrous of your black gemstone, spinel all day long. It would always be my recommendation. And it's also the gemstone that whenever I uh, get asked the question, Al, do you want to do showcase? What showcase do you want to do? Black spinel. Every single time. And I don't know if you've got that, 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 that um, PowerPoint, Roscoe, just with all the different celebrities who, are away, who choose this gemstone. And let's be honest, they can choose black diamonds. They could use black jadeite. You know, they could use pretty much any gemstone, couldn't they? But they gravitate towards black spinel because it is that paparazzi surface luster. Um, yeah, it talks about, his articles talking about lots of gemstones going, uh, all dark gemstones being incredibly popular. Here she is, Sandra Bullock. I mean, could you re uh, recreate those kind of styles? Easily. Easily, yeah, absolutely. You've got Michelle Obama layering a black spinel with some beautiful pearls, wow. looking amazing, very elegant as always. Michelle Yeoh with her, um, wow. uh, I think they're rondelles. She looks incredible, doesn't she? That outfit is absolutely amazing. And of course, the necklace. You have Maisie Williams wearing actually Gemporia black spinel jewellery just there um, on the red carpet for one of the Game of Thrones. Um, you have Nicole Scherzwinger, Scherz Scherzinger. I always say it wrong. <sighs> Um, oh, yeah, look, all these take inspiration yeah. from these designs, especially in the cuts that you're getting. Angelina Jolie wearing black spinel, it's a piece of jewelry that she actually uh, designed herself. Um, that's framed in 18 karat rose gold. That was on the premiere of Salt. 
Um, and you have a very daring Jennifer wow. Aniston there. Very <laughs> daring, wearing her faceted rounds. I mean, yeah, everybody is absolutely looking at the piece of jewellery, aren't they? Oh. Um, then go to something like First Dibs, and you can see that lovely tassel. £1,330 for that. Liberties. I love that. It's nice, isn't it? Different cuts. £675. Wow. Wolf and Badger, £135. You, you, get, you get the general gist. Spinel can command a certain price point and it's celebrity adorned. We're at £5 per strand you, with sterling silver, with the cords for free, effectively. So you are getting all of these components. Five strands of five different cuts. But we're going even lower, Mark. With the sterling silver components, those earrings that we first showed, I'd hope would be more than what's on your screens yeah. right now. I think the cords are about six or seven pounds for the two. And then you've got, obviously you've got the little sterling silver star and moon. Yeah. So that's, that's incredible value. So we're wow. talking about really about three pound per strand mm. of black spinel. Yeah. Well, we always say our kits give the best, uh, give the yeah. best savings, don't they? Um, yeah, if you are a business, black spinel, black gemstones, very popular, very much in the limelight with the sentiment of your stars and moons. I mean, those earrings, I think £20 or £24.99 is extremely reasonable, but we are going lower and that's using one simple one stone and, uh, and sh a pair of shepherd hooks. All those components we brought to you over the course of this weekend. Good luck, everybody. The only way you can get each of these components is part of this kit. Um, how many do we have available? 100 available at about 19 pounds and 99 pence they are absolutely flying so you've got five six seven let's call call the cord one eight components it's two pound each mm. two pound Amazing, for black spinel yeah. cuts yeah. when do we ever do strands of black spinel for two quid <laughs> we don't do we especially of these sizes the phone lines have completely and utterly lit up the cutting and the polishing is impeccable mark i mean this using oh, that's beautiful so that's that's plaited, and then I've and then I've done some macrameing. What I love is this little stretchy bracelet that I've got on the end here, and I've done the drops that Sandra Bullock's wearing. You can look. And you see. have. Yeah. Isn't that beautiful? It's so just like briolette wrapping. Mm. Amazing, Mark. I love each of these, and just corded as well. So yeah. cool. So yeah, yeah. on trend. Yeah. No, no gemstones at all. Just simple cord. There she is. <laughs> Do you know? Um, Lots of lot, 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 Tom had a massive crush on Sandra Bullock when he was, a, and he was, yeah, he was his uh, childhood crush, mm. Sandra Bullock. <laughs> Mine was the guy with holding the baby at the Athena okay. poster. <laughs> um, anyway, keep on dialing through, everybody. Make sure you do check out your basket. Um, we have got another kit to bring you, which we'll get to you in a second, and I'll keep you posted, updated on the quantities. There's a little bit of a queue on the phone lines, but don't worry, our call centre will get to you. We had a hundred. Um, in terms of quantity, how many of these have gone? In terms of quantity, just over half the stock. 54 of these have gone already. Um, other kits coming your way. And any questions that you have for Mark, do feel free to text in. Mark, which of your amazing pieces so, are you demoing? I'm, I'm going sort of down the Alison Tarry route. Because okay. I, I, what I'm going to do is I'm going to do back to basics in the nine o'clock hour. Yeah. Because I think that really works. Yeah. I think that's a really nice thing to do for our new viewers. And, uh, and then at the 12 o'clock, do something contemporary with the kit lovely you know. like that idea yeah. so we love we, those briolets they're amazing aren't they so we've got the 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 drops and then we've also got the flat drops mm -hmm. so i'm going to show you how to briolet wrap both of them in two different ways so if all of my designs on the on the bus here i've used sterling but for demoing I'm, i thought i'd just use your basic 0.4 millimeter wire so what you need to do is i took a piece of wire about 10 inches long, mm -hmm. which is probably far too much, but there we go. So I'll cut two pieces of this. So I don't like to cover a flat drop, but I do like to cover a pointed drop, if that makes sense. Yeah, I just think it gives that finish, yeah, doesn't it? Yeah, no, absolutely. Okay, so I've got my two p pieces. So we'll, we'll do the, the pointed drop first of all. So what we're going to do, and all of, the fa all of the drill holes in all of the strands is impeccable on these. That's the first thing I noticed. It's absolutely spot on. So we're going to take one of our drops and then we're going to find the drill hole. There we go, through the top. So as you can see, it's absolutely perfectly symmetrical on all of the drops, which, is, which is, takes this technique and makes it much easier. And then we're going to feed the wire through and roughly find the central part of your wire. 
And then what I'm going to do is I'm just going to squidge the wire just above the point. And then what I, tell, what I like to do to do a brie wrap, I like to have a piece of wire ending in about two or three inches of, of wrapping because then you, there's so much more you can do with it. So what I like to do is hold it about a centimetre away from the point and then I start to turn the gemstone. You'll find it much easier to turn the gemstone than turn the wire to start. And Spinel is fantastically forgiving when you're doing wrapping. So if I was using fluorite, for example, with this technique, if that drill hole was too near the point, mm -hmm. there'd be a snappage and it, it, it may... It may um, yeah. So, so Spinel is amazing. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so I've done my half an inch and I'm going to work away from that, still turning the gemstone rather than the wire. And then just slightly further, so you'll find it easier. And what I really like, because you started off near the, spot, the point of the stone, can you, it's, it's really, really tricky to see. Can you see the three different gauges of, of wrap? So I've got the really tight wrap near the point of the stone. And then you go to the middle section. It's still a really tight wrap, but it's not as tight as the inner near the point. And then right at the very end, oh, you see it. Can you see the three different wraps? Yeah. So they're, they're all exactly the same wrap, but be, because you're, you're nearer the gemstone, it, it, it seems to tighten tighter. And then it goes into the medium gauge and then right at the very end. So I really like that. I really like that. So that's with your point. I'm just going to cut those ends off. And then exactly the same with your flat drop. What you tend to find is with your flat drop, especially on the spinel, it's quite, is it a girdle? Is that the word? Around the side? Yes. Yeah, the girdle is quite wide, so that, that, that lends itself perfectly to, to um, brillet wrapping. So we'll take the wire through. And again, perfectly positioned. Slide it through. Pinch the two ends. And again, about a centimetre away, and we're just going to start twisting our gemstone until, until it gets, can you see it's covered that point really nicely. Then we're going again, we're going to move away again, half an inch. Let's we'll start doing our twist. And then when we're happy with our twist, we're going to pull again, about half an inch. So you want roughly about three inches, two and a half, three inches of your wrapping. And again, you can see with this one, we've got the tight near the gemstone and then the, it's still very, very tight, but it's, it, it seems to give you a different gauge all the way through. I really like that. Beautiful. Okay, and then we're gonna cut those two ends off. So that's our, they call it the tiara twist, don't they, this, yeah. this little technique. Okay, so what, as I said, what, what I like to do is, if, if we've got a, a drop like this, I like to cover the point, because I don't like to see those two wires either side, mm -hmm. but with the flat pairs, I, I, could do, I, do, I, I don't mind seeing, I don't like to cover the flat, because it, it seems to change the shape of the gemstone, cutting, yeah. the, cutting the end off with wire wrapping. So we'll do the, the, uh, the round cut first. So I've, I've gone into my toolkit, I'll say for this one, you can count, you can actually count the twists as you're going away from the gemstone. So I, I'd probably count two twists away. Then I hold it towards me and all I'm going to do is bring the wire all the way over. I'm going to veer off to the left. And then if you're doing a, if you're doing a bit of rosary linking, so you take your pliers and you would hold, can you see where the, the wires cross? Yeah. Just going to go into the right hand side of where they cross. And then all we're going to do then is just start wrapping and wrapping, and you can already see there, we've gone over the point of the stone, so it's really simple. I like this technique, Mark, It, it because my briolette wrapping always looks just a little bit untidy, whereas uh, this... No, it's very neat, as you can see. And then we're just going to go around to the back. And if you want to, you can do a little snail swirl, but I like, I like a finish. So I'm just going to go in and cut. So you've got that nice, neat, if I hold that up. There we go, you can see that's a nice. So when, when you... Um, when you're doing a brillet with a cone like this, it do, you can still see the shape of the gemstone, can't you? You can yeah. still see that it's, a, that it's a drop, even though maybe a quarter of the stone is hidden under the wrap. But for the other, the other shape, what we're going to do is we're going to take, if I, if I started covering that about, I mean, let's go to there, for example, yeah. you don't know what shape the gemstone is. No, yeah. So I don't like to cover up if I'm doing a flat pair. So instead of counting up two twists, I'm going to go up five. 
Okay, so we've got our five, five twists there. So all I'm going to do is I'm just going to cover the twist. I'm not going to cover any of the gemstone, but you're doing it exactly the same way. So bring that towards me, veer off to the left, take it off your pliers. Where the wires cross, you hold just to the right. And then all we're going to do now is to straighten that out a little bit, is I'm just going to go around and I'm just going to fill in the gap and stop. You might have a bit more excess wire left, but you can use that in another project maybe. Mm -hmm. And then I'm going to cut that off there. So even though you've still got your Brille wrap, you've still got the whole of the gemstone shape yeah. that you can see. So if I hold that one up, if I bring this one up, there we go. So let me try and straighten that out. There we go. Okay, so that's the, the flat version. Lovely. So you can still see the entirety of the gemstone. Yeah. And then if I quickly bring the drop across, there we go, so that's the drop. You can still see the shape of the gemstone, but you've covered the top six. Similar of it. technique, but yeah. very different yeah, looks. Yeah, very completely. If I, I don't know if I can hold, let me see if I can hold both of them up. Oh, there we go. There we go. Oh, there we go. <laughs> Very good. So, so you can see two, two completely lashes. different sizes, two different shapes. And with the, with the drop, you cover the point of the stone. Uh -huh. And then with the flat drop, you don't cover any of it at all because you want to see the entirety of the shape. And that's as I said, exactly the same technique, but you can see how different they both look. Very beautiful. I love that. Yeah. You've included it on the cord, yep. using it on that and lovely bracelet, little stretchy bracelets, earrings. earrings everything. Yeah, it's, it's lovely. Yeah. I bet there are I bet people in their stashes, I for one, have got hundreds of strands of this sort of shape. And yeah. it's just having that confidence to, to have a practice because as I said, some of the gemstones are softer than others. And if the point is very near to the, the tip of the gemstone, yeah. you, there might be snappages if you're a bit overzealous with your wire wrapping. So, yeah. so it's always this, to, if you go for a, a strand of agate or something in that sort of shape and have a practice, go for a hard gemstone, anything, anything over seven, on the yeah, most which, scale, which have, a, have a practice with. Which, which of course, Spinel yeah. is. Um, yeah. Susan and Cheshire yeah. saying, good morning, I struggle with this wrap. Your demo is clear oh. and precise as ever. Thank Bless you. Bless you. Have a go. No, it's, I love Briole wrapping. Yeah. It's really nice. Um, yeah. Now, I have got one more kit to do, but just before we do, ah. um, we've got some jump Oh, rings. amazing. So if you wanted to create this, ah. Um, if you want to do this lovely necklace that Mark has done yeah. alongside your black yeah. spinel. So the, the earrings at the end, I've done Mobius oh, rings. Oh, Mobius, yeah. yeah. So that's using one and then three suspended. But for the neck, I love this necklace. It's just a simple one in two. Is it called a one in two? Two in one? Um, the, the weave? Yeah. yeah. So, you've got, so you've got two. So you've got your, your um, rosary linked sections and then we've got a single jump ring and then two and then one and then so even though they're even though they're there we call them taster strands you can still make complete sweets oh, and jewelry over and over they again. go a long long yeah. way yeah um let's bring you a double trouble on your sterling silver oh, now amazing. when we were doing ross's essential stash grab yesterday yeah. Yeah. um we didn't have any jump rings did we there was no jump rings in that hour ah yes so if you were thinking where are the jump rings here we go Got them now. The um, so well. these are sterling silver. So again, if you're working with gemstones like your spinel, I think you're going to want to use yes, your sterling silver. Um, so you're getting two packs of 50, 100, um, effectively. These are open jump rings. Oh, so um, you can open and close them if yeah. you're using them in things like your chain mail. Sorry, I went blank there for mm. a second. Um, individually as one pack, Seventeen pounds ninety nine. Wow. Yeah. For me, this is the perfect size for doing your, your Mobius rings. Yes, because they're that, that little bit down. bigger, yeah. aren't they? Yeah. yeah. Well, bigger, bigger jump ring, more sterling silver yeah, as well. Absolutely. Um, so seventeen ninety nine seems fantastic per per pack because that's fifty of them. If you're using them in a traditional sense, you know, just like to, to touch a, attach a clasp, etc. Yeah, you're only going to use two. Yeah, yeah. So yeah, approximately seventeen ninety nine per pack if you were buying them individually. So yeah, thirty-five pounds and ninety-nine pence. They okay. are silver. Yeah. But we're going to give you a bit of a saving, a double trouble a sa uh, saving, Tr double a trouble a saving. Double -a. I can't get my words out. Um, big gram weight of precious metal. Oh, 
£29.99 oh, for the two packs, so that's 100 jump rings. Essentials, and we discussed this yesterday at length, you know, trying to make jewellery without your, 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 your essential components like your featherweights and your chains and your yeah. shepherd hooks and your jump rings is like a baker trying to um, have a bakery mm. without flour. Absolutely. You know, it's not no. impossible. No but it's a bit more restricting, isn't it? So um, they are a must. The phone lines, well, that speaks volumes. We didn't have them in yesterday's show. No jump rings. Strange. In yesterday, I know. Oh. Um, I, I assume we haven't got the quantity. Is that is that the case? How many have we? Oh, we have. There's 120 available. Kathy and Marion and Jane and Gillian and Angela and Sandy. Hello to you. Sorry, Sandra. Lynn and Eric and uh, North Lanarkshire and Maker in West Midlands and Denise and Cheryl. We don't see jump ring packs that often. When we do, um, they always sell. They always fly out the door because, look, you can make your jump rings, can't you, Mark? But you need, if you want to have that precision, yeah. closing. Uh, yeah, it needs to be quite a thick gauge for jump rings as well. So that'll make it real expensive if you use you've got to still wire. buy the wire yeah. and if yeah. you make make them firstly there's a time but when you're cutting them you have a burr don't you that's right yeah, where yeah. your pliers have cut yeah. down so they don't quite perfectly align and that's actually visible where these are are they sawn is that they why are, you can't sawn. see them yeah. let me hold yeah. them up with the tweezers actually and you'll see where i'm coming from so um this is the difference between and there's nothing wrong with making your own jump rings but if you actually look you can't see the alignment, can you? And that's because they're sawn. Whereas if I made those, you would have a slight indentation where you'd cut it. Um, yeah, precision. They are open jump rings. You'll actually struggle with finding where it is. I think it's just by my fingernail. Can you see? Yeah, um, yeah the opening. Um, and that gives you that professional, wow. well uh, this, that professional finish. Now, we've got one more kit to do. There are only 50 of this kit. Now, we're sticking with those beautiful those beautiful spinels, but slightly different components alongside this one. So it depends which way, um, you know, what you want to do. If you wanted the cord, then that was the last kit, obviously. Um, this kit includes... Elasticity. In a colour I've not seen before. No, it's lovely, isn't it? Yeah. Should we take that off? So, so Gorgeous. Show you. So this is 0.8 elastic. Um... Yeah, now I don't know how to describe that colour. Oh, satin silver, they describe it. Yeah, that's very apt. Satin silver. Then you also get a nice little sterling silver component just there. Let me hold that up. So have you got any half drill pearls in your stash that, oh. you, that don't have a home? These are the, there we go. There's little, its home. Yeah, little peg in the centre. It's very cute. Very pretty. So I'm imagining if you may be using your jewellery maker glue and putting it on the front of a cabochon. If you imagine a plain jadeite cabochon. Nice. And then gluing it onto the front with a little pearl or, yeah. a, or a half drilled gemstone, I think it would be stunning. Gluing is not, shouldn't, shouldn't be I like glue, a faux I love glue. I love gluing. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> and lots of, the, lots of the professional jewellers work with glue as yeah. well. So yeah. shouldn't be faux pas. Um, so that's included. And then you have, let me see if I can hold them on the back of my hand uh, like I did last time. Uh, then you have the five amazing And obviously strands. you've got each of those strands, you're going to get two tassels. So I've just I've just used a couple of the tassels with a few jump rings I had. Ah. So and you've got those. You've got five pairs of earrings using your tassels as yeah, well. Yeah, Or your or your Marla tassels or anything. Lots that can be yeah, done. Yeah. Um, okay. So here are the five strands that you're getting as well. Different cuts in each and every single one of them. If you want these this selection of shapes, ordinarily you'd have to buy. Um, yeah. Uh, uh, full length strands which is obviously going to cost more because you're getting a bigger carrot weight so the same it's the same parcel that we had in the first kit but just different components so you get the silver you get the elasticity and then you get the five strands again of beautiful natural black spinel um, there's only 50 of this kit though so it is more exclusive much more limited make sure you are checking them out yeah, you make use of those lovely tassels. Tassels are everywhere at the moment, aren't they? All the rage is a tassel. Um, and they come with your strand. £19.99 only. You've got silver elastic. and elasticity. Oh, my word. And it's not just your clear bog standard elasticity either. It's the silver colour that's going to look lovely with your yeah, pearls. Yeah, I've never seen it before. No, it's really no, beautiful. No. Like satin silver. Um, we're at £19.99, but Ross says, you know what, El, there's only 50 of them available. Shall we do 
an unbeatable deal. There's five strands of beautiful, genuine gemstones in this kit. But we say it every time, Mark, don't we? You know, the joy of the kit, not only to get the talented designers giving you inspiration and knowledge, you also get the best possible savings. Five strands, sterling silver, the spool reel. It's not a spool, spools upwards, isn't it? <laughs> the reel of elastic um, in a color that we don't often see. And we're not stopping there, but there's only 50 available opportunities. Where's he going with this? A spool is upwards. A reel is that. Nook and cranny, do you remember? No, what's it? I had to tell you. Did you? Mm. A nook in? So a nook, as in book, is vertical, and a cranny is horizontal. So if you see, if you see a dry stone wall with nooks and crannies, nook, cranny. I didn't know that. No, I told you that. I, 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 must, I bored everyone else to death with that. I like that. <laughs> I like these little facts. My favourite, my favourite fact are, are peppers. Next time you make a salad with peppers, yeah. a, a bag of peppers, red, yellow, green peppers. If you turn out, so you have your stalk end, yeah. and you get the bumpy end. Yeah. Okay. So if you put the stalk end down, so you can see the ridges. If it's got three curves, it's a female pepper. If it's got four curves, it's a male pepper. So you have boys and yeah. Boys and girl peppers. Yeah. Amazing. Yeah. You told me another yeah. fact the other day as well that I was, and I was trying oh. to relay it to Tom and I've forgotten. What was it about? Oh. Oh, it was so good as well. Last, last show oh. we were on together, you gave me a really good fact. Is it about gardening or food or? It'll come to me. Okay, okay. That's annoying, isn't it? Sorry. I love facts. Yeah. Mm. I like facts as well. Mm. I bet you're good in a oh, it, it, was, it, wasn't the, it wasn't the Man on the Moon. No, it wasn't No, that one, although so. that is a good one. Yeah. That is a good one. Who was the first person on the moon? Mm. Because there had to be someone there before Neil Armstrong, didn't there? Because they took the, po the picture took of the him. Took the photo of him. It's technically... Mm. It's a conspiracy. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. No, it wasn't that one, but right. it was, okay. yeah. I like it. I like right. facts. We, that should be our texting topic, shouldn't it? I love fun facts. Fun facts. Yeah. I heard one about penguins once. Penguins were discovered by a Welshman, and that's why they're oh, called that's penguins. Right. Because yeah. this is your pen in Welsh. Your head yeah. is pen, and Gwyn is white. And there's penguin, also, when Captain Cook discovered, uh, this is another good, when Captain Cook discovered Australia, okay, he saw a kangaroo. Yeah. And he said to the first, uh, one of the Aboriginal um, settlers on, the, on Australia, he said to him, what's that? And the chap said kangaroo, and kangaroo means I don't know. Oh! So kangaroo in an Aborigine is I don't know. He didn't know what it was. And the chap said, oh, it's a kangaroo. And that's why kangaroos are called kangaroos. Love it. Yeah. I like that. Kangaroo. That's a good one. Yeah. And now I don't we know. can speak a little bit of Aboriginal I don't know. as well. Yeah. There you go. Yeah. Amazing. Uh, no, in answer to your question, Adam, he said, doesn't pen mean hill? No, uh, brin is hill. Brin. Brin. Oh, pen, pen. Penny fan. Mm. <sighs> yeah, what does pen? It's also head. Oh, top, right. maybe, yeah. Hope maybe top, top yeah. yeah. Um, amazing. Sorry, we have completely digressed, haven't we? Sorry. Um, no, that wasn't you. I think that was <laughs> me that went down that, that route. Um, well done. They've flown. Congratulations to every single one of you. Now, your deal of the day is something very special today. Um, Christmas in July. We said it at the beginning of this weekend. We actually said, look, we, we, we purchased for Christmas in July. It's one of our, um, our, our biggest weekends here at Jewelry Maker. And your deal of the day... To, uh, yeah, I'm so passionate about pearls and I genuinely believe this is one of our greatest strengths here at Jewelry Maker is our pearl buying. Um, these are natural, completely and utterly natural. They're amazing. And they are all metallic, which is so rare. Again, it's easy. Uh, this fact, I remember reading it and it stuck with me from a harvest of 10,000 pearls less than 10 will be naturally metallic and yet here you have an entire oh, strand. Man. It's not an overstatement to say that these take years to put together a strand like this, particularly in the current market right now where the pearl oh. harvests have been decimated by the pandemic. You know, like I said, we, you know, when, when we were all told to isolate and of course that applied to gemstone miners and pearl harvesters alike, you know, if you don't go to a mine to mine a, uh, to mine a gemstone that's coming from the ground, they're still there. They're not going yeah, anywhere. Yeah, Whereas with pearls, true, they will. Yeah. They were lost in the sea. So we're yeah. about a decade 
behind um, in pearl um, availability coming up, but not yet. Um, in the meantime, shall we do some of our essentials that we have oh. from yesterday? Um, Mark, you choose. Is there anything you want us to bring? To are they, are they um, the shepherd hooks shepherd's have sold hook. out. The head pins have sold out. Oh, OK. And the 0.6 wire. Um, in fact, you've just demoed with 0.4, so shall we do that? Yes. Let's do some 0.4 wire because perfect. It's been, it's what you actually demonstrated. With. And I just, I was saying this yesterday, Mark, when you actually look at, a, 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 you know, a coil of hmm. sterling silver wire, it doesn't look like much, does it? No. But um, it is precious metal. Um, and it's obviously when you see it completed and finished into, uh, you know, used mm. in jewelry like Mark has just done. Also, showing you how you use your cards um, and your display stand. That's genius. Yeah, and you'll only use a tiny percentage of this, but 0.4 wire is like gold dust because you can thread with it, you can uh, um, you can weave with it, and obviously you can do your brilliant wrapping. Yeah. We had 200 of them yesterday. I've got 43 of them left. Oh, We're gonna do it in one price crash. Silly, says Ross, it's a sterling silver, 0.4. And we took it to, yeah, yeah, yeah. What? <laughs> it's precious metal. You know, let's not forget we unearthed this from the ground. Does it is... Claire make head pins with it? Yeah. You can ball the end. Ball the end. You can ball the end. Yeah. 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 These will go through your micro gemstones. They're great if you do slider bracelets because you can oh, use oh, it for okay. your for, for the thread yeah. as and well as the wrap. Silver. Everything yeah. solely silver. Yeah. Yeah. You can use it in the technique the Mark's just demonstrated as well. Point four is like gold dust. Um, and we did say, even our designers, you know, I was having this conversation with Susie yesterday. If you're desperate for your findings, which most of you are, um, I was like, make sure you tune on Saturday because there's an essential hour. So it's not just you guys at home that have been crying out for your precious, uh, your essentials. We need them, don't we? And I think it was Amanda, if you're watching Amanda, so who actually said, look, we need a 50-50 split. We need 50% uh, gemstones and 50% findings because you use no, as many. Absolutely. Yeah, yeah. Um, so yeah. it's a really good point. Um, Richard, Northampton. Hamptonshire, Maker and Merseyside, London and Buckinghamshire and Sharon and Jane and Susan Logie, they're sold out. Well done. Do you want to pick the next one? Um, um, essential. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. What are you going to go for? Quite like the look of. Oh, one of the check. Oh, this one. one of the oh, the findings pack. Yeah. This is such a great deal, Mark, yeah. because you get Love all it. of that. That's one of the heavier chains, by the way. This shocked me, this deal, by the way, Mark. Love it. I think it was Susan's favourite as well, wasn't it? Yeah. Yesterday? It's a thicker chain, it's yeah. a heavier gram weight of chain, plus you get your head pins and you get the shepherd hooks. Not shepherd hooks, lever backs. So a big gram weight. It's a complete necklace with the head pins and your lever back backs. Now we had 300, 249 wow. sold yesterday. There's oh. 51 left. If you weren't able to watch yesterday, it's part of the deal of the day hour. Deal, uh, deal of the day hour. Sorry, finish your sentence out. At that. I yeah we went stupidly low frankly because this is a heavy chain. That's ridiculous. It is, isn't it? <laughs> well, that, what I was saying, Mark, that's your sweet, isn't it? That's your sweet jewellery. Completely. Because you've yeah. got the necklace, you've got the head pins, and you've got the lever backs. Some places you'd find difficult to get those lever backs under ten quid. Yeah. On their own. Because they're engineering, aren't yeah. they? You've got moving they're parts. They're beautiful. Crafted Seven out of precious pounds. sterling silver. The chain itself, the chain itself is, you know, that's a big gram weight that you're actually yeah. getting there. I mean, on the high street, you're looking at 15, 20 pound at least. Yeah, definitely. Just we that. only have yeah. 51 available though, because oh, no. yesterday these absolutely flew. Loads of multi-buyers getting involved on this one. Judith, Olivia, Mirtha, Tidville, Kate, Cheryl, Susan and Brian, Angela. Um, 51 were available and you get everything. Obviously not the card, because that's really just how we displayed it effectively. Um, but hopefully you've got that in the uh, in the previous hour. Good luck to every single one of you. Yeah, mad deal. I think that's the price of the chain here at Jewelry Maker. In fact, that's probably lower than the price of a chain here at Jewelry Maker. And then you're getting your head pins and your lever backs as well. Big gram weight of sterling silver, as you can see, just under three grams of sterling silver. It's probably, I, I don't know. I look at that and think it maybe is a bit more than that. Um, but anyway, what a deal. Good luck and well done. Lots of multi-buyers getting involved. Yeah. The final few of these available. Did, um, they, did they go, did they? 
Uh, we might have some. Um, Penn is Hill in Cornish. There oh. you go. Oh. Oh, there we are then. I know it's head in Welsh. I do know it's head in Welsh. <laughs> no, I, I speak the truth. Um, oh, Adam, yeah, Penn. That's where you got it from then. Cornish. There you go. There you go. Um, yeah, Bryn is Hill in Welsh. At uh, Bryn. Um, amazing. Well done, everybody. Make sure you're checking out your baskets on those. We had 51 available. There's still tons of you with it in your baskets. Um, if you've got a phone pressed to your ear, stay where you are. We did bombard our call centre yesterday. They've earned their bread and butter, to be honest. Um, I, think, I think, Roscoe, you need to send some chocolates up to the call centre team. Aww. <laughs> I can too, as well, yeah. That kit sold out. Uh, Ross is saying, hang on, why can't you? To be very good. Um, absolutely. And apparently I owe him a meal. What do I owe you a meal? Oh, okay. So he bought a present. We were like, we'll contribute to the present, obviously. He was like, no, just take me for a nice meal. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and what he actually said was, like, on separate days, we can't just do it together as a team. I have to take Ross out, and then Adam has to take Ross out separately. <laughs> Honestly. Oh, dear me. He doesn't want much to say. What next? What next? Leverbacks. Lever Do we backs? have those? Yes. Good old leverback. Love them. They are amazing. It's like that lock in the door, isn't it? That gives you that security, that peace yep. of mind. If a screw back stud earring is to, um, you know, like a big, a big gemstone, instead of it just being just a push on butterfly back, you know, you sometimes have the screw backs. Um, that's what the lever back is to a drop earring in my eyes. Does that make sense? Yeah, yeah. Um, because you've got that Absolutely. security. Yeah. Uh, basically, it's like a little door or a gate that closes at the back of the earlobe. There are only 15 oh, no. of them left, though. So, and we had quantity of these yesterday it went absolutely nuts 205 were uh, relaunched yesterday and you're getting how many pairs five pairs 11.99 <laughs> and Susie was saying Mark I'm sure you'll be in agreement that that's oh, an upgrade for a customer completely and utterly back. completely no completely because useful, they, 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 you know there's more silver in there yeah, and more involved as a finding so there was only 15 gone well done well you done, said you said the well shepherd done. hooks have gone, did you? Shepherd hooks sold out, yeah. Shepherd so. hooks sold out. Any of the head pins or eye pins? Should we do the featherweights? Oh, yeah. Let's do the featherweights. Uh, and I called these the Alleluia product, Mark. Well, yeah, yeah okay. Um, because I was gonna, I was gonna tell you something, but what? I won't tell you again. It's, it's, it's the one product that actually made me cry on air, live on air. Can you believe I'm admitting to this? It was Christmas Day. Must be nine years ago. Were you feeling a bit emotional? And Carol and I were on. Yeah, that, that, that was emotional. Yeah, I hadn't long lost my dad and I was emotional. Well, you will we'll go down that route. Yeah. And the, the deal of the day were sterling silver featherweight head pins. And I, I cried on air. It was ridiculous. But you because know Because we've been waiting so when long. When you've been making jewellery and you've not been able to make the pieces that you want because you can't get through the drill holes. Hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of our viewers had gems distinction strands or tassel strands that they were able to use. Yeah, because we're the drill finding holes. Because we didn't have any fine enough gauge wire. And it we makes had sense. it. Hallelujah. Uh, hallelujah. It was hallelujah. It exactly. Was. Because yeah. all of a sudden you had a featherweight head pin that would fit through those gems. Yeah. So I get it. Oh, you don't have to justify completely, that, Mark. Completely. You know, I totally, yeah. totally get it. Now, you'll notice, and we were saying yesterday, these are the, the best quality featherweight head pins because They're look gorgeous. how straight they are. They're amazing. Normally they've got little they buckles, normally. aren't they? <laughs> normally little buckles and kinks within yeah. them. And a hundred um, as well. Yeah. No, I mean, you could sell those in 20s. You can know? you pass me the other head pins and I can show the difference between the two? So if you think, look, if I show you those ones there, you can see they're a thicker gauge of wire. Can you see that? So sometimes they won't go through a gemstone. Featherweight head pins, yay! They go through all your micro gemstones, mm. your gems of distinction. A hundred of them. These are the original ones. These were the remember. originals, yeah. They're a bit kinky. Yeah. Well, they bend over double and all sorts. Yeah. 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 So there's the difference. Yeah. And, you know, they're fine. These, I've got to And they're base metal as well, mine, so. Okay, whereas these are 925. Yeah. Yeah. I can't remember, have we done 100 before? I'm just trying to... I think so, but more like the kinky ones. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, I think you're right. The kinky featherweights. 
<laughs> it's true. <laughs> it's true, though. They were. They're a little bit wibbly wobbly. So what's better, wibbly wobbly or kinky? You know what I'm getting at, don't you? Um, whereas these are perfectly straight. Um, Forty-nine pounds and ninety-nine pence. Shirley and Christine and Rupal and Sue and Marion and Alice and Jenna Weaver. Did we not stop there? No, of course we didn't. How many have we got though? We had three hundred seventy-six left. Wow. Stock oh, up on your featherweight head pins. Uh, and uh, yeah, customers were messaging in saying it's as important that we have our essentials as we do with the gemstones. And we absolutely agree with you 100%. But I also sympathize with our buying team in a sense that, look, we get them and we want to bring them to you at the most competitive price tag like this. And then they sell out. So I do, uh, it, 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 it's like a never ending challenge for them to keep these That's items. Crazy. It is, yeah. We don't make it easy for our team, do we? Sixteen ninety nine. What I would do is I would I would buy these, but I'd buy multi packs of them. And on my stall, I'd have one of our new stands, and I would have people to buy their own findings for making jewellery. Lovely. And you you could put a thing of ten for three pound. Yeah. And that's that's twice the, you know all that money profit with not doing anything. Just doubled. <laughs> just doubled. Yeah. Sixteen ninety nine. That's so, incredible. And they are nine two five yeah. sterling silver. Well done to those of you that have stocked up on these. Again, if you weren't able to tune in, in yesterday's show, then here's your second chance. But they are much, much, much more exclusive um, than they were yesterday. Um, good luck to you all. Make sure you stay where you are on those phone lines. There's three full rows of names. Um, it's like yesterday all over again. With the featherweight headbands, you can even feed through your chains. You can. Can't I was you? just looking, all of them. Yeah. 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 Even feed directly through your links in your chain. So yeah. if you're not a silversmith or a solderer, um, featherweight headpins are your friend. And to be able Definitely to do a bubble a bracelet or a bubble yeah. necklace, you need with a lot. Sterling, don't you? you need a lot. You need yeah. a lot of them. Um, okay. Eye pins. Oh, okay. Do the yeah, eye yeah. pins. Oh, marvelous. I haven't seen eye pins in a while, have we? There we go. So we used to have eye pins in every findings pack once upon a time. We don't anymore. No, no. And yeah, you can make it. You can make eye pins. However, if I was to make eye pins, they wouldn't look anything like that. <laughs> um, there's only 16 oh, no. of them left, though. Oh, amazing. Yeah. Are they the long ones? Are they 50 mil? Yeah, this which is nothing is discarded. It's no. precious metal. Nine pounds and 99 pence for how many? 20 of them. Wow. 0.6 gauge. With your eye pins, great for rosary linking. Perfect, yeah, for long, for longer necklaces. Because what I would tend to do with this is fill the post with gemstones, yeah, or seed beads, or do something, and then use another head pin that you've just purchased, yeah, to put a pearl at the bottom or a round gemstone or like a little dangle, the day. or yeah, Deep that's how I pearls use that are coming up. Sold out. Well oh. done. Should we do the okay. wire end tips? Oh, I'm amazed we've got any of these left. Amazed. Now, um, your deal of the day that's coming up. The quality of the pearls. We had oh, silk God. yesterday as well, didn't we? Did you? Yeah. It's a must that you use your wire. Well, yeah. who am I it to is. tell you what to yeah. do? But, you know, yeah. I, wire end tips. This is like the, it's the finale of your essentials. Um, you use your wire end tips, especially with your silk, because silk is a natural fibre. It can rub, especially against maybe a, um, a jump ring or a, um, a clasp. So, and when it rubs, it breaks. You've just basically got to have it re-knotted. Whereas these will prevent that friction. It also gives you that really professional finish. Now, there's only a handful of them left. Seven ninety nine. They are nine two five sterling silver. They look like little earphones, don't they? But you put your th your thread, whatever it is, gone. Thread, wire, beading wire, whatever it is, um, through the one ear pad, I suppose. Follow the gully and down the other side. They are. Now yeah. we do have some chains, but we're going to bring those to you a little bit later on in the show. Um, so wow. we've got the different lengths, gold plated and silver. Just before we dive into the break, um, we've got a message. Okay. Hello to you, Julian Devon. Uh, going to put a black spinel oh. drop on a paper clip bracelet I bought, bought last week. Oh, I love it. You had one on. Oh, you still got one on? Yeah. It's of mine. Oh, that's yours? Yeah. It's lovely. Uh, yeah, I bought this with Claire the other day. Oh. Now, we do have. Oh, this I'm wearing. This is. We've got. Oh. We've got the bracelet. Where? I can see the necklaces. No, they're the necklaces. Oh, no, they are bracelets. <laughs> you have to get the bracelets as well to match. <laughs> you stay behind after class, yeah. L, so we can have a conversation. <laughs> <laughs> so 
very wrong. Easy mistake to make because I thought they were a necklace. They look well, like you necklaces. Get two, you? you get two. You do get two. So I'll just hold yeah. one. You get two of each oh, colour and there's two different designs. I launched these, Ross. And they absolutely They're flew. Beautiful. I did. I did when I was cheating on you with the other shift side. Um, yeah. And Adam, yeah. I was cheating. Sorry. Um, you get two different designs. Um, so you get your, you've got opportunities in your silver, opportunities in your yellow, opportunities in your rose. These are, if you, if you love that idea that Julie has yeah. just said, um, I'll show you them all actually. These are coming up, what, in the next hour? Is it? Um, probably after the pearls. So they're on pre-order right now if you want to guarantee your place. That's but beautiful. do you notice how they're all different? Yeah. As well, well they're, yeah. They're, you've got two different designs. You could join them all together, couldn't you? Make yeah, an overhead necklace. That would be necklace. lovely. Yeah. Lovely. Uh, coming up are those amazing pearls. We have got quantity of them, but my goodness me, the deal that you're about to see is absolutely unbelievable. The quality of these pearls truly are second to none. And I'll say it again, just as we um, you know, so duck into this break, they are completely wow. metallic. There's a hundred available, and it is one of our greatest strengths here at Jewelry Maker. I truly, truly believe that. Um, don't go anywhere, lovely jewelry makers. Join Mark and I after this. Jewelry Maker has its own dedicated call centre with highly trained staff waiting to help you with your orders or any queries. Happy shopping with Jewelry Maker. Jewelry Makers, did you know that you can purchase as many times as you like throughout the day and you'll only be charged one postage and packaging fee? No matter the size, weight or quantity of your order, how many times you check out that day, we will still only charge you that single PMP. Keep things simple on Jewelry Maker. Did you know that when you purchase with Jewelry Maker, you have a 30 day money back guarantee? Happy shopping with Jewelry Maker. It's easy to stay in touch with Jewelry Maker. You can like our Facebook page and join our community of over 69,000 people. You can follow us on Twitter and tweet us your messages and opinions. You can also find us on Instagram and even TikTok. Make sure you get involved and stay up to date with Jewelry Maker. Buying with Jewelry Maker couldn't be easier. Here's a quick overview of how to get involved. When you see a product you like and you want to purchase, you will see the graphics appear on the screen. You'll see the item code and a starting price. As time goes on, you'll see the price drop. And as viewers call in and customers add it to their baskets online, you'll also see the quantity decrease too. No matter at what point you order, everybody pays the final low price. And there's only one PMP charge on everything you purchase throughout the day. We offer you a 30-day money-back guarantee, so there's no risk whether you're purchasing for the first time or any time. Happy shopping with Jewelry Maker. Want to know what's going on in the next show? Then head over to our website, click on the TV guide. This will tell you who's presenting, which guest we have joining us, along with what's going on in each hour. If you ever miss a show, you can catch up by clicking on the day you missed and then click watch this show. You can also view what product was on and if it's still available to buy. Catch up on Jewelry Maker. Jewelry Maker are proud to be part of the Gemporia partnership. Our partnership family includes Jewelry Maker, Gem Collector, Gemporia, Sewing Street and Yarn Lane. Jewelry Maker presents the Great British Summer. As the heat wave hits, the British public are making the most of it, while it's still here. Here's Carol, buying an ice cream from a local vendor, playing games at the fair, and frolicking about in the sun. But Carol has forgotten that Jewelry Maker celebrates Christmas in July, a chance for customers to get their supplies in ready for their Christmas designs and gifts. So Carol can take a bite of that ice cream and hello to that Christmas jumper, as we present Christmas in July. Oh, Carol, you scamp. 
Our friendly and knowledgeable help team are available 24 hours a day, 365 days a year. If you have a question or query, contact us on 0800 644 655 and press option 2. Alternatively, you can email or drop us a direct message on our Facebook page. Jewelry Maker, happy to help. Sorry, I <laughs> decide last minute to slide my chair and it makes the... Have you spritzed? I have spritzed. You smell very nice. Thank you. Mm. Um, okay, now... We have, I can always, re, I can only relay the messages that we get told from our team. And obviously we have got an amazing team across the entire partnership, by the way, that travel you know, um, the length and width of the world to try and bring you the finest quality gemstones. And again, I, I, I do think our, one of our greatest strengths is pearl buying. I've said it so many times, I know that I'm like a broken record, but you know, credit where it is due. Because, and the reality is, I can only talk about my own experiences, can't I? You know, I'm, I've been worked within jewellery for 24 years. I've worked in jewellery wow. and gemstones. And one of the first roles that I had in my early 20s was actually working with pearls, high-end pearls. And it was, I was responsible for looking after the pearl cabinet where I had to, had to put on gloves every time that I handled them. If I was seen without those gloves, then wow. there would have been a conversation being had. Um, and they were displayed on exactly the same kind of bus that I'm about to show you right now. The, the, the only difference really was the price tag. And I'm going back 24 years, you know, Firstly, we never had metallic pills in that establishment that sold the likes of Piaget and Cartier and Rolex, you know, all those brands. Um, they didn't have metallic pills. They had your classic South Sea and they had some Tahitian pills and they had some which were embedded with diamonds as well. Uh, but most of those are pills or the, the pills there started at four figures upwards to five figures. <laughs> they were astonishingly expensive, sometimes even more expensive than that of the diamonds. And the reality is, the current day that we are, I know it's 24 years on, they're less available now than they were then. And that's because of, you know, what the world went through some years ago. Because uh, just another reminder is, you know, if, you, if a miner is told to uh, um, go into lockdown, Obviously, isolate, nobody's working. And if you do that in a diamond mine, it's fine. The diamonds are going to stay Still there. there yeah. em emeralds, sapphires, rubies, amethysts, they ain't going anywhere, are they? They're still safe, snug in the ground. Whereas with pearl harvests, they're tended to on a daily basis. Quite literally, divers will go down, they'll oscillate, they'll turn each of those mollusks to, make, to try and create the perfect shape. They, they brush off or chip off any barnacles so you've got happy mollusks feeding. You know, um, happy mollusks produce the finest luster of pearls. You know, it's not something that you can do at distance. So sadly, um, most freshwater and, south, uh, and saltwater pearls were lost to the sea. And they estimate that it is going to be about a decade to recover from that. And it, it really was sort of solidified to me when I went over to Tucson, not this year, the year previously, because quite sad, really. And Tucson being the gem, biggest gem fair in the world, you know, when you walk through the, um, all the different gem fairs, you had booths which would have cost them thousands of pounds. To actually, to actually purchase, would have been purchased the year previously, just empty. Didn't bother actually turning up. You know, had you, you, you had the, uh, you had the sapphires. We even had cashmere sapphires there. There were your Burmese rubies. They had all the other gemstones, but sadly, pearls. They were all empty. 
Um, so to be able to continue to bring you pills of this grade really is, you know, something that um, we should be, um, well, are very excited and still very proud to do. However, things have changed. We, have an, we had an email only a couple of weeks ago saying, look, we can't sustain the prices that we're bringing to where the price everywhere else in the world has gone up and we are not exempt from that. Anyway, now that aside, let's talk about the what grades a pearl. How do we grade a pearl? Because um, it's easy with diamonds, you've got the four C, haven't the four C's, haven't you? So that's very straightforward. But with pearls, there's, there's what they call attributes. Um, so five attributes. Um, and let's go to the GIA. So the largest institution in the world, and they talk about um, the virtues, the pearl quality factors. First and foremost, look at that image, and I'm going to tell you your pearls are better. Um, I genuinely yeah. believe that. They are more lustrous, more metallic. You've got more intense color and more overtones than that strand, the multicolored strand in the center. Um, but let's read forward. So the GIA, they say, well, the quality that determines the overall value of a natural or cultured pill or a piece of pearl jewelry are size, shape, color, luster, surface quality, nacre quality, and for jewelry with two or more pearls matching as well. So. Uh, there's a few of the virtues there actually sort of crossed into one. So um, surface quality is the nacre, mm. um, obviously. Um, and matching, well, that applies if you're talking about, say, like a, 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 a solid white or a solid purple, you know, when you're matching like that, you're matching the shapes. These are more of your Baroque shapes, so that's what's celebrated. Um, okay, size. When other factors are equal, larger pearls are rarer and more valuable than smaller pearls of the same type. I think that's fairly straightforward and obvious. Yeah, because you have to firstly not only have a, 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 a mollusk that is looking after that pearl internally for however long it is, many years, um, or you have to also invest in that mollusk prior to the culturing process. So they have to mature enough to be able to produce oh, your yeah. pearls. So many years go into that. The shape. Uh, round is the most difficult shape to culture, making them the rarest culture pearl shape generally. If all other uh, factors are equal and also generally the most valuable. There are exceptions though. Well-formed pears, ovals or baroques, which are the irregular shapes which I have here, culture pearls are also prized by pearl lovers. I'm going to just say that shape, really, of the five virtues mm. is probably the most ambiguous because it's all in the eye of the beholder, yeah, really. Yeah. Um, whichever you prefer. The La Peregrina drop pearl is astonishingly rare to create that perfect drop shape, so it's in the eye of the beholder very much. Moving on though, Color, this is really important and especially to your deal of the day. Natural and cultured pearls occur in a broad range of hues. There are warm hues like yellow, orange and pink and cool hues like blue, green and violet. Pearls have a wide range of tones from light to dark. Pearls tend to be muted with a soft, subtle color. If we read on, it should talk about the fact um, here we go, um, or does it? If not, I will. Uh, pearl colors have three components. A body color, so that's the main obvious color. Um, is the pearl's dominant overall color. Overtones is one of one or more translucent colors that lie over a pearl's body color. And orient is a shimmer of, of iridescent rainbow colors on or just below the pearl's surface. All pearls display body color, but only some will show overtones, orient, and both. I think now, yes, only some will yeah. have that. So you know you said it's like amateur. Yeah. That's the, the overtone. Re reflection. Yeah. It's incredible, isn't it? That's the overtone yeah. and the orient that you're describing yeah. there. It's the secondary colors that you're seeing within. Not all pearls have this quality. Wow. Um, they can be quite muted. Yeah, yeah. Let's just put it that way. Um, and also what they should mention in this paragraph is you can dye a pearl. These are not dyed. These are totally and utterly natural. The law of supply and de demand determines the value of certain pearl colors at any given time. If supplies of high quality pearls displaying um, a preferred color are low, their prices can rise to unusually high levels. Other complex factors like fashion trends and cultural traditions um, can influence color preferences as well. We know that metallic pearls are huge at the moment, you know, very much in the limelight, normally very, very expensive. We know that pinks and purples are very, very in demand at the moment as 
well. Again, very, very expensive. Um, and here I am bringing you a strand of multiple colors. Within this opportunity, and I'm gonna put it on the bus for a second, if you saw this knotted with an 18 karat gold clasp, I'm just gonna jump on my soapbox for one more second, because <laughs> you know what I'm gonna yeah, say, yeah, don't yeah. you, Mark? Yeah, yeah. This is why I keep nagging our team upstairs saying we should be selling 18 we karat gold clasps. Absolutely. And yeah. it's madness that we're not. When we're showing our audience put pearls of this grade, you know, and you know what? That could be on our screens mm. at 799 mm. and that's a great yeah, deal. Yeah. That yeah. is a great deal. If I'm spending 799 and that's not your deal of the day price, by the way, but if I was spending 799 pounds on that strand, I would want an 18 karat mm -hmm. gold class. Just personal opinion, in my opinion. And actually doing that is escalating the overall price point of the piece of jewelry. Um, let's move on, luster. Luster, many will say, is the, is the most important quality and attribute, virtue of your pearls. Of the seven pearl value factors, luster might be the most important. There we go, they just said it themselves. Luster is what gives a natural or culture pearl its unique beauty. Um, and it's all about the reflection, so how mirror-like it is. Excellent, the reflection appears bright and sharp. Very good, the reflections appear bright and near sharp. Good, reflections are bright but not sharp and slightly hazy around the edges. Um, fair, reflections are weak and blurred. Poor, reflections are dim and diffused. Within a pearl type, when other factors are equal, the higher the luster, the more valuable the pearl. These are completely mirror-like. You could see the reflection of your surroundings in these pearls. You can see the, re the light box recording in these pearls. That's amazing. It ticks so many boxes within our, you know, within the virtues that yeah. we've just been discussing. They are natural. They are natural. They have an abundance of luster. They have orient overtones. They have size and they have one of the most in demand shapes. Surface quality. That's the nacre. If you like the skin of the pearl, much like, you, uh, much like us, they are organic um, and we should expect there to be the odd characteristics and blemish, maybe a little freckle um, on, on the surface of the skin. Well, surface quality, uh, like coloured stones, most pearls never achieve perfection. Some might show abrasions uh, that look like a series of scratches on the surface or a flattened section that doesn't uh, affect its basic shape or an irregular ridge that looks like a crease or a wrinkle. Um, if surface characteristics are numerous or severe, they can affect the durability of a pearl and severely depress its value. Surface characteristics have less effect on a pearl's beauty and value if they are few in number or if they are minor enough to be hidden by a drill hole or mounting. Now, obviously, folds and things like that on a Baroque pearl are what's celebrated. We want there to be undulations. But what they're talking about is little sort of scratches or little um, sort of spots if you like on the surface of the pearl and again look at the quality that you're getting here jewelry makers that's like you know if you were to throw a, um, you know a, a sheet of silk up into the air and it was to sort of come down and like like the, the flake advert yeah, used to be yeah. and you see that beautiful rippling that's the quality mm. of, uh, of, of high-end pearls this strand is second to none, truly. And, I, and if I cast my mind back to when I was actually, um, when I was actually in, my, in the first jewellers that I worked at, this would not come at an affordable price tag. I can say that for certain. Lastly is the nacre quality. Luster and nacre qualities are closely related. If the nucleus is, uh, is visible under the nacre or if the pearl has a dull, chalky appearance, you can assume that the nacre is thin. This affects the luster as well as the durability of the pearl. Well, I have no... Mm. We're under magnification with Adam's recording and you cannot see the nucleus bead at all, um, telling me that there is an abundance of thick, beautiful nacre. Also, the fact that they are so um, lustrous, luster comes from nacre thickness. So um, also because you have your overtones, also because you have that orient tells me that they have been, um, they've been nurtured lovingly over multiple years. Just quickly, let's talk about the rarity of the color. Because like I said, you can get, you can dye a pearl if you dye a pearl you don't get orient 
Um, you don't get uh, secondary colors. Um, but these purples and the papayas and the pistachios that we're seeing here, you've got complete sashes of pistachios across some of these, are incredibly rare because the pearl has migrated to the circumference of the mollusk itself. But direct from our, um, and I can show you a photograph, it's not the prettiest of image, and I know Mark doesn't like it very much, so I apologize, Mark. But you can see on this image that that purple pearl has achieved that color because it is right by the edge. Um, of them. It is, yeah. yeah. If it had formed closer to the flesh itself, um, it would have been, sorry, I know it's not the most pleasant conversation, but it would have been more of a white colour. Um, so it's got that rare natural perfect, uh, purple. Yeah. Now consider this, because these are large, aren't they? These yeah. are large pearls. Yeah. How big would that mollusk have had to be that. to form yeah. a pearl there? Yeah. Um, direct from some of our suppliers, and we've shared this to you before, you know, again, just relaying the messages and the challenges that our team actually have to bring opportunities opportunities like this today. They say to replace pearls like this in the current climate isn't possible, but it is very expensive. Strands of this grade are likely to retail for around 10,000 US dollars today. Wow. Um, next year, you could look at double that uh, with the way the farms have been affected. They're referring to the pandemic, obviously. Yeah. Um, there isn't many strands right now in the world as it's more valuable to sell these singles mm, uh, as singles yeah. uh, at this size. We won't be able to offer anything like this for maybe five years and even then it wouldn't be financially viable there are let's just say other retailers who have deep pockets and will pay whatever they whatever they want to get hold of these levels of rarity because customers want them. Um, we are taking these to Hong Kong, not just for our Asian market. There is a huge demand from the West after the biggest jewelry house in New York started buying these too. Everybody wants these pearls and the pearl farms can't provide them. These are all from one source. Um, there is, oh, okay, so they're talking about one in particular strand there um, in this conversation, but the world wants these, these pearls and the farm cannot actually provide them. Lastly, I want to go to Yoko. Is that on this same? I think it is. Yoko of London um, have put together purple pearls. These are spherical pearls, whereas we have the beautiful Baroque. Um, they are perfectly uniformed, top quality pearls. Amazing. Mm. POA tells yeah. me I can't afford it. Yeah. However, we did apply. Uh, we did. Oh, we did. Okay. Yeah apply and it was twenty two and a half thousand pounds for that necklace. Do you think it's the eighteen carat rose gold that that's Ooh. the bulk of that price? Or do you think it's the pearls? No. What about a pair of earrings from Yoko? Surely that's much more affordable. Uh, still costing you eight grand though. Um, still costing you eight thousand pounds. Do you know what I really noticed? Not just I wasn't surprised by that price. What what I thought, yeah, do you notice the pearls go at the front and the sapphires and the diamonds go at the back of the ear? What's the point? Yeah, well I don't it, it, yeah, eight grand. Pearls at the front, all that at the back. Strange. Which is more celebrated Strange. there. Yeah, yeah. All I'm going to say is I have how many? A hundred um, available opportunities. I, I, sorry to interrupt, I absolutely adore coloured pearls. Me too. I think they are the most beautiful products, some of the most beautiful products we sell. Now, if you had a lineup of 10 women in a high street, let's, let's go for Redditch High Street or Birmingham High Street, and you had a row of 10 ladies. One lady was wearing a white pearl necklace and all of the other ladies were wearing a coloured pearl necklace. And you, you grabbed people passing by and said, which one of those ladies is wearing the pearls? I bet you I can guarantee every single person would say the necklace, the white necklace. Mm -hmm. Because they, they don't know about coloured pearls. They're not out there. Well, they're they're not rare. Out there. They're That's rare. why, because yeah. of the rarity of them, yeah. most people uh, think, assume that pearls only come in white. Yes, yeah, exactly. And we've, those, been, we've been tuned in. Yeah, and the reality pearls. is those That's white pearls will probably be the treated ones. Yeah, it's such They'll a be shame. the ones that are bleached. Yeah, such a shame. Um, whereas now, the market has completely changed. A, we want the Brocks, and that's probably on the back of the House of Gucci mm. um, with, with Lady Gaga. But also, we don't just want your pure whites. We want yeah. the purples. We want the papayas. We want the pistachios. We want the powder pinks. But they come with a significant price tag. How about, OK, let's just source. As your clock is ticking away, and that is a clock two graphics, there are 100 of these available. I'm going to show you back in 2021, so pandemic, yeah. yeah. yeah Two pearls with amazing metallic beauty like these. Um, overtones, you can see the pinks and the gold yep. overtones. I would describe them as metallic for sure. Two 
Look at what they sold for. 1,530 US dollars. That's two. That's for two. And they're round, lovely, beautiful nacre, amazing quality, lovely uh, uh, overtones um, and orient. It's a, it's a grand and a half for just two of them. And I have a full strand for you here today, jewelry makers, in a market which is so complex right now. If you are, uh, uh, look, it's, I buy, I buy a lot of the gemstones here, but I purchase pearls right now for my children. I buy it because, and I'm knocking it and I'm putting them on 18 karat golds because there's absolutely no way, no way on earth they're going to be able to, even with, you know, the pearl harvest actually, um, well, recovering, absolutely. The first three words. I know on the graphics, it's it's, it's it's ridiculous. We don't need to close things like this out. We can't you've buy just, them. You've just told us that you've told us 20 minutes now all about the incredible pearls. And yet, it's a closeout. Mm -hmm. That's ridiculous. I What's don't think people on? realise just how low this is going to go. Even with the, the pearl harvest recovering, say 10 years' time, I don't believe, this is my personal opinion, I don't believe my girls, for example, will be able to buy pearls at the price we're about to take mm. these to. Very rare things go down in the world of gemstones. Yeah. Yeah. And especially when they are of this quality. Immediately... Do you know what, Swansea and Devon, who've just chosen two? I would be doing exactly the same, I, but I, I know where it's going. So I really appreciate the trust and the confidence. What do you mean the price hasn't been set? I don't, Easily 12.99, something like that, just to start. Yeah, absolutely, because the reality is I don't think you'd be able to buy them at that elsewhere. You won't go to Bond Street. I've still got friends in Hatton Garden when I used to you know, deal directly with Hatton Garden. If I walk these into one of those establishments and said, you know, what do you reckon, 1,200 quid? They'd be like, that's a steal, an absolute steal. Our first price crash was going to be 1499 because we've matched those two spherical naturally colored purple pearls that we showed earlier on but this time it's a whole strand how amazing is that we're going to bring you the highest price that we can oh, no. on our on our graphics i don't know what you oh oh no Oh no. Oh goodness. Goodness <laughs> me. They are missing a digit. Oh no. That's a Friday afternoon job, wasn't it? Yeah. That's a Friday afternoon. Quick, 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 quick. I'm off out the door. I know it's Sunday. I meant like they haven't set the price. Oh, lovely Anne's bought some, look. Oh. It's Sunday. We can't do anything here in the studio, but. Please know that is no reflection of what they would be elsewhere. That's why we show you these. Four it's... split payments. That should be our closing price, right? Completely and utterly. 299 all day long and to the moon and back, but we physically cannot do that. You are 100% getting a closeout deal. Should we get, to, look, look up close. Look at the quality. Look at the smoothness of the nacre. Look at the secondary colours. Look at the sashes of papayas and pistachio. All totally and utterly natural. Formed within those moths of big sizes. Baroque's very much getting the limelights right now. We should be closing at 299. I, and I genuinely was expecting us to close about there. That's why I, when I was saying, look, I get these knowing that my girls probably will not be able to purchase pearls of this quality at anywhere near jewelry makers' deals moving forward. So how many are on the strand? Let's count them, because that's a good point. Two, four, six, eight, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20. 22, 24, 26, 28, 30, 32, 34. Divided by 261, how much is that per... <laughs> £7.70 oh. for natural pearls. So if you had or, one of those on a chain, £75, £80? Pounds oh, and the rest. For one? Depending on where, I suppose, yeah. Good luck, everybody. This is okay. Oh. Un uh, unplanned. We were expecting to close it at 299. You know we can't do that. Oh, goodness me. 
The quality of these pearls, there's a reason why, genuinely, I purchase pearls more than anything here at Jewelry Maker. It is one of my greatest passions, and I genuinely credit the team for offering not only some of the best qualities, but absolutely unrivaled deals. Hello, Liz and Kent. Goodness, what, a, what beautiful pearls. I'd sell just one with precious metal findings for more uh, than the price of this strand. Exactly, exactly. Genuinely, if I was to walk these into um, Hatton Garden, a lot to places like Boucheron or any of those high-end jewelers, there's no way on earth that they would expect them to be anywhere near uh, less than full figure. I'm not qualified to actually value them, but I can only tell you of my own personal experiences. We had how many of these? 100 available, lots of multi-buyers on this. Do you know what? I would do the same because at that price, multi-buy, knot them together. You don't need the 18 karat gold no, clasp. No, it can no. just be an over the top of the head. Um, 41 confirmations. <laughs> and we're not closing there. Look at the split payment now. Do you think if we went into... Firstly, your high street jewelers aren't going to have something like this. They'll have pearls. No, no, we don't have any, any have your... coloured pearls in Whitney no. at all. No, no, no the jewelers near me. No. They've got pearls. They've got white pearls. You know, you're fairly yeah. generic, fresh water, white pearls, which are bleached. That's fine. And they're more than what's on your screens right now. We're talking like, this is, this, this is the rarest colors. This is like your pink to a diamond, the rarest colors that you can get. And we're going even lower. Half the stock approaching has already gone. For those of you that are as passionate and fanatical about beautiful high-end pearls, here is probably one of the greatest deals we've ever done. In 15 seconds, how about change from a blue note per pearl? Per natural, metallic, with overtones, high orient, ticking every one of those virtues that we went through with the GIA. There's over how many? 104 of you with it in your baskets, and we are go. I can't believe we're going lower. 299 would have been ridiculously low. 499 would have been my amazing, would have been an incredible jewelry maker price. Right now, we're at 149 pounds. The reality is. The Pearl Harvest has encountered the pandemic and it's the one gemstone really that's been affected the most by the pandemic and it's going to be about a decade to recover. So yeah, I, I, I make no secret of the fact that I purchase our pearls like this and I'll be getting involved on this as well um, because I know quite literally I could knot it I could put it on 18 karat gold clasp I could put it on Etsy or somewhere like that and it wouldn't be 149 it most definitely wouldn't be 149 maybe a pair of earrings and that's a great price for a pair of earrings. Good luck, everybody. The quality of these with the sashes of colors, with that metallic beauty, it, it, £4.38. Wait, 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 wait. That's so you see favorite. this? That's my favorite, that see? dark one. Yeah. yeah. I hope you yeah, hang in on that. I love that. It's like antique mirror, isn't it? Yeah. It's beautiful. And this one, £4.38. And this one, look at that. It's got, got a dusky pink overtone to it. Ev Look at that purple. They're all absolutely stunning. Look at that colour. It's like a lavender. I'd use those two together. Yeah. I think they look absolutely amazing. Look at this one here. Oh, wow. Every single one of these beautiful pearls, you are talking about just over four pound each, which is madness. Don't forget what, don't, let's go to the other end. Don't forget what our supplier said. They sell them individually now because it's much more financially viable for them to sell them individually. Here we are bringing you an entire strand. Did we count 36? I feel like 34. there was 34 available uh, pearls, four pound 38 each. We had a hundred of these, is that right? Yeah, we had 100. Um, there are 32 of them left as it stands. Look at, look, look at that pink overtone. Can you see it? Overtone, I remember for ages not really getting what overtones meant. So um, it's like with your colored gemstones, we talk about uh, saturation, 
tone and hue. Mm. So saturation is the body color of the gemstone, yeah? So ruby's red, yeah? And then you have tones, which is the lightness and darkness, and then hues are secondary colors. So in this, if you think of overtones in that same way, overtones are like kind of secondary colors, golds, pistachios, purples. You have an abundance of overtones, which you would quite simply would not get if these were dyed. You wouldn't. The years that have gone into, um, well, let's, Firstly, maturing the mollusks to a size that can house pearls of this, of this scale. Then go through the multiple years that it takes to actually look after them during that culturing process. Then go into the fact that these won't have just come from one harvest. These have come from multiple harvests. So to put together one single strand, unbelievable. Wow. At 149 or a crazy 37 pounds and 25 pence on your split payment. Now, we're very busy on the phone lines. We're just gonna get a quick update on um, how many of them are left. Stay where you are, do not abandon your calls. And if you are thinking, how do I get involved in this sale? I've never shopped with Jewelry Maker before. It's as easy as this. Buying with Jewelry Maker couldn't be easier. Here's a quick overview of how to get involved. When you see a product you like and you want to purchase, you will see the graphics appear on the screen. You'll see the item code and a starting price. As time goes on, you'll see the price drop. And as viewers call in and customers add it to their baskets online, you'll also see the quantity decrease too. No matter at what point you order, everybody pays the final low price. And there's only one PMP charge on everything you purchase throughout the day. We offer you a 30 day money back guarantee. So there's no risk whether you're purchasing for the first time or any time. Happy shopping with Jewelry Maker. I think my, my, what I really like about this strand is the size. Yeah. It's a really manageable 10 mil to 13 size. They're not huge gobstoppers, are they? Or yeah. he they're not heavy. It's a nice, comfortable wear. That's what I really like. Mark, I'm shocked by 149. I wasn't expecting, and it wasn't meant to go to 149, by the way. I had in my head that this was going to be 499, mm. maybe 399. I'd seen the image, I'd seen the photograph. And then, of course, we had that situation with the web where the price was already set lower than that. We can't. <laughs> we started oh. at two hundred and sixty-one pounds and ninety-nine pence, which is an embarrassment, frankly. We should not be anywhere near that price tag. We should have started at two thousand because you know what? We had Jake on the other day, didn't we? And he was talking about pearls, mm. and he was saying that he spoke to Ofcom about pearls. And they were in total agreement that a generic pearl necklace, so like your, your, your white pearls that are probably bleached, yeah. um, say your Koyas, say, let's say your Koya pearls, uh, uh, you know, a, an Akoya pearl necklace, which you can't call generic, but that's about £3,000. They were in total agreement. So to start there is, 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 is a good point okay. because you can find those yeah. prices elsewhere. Something like this, we've just shown you Yoko of London is like 22 grand or eight grand for two or 1500 for two. Yeah. You know, that's where we should have been starting, so we know it was wrong. Now, okay, look at that split payment. It is embarrassing, the embarrassing is the word. We know though, don't we? Everybody that's confirmed, of, of which there's many, it, we know this is something that if you were to get them valued, you were to get them appraised, would not be at 149. Okay. The quantity we have left out of the 100 that we launched today, there are 20 left. As it stands, there are 72 of you with it in your basket, 19 on the phone lines. I want to say congratulations to um, so, so many of you. Well, let me show you those who need to check out and then hopefully I can congratulate you as well. Jackie, good luck. Anna, good luck. Argyll and Butte, good luck. Maker, Elizabeth, um, Linda, Christine, Anne, Lorna. You disappear off the screen, everybody. Maker on the phone lines who's just joined us. I've got 16 of them left. And, and that, that quantity is rapidly dropping, rapidly. That 37.25, that's a Chinese takeaway, it is, it? it is, it is, it is. <laughs> yeah, that's the reality. Mm, do you, yeah, I, I, yeah. I know I say this all the time about Taipei Jade, but do you think we're ever going to regret these purchases? 
You know, I could knock these. I could put in a, a, I would go 18 karat gold class and sell it for four figures. You could do 60 seconds to close this auction, everybody. Um, good luck. Look at that quantity rapidly approaching the single figures. Anna, Lauren, I wouldn't, I wouldn't part with it, by the way, because this is the kind of thing that I would pass on to my future generations. Anna and Lauren and Sandra and Leslie and Carol and Jacqueline and Patricia, Cheshire and Stephen and Susan and Lorna, Agnes and Jill and Margaret, Susan. Hello to you, Gopa. Hello to you. Olivia, Suzanne, Donna, West Midlands, Davinia and Karen. Again, I can't see all of your names, but I know there is, well, 90 of you effectively wow. um, already made your confirmations. These are super rare. They tick all of those seven virtues, well, the five virtues, that's what I simplify it to, but so many more because you've actually got natural metallics. You have an abundance of orientation as well. Well done, the final seven. Mariska, Hampshire's just snapped up too. Joanne, well done to you. Wendy, you've got yours as well. Norfolk, I can see you've got yours. Sandra, you've got yours. yours. There's five of them left. This is a deal of all deals, I have to tell you. Even if we had closed at 399, that still would have been a deal. Honestly, 399 would have been amazing. We should have started at four figures and then some. Incredible. Every single one of you, genuinely, I'll, I'll be, if there's any of them left come the end um, of this auction, I can just see Eleanor in Nottinghamshire. That's not me, by the way. Um, Eleanor in Nottinghamshire. Yeah, they're absolutely unbelievable. Well done. There's only a handful of those left. Huge, huge, huge congratulations on those. Oh, whew. Now, coming up, don't forget, we've also got a deal of matching necklace. I'm wearing the matching necklace. You have to get the bracelets then, don't you? I do. You have to. Have to. It's a yeah. must. <laughs> um, we have these. They were your, they're your paperclip bracelets. And, that, and when I launched them, I was like, oh, you get, you get two of them. Not just the one. You get two of them. So we've got them in all three colours. And they're two different designs. They're amazing. Aren't they beautiful? Yeah, yeah, completely. With that added texture as well. I think yeah. that just adds, not that it needed anything adding, but it no, just adds not that at extra all. something. They are on pre-order. We've got them in the rose and we've got them in the silver as well. So you can shop ahead, pre-order on yours. Make sure you don't miss out. So um, still got those to come. Don't forget as well, you have also got your beautiful fossil jasper showcase coming Ooh, up as well. Um, we have waited years for fossil jasper to be back on our screens. Um, and that's coming up in today's show. Yeah, we've got some lovely, lovely shapes. So you can't, they're coming up um, in the next hour? Yes. Yes, in the next hour, just after 11 o'clock for those. Amazing, amazing, amazing. Um, and Mark, we've got the return of... The Disco Balls. The Disco Balls, yeah, yes. Yeah, they're at wait. 12 o'clock today, so it's a busy, busy, busy shows, um, show this morning. Okay. Oh. Shall we... Fast, where? Ooh. Faceted pearls. Do you know, I remember myself actually saying, no, you can't facet pearls. It's not possible. You can't facet a pearl. That was probably about 15 years ago. I remember watching um, Lucy back once upon a time and she was saying the same. And that's one of the things we used to celebrate at Shell it was, Pearl, wasn't it? Was. it? You yeah, can facet yeah. them. Whereas now, and it was a process that has taken about 20 years, the diamond cutting company, um, it was kind of a, um, a vision that was laid down to them, a challenge, if you like, that took them about two decades to actually master. Firstly, you need the big, the largest pearls. You need the largest pearls. Um, you need the thickest nacre. You need a fine nacre as well because otherwise they chip during that cutting process. Um, yeah. Oh my goodness me. These are incredible. This is just incredible. World, isn't um, it? And there's only a handful of people in the world that can actually do it. Oh. Goodness me. They're amazing, aren't they? There are over 200 facets per pearl. There are three, three. left. That, I, and I don't normally say this, for me, 18 karat white gold class. Ooh. I normally Very gravitate nice. towards the yellow gold, but I think these, because they're so beautiful, they've got a lovely silver overtone, haven't they? There are three left, that's it. Once they're gone, they're gone, and straight away there's interest on the phone lines and the app. That's the start price. That's the launch. We launched them what? there. Yeah, you're right though to be flabbergasted by that. We did a closeout deal on the last one. I can't believe I'm about to say this. We're doing it with the level of artistry. We've already got enough of you there to sell out on this. 
That's the great, level of ridiculous. artistry when only a handful of people in the world can facet a pearl. The final three. Oh, that's crazy. It is ridiculous. It is ridiculous. <sighs> we are, oh, 19 of you have this in your basket. A fast, natural colour, you can't dye them because no, otherwise you'd absolutely. just cut that dye away, that's, wouldn't yeah, you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And those pills, I, don't, I mean, I don't know, I'm not an expert, but would have been significantly larger to be able to influence them to 200 odd facets. It has to be the finest quality pills, otherwise they'd chip. These are 10 to 11 millimetres. There's two of them left, totally natural. This is for, you know, when someone, uh, you know, is passionate about pills, you know, wow. maybe you've got your metallics, maybe you've got your different strands, your Akoyas and your South Seas and your Tahitian pearls, and you are looking for that something different. Very few people that walk this planet will have faceted pearls. Very, very, very few. Anna, amazing, well done. There's Swansea, there's Gillian, there's Vera, and there's Maker, and there's names that I can't quite see yet because my call screen's not up to date. Um, there's only one of them left. I'll leave that with That's you. Deborah right. and Kent, I can see you there now as well. Good luck. You might get that last one if you check wow. out, Deborah. Amazing. Um, okay. Ooh. Metallic drops. I don't see. I have a strand. Ah, we've got drops. I'm in my element here. You are. I love pearls. Is there anything more elegant mm. than a pearl? I was wondering about pearls, because like, you know, when you're driving in, you think about things. And do they, do they have mollusks that, that produce pearls up to three mil? Are there mollusks that produce up to five, and then they just keep? And also, if if the large pearls are the most rare and expensive, why still produce seed pearls? Um, they've yeah. all got their place, haven't they? Yeah, they've all got their place. Seed yeah. pearls are really are expensive as well because they're mm. smaller, so they they they're harder to actually drill. Ah, yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah, this is such an amazing deal. Yeah. What have we got um, here? Well, acoya pearls are the n the smallest mollusk of all right. the culture um, right. mollusks, so they are, they're about three inches in diameter. The acoya mollusk. Um, now, faceted ones have sold oh. out. What am I looking at here? Because I see oh. a lot of beautiful pearls. The strand. Oh. Look at those. You spoke about big pearls. You want yeah. big pearls? Here they are. Huge. Oh, these are like a Baroque drop. 13 Today. by 10 millimetres. If you're all about those beautiful, um, deep purple colours, there's only five available. And we're at wow. 499 pounds. These are some of the biggest pearls that we got within our vault, up to 13 millimeters. So that mollusk would have been huge in yeah, size to actually nurture and care for a pearl. And also there wouldn't be many of these in each, uh, each of the mollusks. It'll probably be one. You know, some smaller freshwater pearls will actually, for, um, will actually offer, um, yeah, multiple little ones, but not, not of this size. Five of them available. We start at £499. With that rich, intense aubergine purple, with the green overtones, you would absolutely, well, many people would think with that strength of colour that it must be dyed. No, these aren't dyed. They are totally and utterly natural. And yeah, you know, like the Akoya, uh, I'm sorry, the Yoko necklace, which I know they were round and these are your drop shapes, but that Yoko necklace was 22 and a half thousand pounds. It wasn't smothered in diamonds or other coloured <laughs> gemstones. It was all about the purples, wasn't it? I have five available. That's it. At 499 to deal, it's an amazing deal. We're at triple figures. That's incredible for pearls of this size and quality. That looks so dubious, that photograph. Oh, it's photo. Of course it's yeah. photoshopped. That's the best, the best it's ever going to look. Yeah. The best it's ever going <laughs> to look is their photography. You know, we're on. We're in a TV studio with floodlights above us. Yeah. Doesn't do pearls any favours. Doesn't, no, we haven't any prisoners here. No. All, it's normally fancy little spotlights, isn't it? Yeah. Now, well done to Davinia. You've got yours, lovely. These are incredible, and they're huge. Huge in size. There were five. Look at that colour, Mark. You've got blues on these. <gasps> <laughs> That's ridiculous. It's a half price deal. £62.25 on your 0% interest split payments. There are, we're over allocated. 
Wow. These are massive. In terms of pearl sizes, when you think 13 millimetres, I remember asking Charlie Barron that question, actually. I was like, Charlie, what's, in terms of millimetres, what does, uh, um, give me a comparison of rarity. And he said anything over 10 millimetres mm. is, is like the equivalent of a three-carat diamond. Oh, my word. So, yeah. Very, very, very rare in terms of the actual availability of these large sizes. We're beyond over allocated. Buckingham, sure, you've got yours well done. These are incredible. I've got Marion there. I've got Swansea there. Um, I've only got two of them left now within the vault. Um, people on the phone lines, good luck. You can still do it though. You know, you don't let that ever put you off dialing through. You know, as quick as you can dial that free phone telephone number and press your option one, you'll be speaking to our call center and one will be allocated to you. Um, so good luck. Good luck every single one of you. If you're in your basket, don't hesitate. Use that 30 day money back guarantee. Yeah. Get them home, see them in person. The fact that we allow that as well, you know, Hello. we would have yeah. never, in the jewelers that I worked at, would never in a million years have said, I'll tell you what, just take them home. <laughs> Take them home, man. You know, you have to keep them for a month. Yeah. Keep them for a month. If you want, go and get a second opinion and see if that other jeweler says the, the quality is good as what I'm telling you. Have them valued if you want. But, um, and if you don't love them, then bring them back to us. <laughs> no jeweler is going to do that. Ever. Ever, 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 ever. No. Wow. Now. What carved? Yeah, there's faceting in this carving. And then, well, it's the same as gemstones, there's, they're very different things. A facet is obviously using a cutting wheel. Yeah. A carving is artistry. And to carve a, a pearl, I can't get my head around it. This is a thing, is it? Carved it's, pearls? Yeah, very difficult oh, though. I've not seen these. Um, yeah. When were these launched? A, not that long ago. Weren't they launched with Jake? Yeah. Uh, May. Oh, look at this. Amazing, isn't it? Flames and... <gasps> to carve a pearl. Oh, look at this. And they're all different, by the way. You need another thick nacre, fine nacre, because otherwise it'll just chip course, and break. Yeah. What? Ross, did you just say first oh. crash? That was the launch. Should we do a close out? Is there a quantity of these? 40 available. Look at this level of artistry. Amazing. You know, when you've got something that is as, as delicate as a pearl to create, to be able to create effectively like lacy patterns in the surface and they're all unique. You can separate them out if you wish. This one's like a peacock's tail. You're so true, that's so true. Sorry, Adam's just said, you know what? We focus on the carved pearls, but, and almost overlook the quality of the white pearls that go alongside it. I mean, they are, Look, look, look at how beautifully golden yeah, they are amazing. with a pink overtone. You're so right, Adam, to say that. We almost overlook all the... Do you know what? I feel sorry for them now. They're all like, hey, <laughs> look at me too. I'm beautiful as well. It's true. We are actually overlooking the quality of all the other pills. Um, yeah, it's because, you know, we don't see ever carved pills, do we? Would you separate them out? I'd use those as gurus and markers. Amazing. In a pearl mala. Oh, look at that, 30, 24 pounds and 75 pence. You Ooh. have artistry in this strand, a level of artistry that I, I genuinely can't get my head around. Faceting, uh, again, very few people in the world can do that and it's done on a cut cutting wheel. I don't know how they do actually carved pearl, no. but it's su it must be such an incredible skill. Um, that's an unbelievable price tag, £99. Um, make sure you stay where you are. Do we have many left of these? 20, did you say? Yeah, Jeanette, maker in London, Jane, another maker, Swansea, I can see you all there. Oh, I know I said at the beginning of this hour, but it is generally one of our greatest strengths here at Jewelry Maker. Completely. Take these to yeah. a pearl specialist. Take this, these to a high-end <laughs> jewelers that bring, and I'm not just talking about your generic pearls, you know, your, 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 your um, freshwater pearls, <clears throat> which there's nothing wrong with, by the way, that are bleached and dyed. There's nothing wrong with those, but if you go into a jeweler that has high-end pearls, like your South Seas, your Akoyas, your Tahitians, your natural colored pearls like this, they're not gonna be anywhere near triple figures. Now, the paperclip bracelets, they're coming up in one auction's time, but not before I bring you a most um, amazing bundle. Now, it comes with a pochette. Right. Have you seen this? I'm not sure. It's crazy. Have you not? You have, Ross. 
<laughs> you get those, which are all half drilled. Right. There's your suite. Is this a birthday week? You know that deal. Or mm, maybe. Right. You know that those findings that we yeah, had yeah. where we said that's a suite of jewelry straight away. Add these. Yeah. Okay. Job done. Yeah. Within your pochette, which is a very nice pochette as well. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, different. Yeah. Yeah. Natural. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Three strands. Look at those. Three strands of natural pink peach pearls. All in this bundle. This bundle is, is mad. Absolutely mad. Look at the quality of those pearls. We can't have many of these left. Um, now, you have your beautiful... I, I hate the, the, the description potato pearls. I really do. But it's, let's call them organic. Like an organic shape. They've got these wonderful kind of oval-like shapes. You've got wonderful characteristics, like we were just describing earlier on, that show that they are a genuine pearl, not a faux pearl, that they are formed within those little mollusks. It's those little features, little freckles, I suppose, that show they are not man-made or created, plastic or glass, show that they are within the mollusk. Now, you're getting three strands of natural pearls. You also get the three half-drilled pearls, which is a pair of earrings and a pendant in my eyes. There are only 12 of these left. And you get the pochette, let's not forget that. Um, you could, in my, in my opinion, not these as a necklace, you've got three different yes. necklaces there. Yep. Put that on some sterling silver, the finding spec that we mm. had just a few moments ago. Um, sell them for, oh, I don't know. I think the suite of jewelry, if we said something like 200 pounds, I don't think that's unrealistic. Well, the last few <laughs> out of 150 that we what? once upon a time, I know, yeah. That's the price for one of those strands. Yeah, definitely. Any day of the week. They're a beautiful size as well. It's 25 pounds each. It's crazy. 25 pounds for the trio yeah. and 25 pounds per strand. It's unbelievable, isn't it? They're not dyed pearls. These are natural pearls. I, I know I have personally been on air and brought a strand like that one in the center and brought it for more, on, uh, yeah. more than what's on your screens. Yeah. And that wasn't, you know, that, you know, that wasn't, a, a, um, that wasn't overpriced. That was significantly underpriced. This is just crazy. The final 12 of them, Sarah in Yorkshire, Maker, well done, London, well done. Congratulations, Stu. Edinburgh, new customers getting involved. The final 12 out of the 150 that we first launched, you're right, I think it was part of the birthday yeah, deal. Yeah. Catherine in Manchester, Linda in Manchester, amazing. Um, make sure you are checking out everybody. Ah, just done it, seven of them left. And that's it. These were launched during the birthday, weren't they? Is Mark right in that? Yes, there you go. Um, and we've, yeah. we've matched that amazing birthday. So the 5th, oh, of, May, 5th of May, the day after. Um, out of 150, we've got the final, uh, the final four. Good luck wow. to each and every single one of you on those phone lines. Um, Irene, hello oh. to you, my lovely, um, who says, got these, they are beautiful. They really are, and it's such an amazing deal. 25 pound per component. Crazy. Per strand, that is. And again, um, and again, you might see that middle strand in a high-end boutique jewellers, but I don't think you'd get the purple, would you? No. The lavender. No, I, I, unlikely. You definitely no. wouldn't at a double-figure price tag. Definitely not. Well done, everybody. Congratulations. Now, the bracelets. It is time for the bracelets. Um, the love of paper clips, I thought, was a new trend. I thought it was something that... You've recently discovered this, haven't yeah. you? Yeah. And it was like... Ah, moment. Um, yeah, paper clips, um, the paper clip design, um, and I'm wearing, this is one that I bought literally on air alongside, um, alongside Claire, and she was like, can you get me one too? Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah, I was shopping on air, and I love this. I wear it all the time. I eventually will attach a pearl to this as well. Um, and it's, this is the necklace to these bracelets, so, which sold out, by the way. But um, paper clip designs, yes, and it said it was, it's a trend... No. Yeah, it's a trend masquerading 
Um, can you bring that slide up, Roscoe? Because I can't remember the words. So the paperclip one. Um, so yeah, it's a, it's a trend masquerading or something like that, oh. because actually it's been around for decades. And it was Coco Chanel who was the first person to actually um, oh. um, come up with this idea. Um, made famous then by Jackie O herself. So let me just do these up. They're very easy to do up, by the way, because you have got that larger link. So here we go, perfectly trendy. Get on board oh, yeah. with the paperclip <laughs> bracelet or paperclip jewelry. Um, and they say, remember when you were bored in homeroom and you strung together uh, paper clips from your pencil case to pass the time. Or maybe you gave them to your friend to cement your friend uh, friendship. Either way, paper clip jewellery comes has come a long way. They are now the trend, so get on board. Whether it's a single strand or layering, paper clips have reached a new <laughs> level of chic. <laughs> Uh, and then they go on to say, uh, whether this trend takes you back to the homeroom or makes you nostalgic for the style of the 80s, the paperclip necklace may be trendy, but it is anything but new. Created by Coco Chanel and made famous by none other than Jackie O herself, paperclip jewellery is actually a, uh, a classic masquerading as a trend. As a trend. There right, you go. Right. Uh, paperclip necklaces have come a long way since you strung them together as a kid, available in both yellow and white gold, as plain paperclip chains and even accented with pearls. Paperclip pieces need to be a part of your fine jewellery collection. After all, if Jackie O and Coco Chanel approve, <laughs> how can you go wrong? I totally agree. Don't need, don't need to say any more, hence why I got on board. Um, but I do love it. I think there's so much, this, it's a really stylish look and you can get them everywhere. Um, you can get bracelets from Sif Jacobs, there we go, classic sterling silver paperclip uh, bracelet, lovely, £175. And that is for one. You can go to uh, website quite simply called silver. Um, 69 pounds, that's not bad. For one, For one. not bad. You can go to Pandora, 70 pounds. Not bad, but if you actually look at it on a wrist, it's quite delicate. Um, we're bringing you gold-plated 925 sterling silver with the two different designs, because they're not the same. They're the same, but different. <laughs> um, can wow. you see, one's polished, every other. And one's oh, yes. textured every. every. Them, yeah. Does that make sense? Oh, yes, yeah. So, thinking about your Christmas gifts. Well, if you can get one for £69 elsewhere, which is a great price, I think. How about two for £69.99? I know we do not have many of these. There's four point seven grams no of silver across the two. Uh, and they're super popular. As jewellery makers, you can just literally wrap Looper Pearl on there. Add your charms, super designer. Like I said, Coco Chanel, Jackie O, those are the kind of names I want to hear when I'm talking about sort of styles of jewellery that I love. This is not oh, where we took this to. No, you get both <laughs> of them. This is not one single bracelet. You do get both of them as well. So how many times do we say multi-buy? One for the present, draw one for yourself. Um, you don't need to. You get two anyway. The necklace sold out. I would imagine they're already on reorder because they're always incredibly popular. How many have we got left then, Roscoe? Oh, my word. There's 11 left. That's £15 per bracelet. It is crazy, isn't it? It's an absolutely crazy deal. Beautiful quality. I wear my necklace all the time. Um, I think I need the matching bracelet. Look how lovely absolutely. that is. It's so stylish. You can't one, not the other. Look how gorgeous that yeah. is. Lovely buttery yellow gold. There's only seven of them left though, so make sure you are checking out. If you want the rose gold or the silver, we'll be, you can shop ahead on those. They're also available, but limited. Tracy and Doreen, Cynthia and Mirtha Tidfill, hello to you, Myra, Susan and Anne, new customers getting involved. Just love them. I think they're so stylish. Hi, Sue. Um, I have these bracelets and they are in my... Uh, Unprofessional box, i.e. the box with the stuff I want to keep for me. Gorgeous. I like that. I like that. The all mine box, yeah. That's a good one, yeah. Absolutely. I've got two little ones. Tiggy, at the age of two, is actually the same. She's like, oh, She started to sort of eyes widen to jewellery. Oh. Is this for Tiggy? Is this for Tiggy? No. 
but I, I can see my jewelry is going to leave the house without me when they're a little bit older. Um, at fifteen pounds, though, I'm not going to mind too much. Twenty nine ninety nine. Wow. Agnes Tracy, well done to you, Carolyn, Carmarthenshire, Hampshire. Hello to you. Um, good luck. The final two. If you want the rose gold and the silver, they're available. You can shop ahead. And what I was saying during the original launch was, if you if you can and you like the look of that trilogy, you know, very Cartier inspired. Remember what they said um, about the rose gold yellow gold and the silver they said that um, um, the rose is for love the yellow is for friendship and the white is for fidelity and that's one of their traditional collections right. that they've had for many many years yeah i mean look how lovely it is this isn't me this is somebody else don't know who it is actually wearing that but very similar um just simple paperclip necklace which you could you could clip together as you just said Easily. much to get two yeah, of them yeah. look how elegant it is and really lovely for your layering um okay let's now do the rose gold so a re oh, these have been popular on pre-order you don't just get the one though you do get the two so i'm just going to avoid confusion just remove that for a second and bring the rose gold in and see the different styles of nice things. They're nice weight, aren't they? They are, and they've got yeah. a lovely lobster claw as well, yeah. so really easy to put on because wow. um, they loop directly into a link. If I, in fact, I'll show you that. So if I hold it that way, so you, uh, and they're adjustable. We were talking about that. So if you've got yeah. if you've got more petite wrists, they're going to any link. They're right? going to go into yeah. any link, yeah. um, or you can wear them at full extension, effectively. So really easy to put on because you've got the paper clip. Um, the paper clip sort of style link. But there they are. These have flown on pre order already. In 18 seconds, we're going to be introducing your price. Um, there can't be many of them because, like I said, they were incredibly popular on the original launch. Um, lovely to mix these colours. I think it really suits the paper clip chain. <laughs> and there's not a single high end jewellery designer that doesn't have paper clips, I don't think. The paper clip style inspiration. Monica Veneda, for a bracelet like this, you're talking about £100, aren't you, in Monica Veneda? And that's just for one. You're getting the two of them today, $29.99. Carolyn, Belinda, Devon, Pat, Sally, Norma, new customers. And we're in the middle of Christmas in July. What lovely gifts these are. I know. Be. They wouldn't think, I mean, Secret Santa is what, you know. I can't believe imagine. we're talking Secret Santa for something like this. It's not base metal, is no, it? No, no. Yeah, I hope, let's, uh, let's, 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 yeah, we're, we're trying not to highlight but Secret Santa, so it's bypassed again this year. It's just a stress normally, isn't it? However, However, you know, fifteen pounds—that's not a bad price point, isn't it, for precious metal? Nobody in their wildest dreams is going to imagine that's what you paid if you're gifting this. What a lovely—that's a decent bottle of wine, isn't it? It is, yeah. Decent bottle of wine. Twenty-nine ninety-nine. Well done. Good luck to you all, Tracy. You've got yours. And the finale, always the most popular, is the silver. We know this. I love these. They're lovely, aren't and they? And they're not overly delicate, are they? That you know, no, you're, there's not, a, not, you're not going rounds. to damage them, and you know, you're, they're really secure. I love them. Well, I wear mine all the time. Wow. All the time. I like. I really like That's the silver. That's a very sparkly silver with that yeah. with that hammer texture. Yeah, I really like the silver. In Amazing. These. Now there's fifty. Do men wear these as well, or is it just the ladies' thing? Mm. Absolutely. Why mm. not? Mm. It's a it's a it's a larger link. Yeah what I was thinking. Absolutely. And you've got a big investment of sterling silver. But we did have a bigger quantity of these. So, 60 seconds, we took it lower. The final 50 opportunities. That's already £15 each. Again, Monica and are talking £100 for something like this. Pandora, we've shown you a few of the different styles. Granted, but you're talking best part of seventy pounds oh, for one something nice. like this. It's beautiful, isn't it? Now these are necklaces, and on Monica Veneda, by the way, uh, it's eighteen inch. She's wearing four. Don't be fooled <laughs> by that. She is actually wearing four different necklaces, and you're talking a hundred pounds each. Yeah. I know it's a necklace, and I know that she does the same Ulta um, bracelet, but not far off that price tag. It's almost identical. Um, I've also shared this information before. I've been to one of our manufacturers and on the one side of this manufacturer is, is, is ours. Mm. And on the other side of this manufacturer is another designer. A well-known designer. Yes, right. exactly. One I mention a lot. Okay. Let's just put it, leave it there, shall we? Because I couldn't be giving you any more hints than what is on your screens right now.
Right. The only difference is how we actually market and sell it. That's the only difference. £24.99 only. Loads of you getting these. Are you thinking gift? Are you thinking wow. just because? Are you thinking Christmas? Are you thinking mine? Um, we got two, I suppose. Or you can think both mine. Um, well done. Norma's got two. Jackie Maker, Irene, Somerset, Susan, Ali, Laura, Erica, um, Eric, sorry, Jacqueline, Helen, and Maxine, and Tracy, and Sharon. Um, well done to you. Barbara and Sharon and London. Oh, do you know what? I do need to get a wriggle on. I still haven't sorted out Will as teacher present. And it's really? Isn't it Tuesday? Tuesday? I still yeah. need to sort it out. Um, do you reckon I could buy these in time? These would be good, wouldn't it? Because I've would. got teacher and teacher's assistant. That'd be good, uh, wouldn't it? Do you reckon I'll yeah. get them in time? Yeah. yeah, and give them one each, exactly. That'd be quite nice. We'll wrap loop a nice pearl yeah. on there or something like that. I keep getting um, something come up. Come, you, know, you get these random Facebook feed things yeah. come up. And I always think that that um, Facebook and these apps, they listen in on they you. They 100% do. They listen in on you. Yeah. So this thing, I can't remember whether it's, it's, it's called Unbreakable Bracelet or Forever Bracelet. But there's, there's a, a boy and a girl and they go, well, teenagers, they go into a jeweler's, they choose this bracelet and then the jeweler actually solders them together on oh. their bracelet, like wish bracelets. Yeah. So it, you, you can't take them off, they're there forever. So I don't know if that's... Ah, yeah, is that's that a one thing? Step, that's yeah. one step further than the Cartier love bangle, isn't it? Is that what it's called? That just sounds wrong. <laughs> Yeah. The Cartier Love Bangle comes in two halves, right. basically. Yeah. So, <laughs> and, <laughs> and 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 it comes with a little gold screw screwdriver, oh, right. and you basically it takes your partner to undo it. <laughs> oh. Put it on and put it right. on, put oh. it on and put it off. Yeah. Right. Right. Yeah, that's the love bangle. So right. it's one step further than that yeah. then, isn't yeah. it? Yeah. It's a nice idea. It's going to be a thing, I think. Yeah, love it. Mm. Love it. Make sure you're checking out the bangle. That could have gone so bad, couldn't it? I've only got 10 of these left, everybody, and there's way more than that wow. of you with it in your um, in your basket. Yeah, they're beautiful. Uh, the paper clip chain. Yes. Amazing. That classic masquerading <laughs> as a trend. trend. We must remember that. We must that. remember yeah. that one. Yeah. And must also remember to credit Coco Chanel, you know, oh. uh, for actually uh, initiating this design. Yeah, Jackie O had a heart set on owning them um, and she finally saw one at an auction and the article was saying she paid whatever she could to actually get oh. hold of it. And there's photographs of her actually wearing it. Stay where you are on those phone lines. Massive congratulations to each and every single one of you. Now, coming up Ooh. after the break, we have got back, oh, it's been ages asking for it. Uh, ages and ages and ages. We have this amazing display of, hang on. Yeah, it's that basically one two three four five strands of beautiful beautiful fossil jasper coming up now these are completely natural and we haven't had them on no, our screens in ages no, have we no, no. Um, we do expect them to be an on-screen sellout yeah we're all really enthusiastic about this showcase and also don't forget mark's amazing masterclass the return of your beautiful mosaic shell beads um, we've got them in different colors stunning jewelry by mark i guess we're never surprised by that mark um, so make sure you with us for that too don't go anywhere jewelry makers your fossil jasper millions of years preserved in this amazing gemstone coming up after this jewelry maker has its own dedicated call center with highly trained staff waiting to help you with your orders or any queries happy shopping with jewelry maker Jewelry makers, did you know that you can purchase as many times as you like throughout the day and you'll only be charged one postage and packaging fee? No matter the size, weight or quantity of your order, how many times you check out that day, we will still only charge you that single P&P. Keep things simple on Jewelry Maker. It's easy to stay in touch with Jewelry Maker. You can like our Facebook page and join our community of over 69,000 people. You can follow us on Twitter and tweet us your messages and opinions. You can also find us on Instagram and even TikTok. Make sure you get involved and stay up to date with Jewelry Maker. Did you know that when you purchase with Jewelry Maker, you have a 30-day money-back guarantee? Happy shopping with Jewelry Maker. It's easy to stay in touch with Jewelry Maker. 
You can like our Facebook page and join our community of over 69,000 people. You can follow us on Twitter and tweet us your messages and opinions. You can also find us on Instagram and even TikTok. Make sure you get involved and stay up to date with Jewelry Maker. Want to know what's going on in the next show? Then head over to our website, click on the TV guide. This will tell you who's presenting, which guest we have joining us, along with what's going on in each hour. If you ever miss a show, you can catch up by clicking on the day you missed and then click watch this show. You can also view what product was on and if it's still available to buy. Catch up on Jewelry Maker. Here at Jewelry Maker, we're always looking ways to make your shopping experience better. That's why on certain items, we've got split pay, where you can spread the cost over two, three or four months at no extra cost to you. So you can buy your way with split pay. Jewelry Maker are proud to be part of the Gemporia partnership. Our partnership family includes Jewelry Maker, Gem Collector, Gemporia, Sewing Street and Yarn Lane. Did you know that calls are free from a UK landline and our phone lines are open 24 hours a day, seven days a week? Happy shopping with Jewelry Maker. Jewelry Maker presents the Great British Summer. As the heat wave hits, the British public are making the most of it while it's still here. Here's Carol buying an ice cream from a local vendor, playing games at the fair and frolicking about in the sun. But Carol has forgotten that Jewelry Maker celebrates Christmas in July, a chance for customers to get their supplies in ready for their Christmas designs and gifts. So Carol can take a bite of that ice cream and hello to that Christmas jumper as we present Christmas in July. Oh, Carol, you scamp. Our friendly and knowledgeable help team are available 24 hours a day, 365 days a year. If you have a question or query, contact us on 0800 644 655 and press option 2. Alternatively, you can email or drop us a direct message on our Facebook page. Jewelry Maker, happy to help. Welcome back, lovely jewellery makers. Hasn't it been a lovely morning? It's great. Love it. And the sun's shining, apparently. And the sun is shining. Yeah. It's a beautiful day. That's amazing. Um, we're about to talk about a gemstone that we haven't seen in no, many moons. I love moons. this. I love this. I was actually, when, um, do you remember a few weeks ago, Georgia and Alice came over to look through my stash? Yes. To get, to get inspiration for future products. We actually came across a bag of fossil jasper cabochons. Oh, I remember. And I think that's the last time that I'd actually seen them on the show. I've not seen strands for ages. A long time. Mm. Yeah. I, I, yeah, I, yeah, I certainly haven't had anything that I've been able to speak at length about. I remember no, having no. Cambaba, which wasn't oh, yeah, quite yeah. the same. Yeah, yeah. Um, Cambaba's formed from algae. Oh, bless. I love algae. Yeah. Um, that and that's why you got those wonderful yeah. greens. Um, we had dinosaur bone, didn't we? Oh, yeah, yeah. Remember dinosaur bone, which is really cool. Yeah. Um, we had Mariam. Do you remember Mariam Jasper? Mariam Jasper. Um, Tia Tiger I can't remember how you pronounce it. Yeah, no, I can't remember. Yeah. But yeah. they're really cool gemstones that, you know, if, if ever you want to, I always think this when I'm looking at something like a fossil jasper, but if you want to ignite a passion and an enthusiasm yeah. into the younger generation, yeah, then show absolutely. them something, something like this. Cool. Yeah. Something cool. Yeah, because yeah, yeah. um, my daughter went to, uh, on a little school field trip, she was so excited about going on a coach, um, went into central Birmingham to the dinosaur oh, show yeah. that was being held at the NEC. And, um, so of course, projects, little homework, mm. you know, learning about fossils. And of course, I get really enthusiastic getting involved in that and start showing us some little fossils that are, you know, in stones. And I probably showed us some of these, yeah. to be honest. And so, mommy, can I take it in to show and tell? I was oh. like, yes, of course you can. Yeah. So it's really nice to see the enthusiasm as well with that, the sort of the younger yeah. generation. Well, this would be perfect for that. And I, I would absolutely call myself as a gemstone nerd. 
Um, and I'm sure many of us would, mm. would, would, would describe ourselves the same. Um, this, like, defines gemstone geek, doesn't it? Because <laughs> it, 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 it really captures the fact that these are formed over not hundreds of years, not thousands of years, millions of years of life preserved and captured Incredible, in a it? gemstone. Incredible. Yeah. It is awesome, isn't it? So cool. Life that once existed on our planet, long before the human race were all around, captured and, and able to be worn in beautiful jewelry. They're so cool. So cool. Um, so let's learn a little bit about this. And it is a very short, quick presentation because, and also we've only got six strands um, to bring you. Um, and then we have got oh, cabochons. Oh, okay. right. So loose cabochons. They're all available right. on pre-order, so you can shop. If you're not interested in what I'm about to show you, then you can shop ahead on those. Absolutely. Um, so what is fossil jasper? Well, jasper is an opaque variety of chalcedony, uh, which comes in many different varieties. Uh, but it's a variety of microcrystalline fibrous quartz. The color is due to minute quantities of various elements. And jaspers are in every color and variation. Yeah, I think that's we always why we, love it. we talk about that, don't we? Do, we? Yeah. Jaspers have uh, very many names depending on the color, locality, patterning, such as red, leopard skin, yellow, uh, orbicular. Um, fossil jasper is distinguished by its fossilized and I can't say that silicified organic word. patterns. Wow! Cool, just cool, so cool. Um, we'll read on. No, a bit wordy, sorry. Um, classification, chalcedony, quartz formation, jasper, a form of chalcedony, as we said, is an opaque rock of vir virtually any colour stemming from the mineral content of oh. the original sediments or ash. The oh. name means spotted or speckled stone. Oh. Um, and patterns arise during the consolidation process forming flow and... Uh, I can't say it again depositional mm -hmm. patterns um, in the original silica rich sediment uh, or volcanic ash. Hydrothermal circulation is generally thought to be uh, uh, required in the formation of jasper. Metaphysical properties, properties we are, uh, lots of our viewers yes. are, uh, yeah. are interested in that. Fossil jasper is said to be an excellent protection stone, providing protection for both travelers and astral travelers. Uh, fossil jasper is considered a grounding stone, generally good for healing, instilling feelings of wholeness, serenity and care, as well as aiding in mental clarity and functioning Oh. Very cool. Nice to know. Um, okay, so fossil stroma stromatolites constitute our earliest and most uh, recorded life on Earth. Although many stromatolites are fossils, there are a number of locations on the modern oh. day Earth where stromatolites are still forming today. That's well, that makes sense, yeah, doesn't it? You absolutely. know, fossils yeah. didn't just stop being no, formed. No. Um, you yeah, know, but they were, we're never going to see them. The ones no, that are forming no. today, we are never going to see them. They will be millions of years in the future, of course. So, well, you never know, I guess. Um, <laughs> um, but so I just find this amazing that these more than likely form before possibly man even walked the earth. Absolutely. A long, 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 long time. And these were formed when, well, the, the earliest, before the earliest, dinosaurs, before yeah, dinosaurs. Yeah, yeah. Um, they are, you know, when if you went to the Natural History Museum, you're going to see pieces like this, aren't you? Completely. And Amazing. they occur from that sedimentation, the layers being preserved over millions of years. What once was an organic material, because each of those patterns, they were once a living being, being perfectly preserved in that it's gemstone. Isn't it? It's incredible. I know it's, you just can't get your head around it sometimes. Oh, my Lord, look at these. T incredible, look. I like the fact they're all hugged together, so they've all had friends. It's lovely. Little, they look like little yeah. limpets, don't they? Do. They? they are they're limpets, amazing. those little shells that that's you see right. at the seaside. Hats, yeah. yeah, that's yeah. it. They look like those. And again, whilst this wouldn't be gem quality, you can't wear this, it'll probably break. Yeah. But yeah. you can see, again, it's sort of from a three-dimensional almost stance, there's those wow. little, little limpets, I'm guessing, that kind of sea formation um, that has been captured within these. Now... Um, you're right. When we used to have these, we more often actually had them in the cabochons. That's right. That's right. I can't remember actually having rounds. No. 
can't think. Can't it's been think. such a long yeah, time since yeah. we've seen anything like this. Yeah. Well, we're going to start with exactly that. And if I Ooh. just... Let me just rearrange. Even as a strand of, of coloured gemstones without any of the fossils, they're beautiful. Yeah, absolutely. I love the colour range in this. It's very neutral and... And they're all natural. And soft. Yeah, they're lovely. All totally yeah. natural. Now we have 14, 12, 10 and wow. 8 millimetres. And you said this morning when we stepped in the studio, you were like, I've got, I've got a Jasper Marla necklace. I know, I didn't bring it in. Not fossil Jasper, but you've got no, a Jasper Marla yeah, necklace. But yeah. I mean, you of weren't, you weren't to know, well. I should have told no, you. Yeah. But of these colours, yeah. can I just show you, and I'm just going to pick up one strand firstly, but I this know, is what this we're is, talking about. This is sensational, isn't you it? You will lose yourself in the story of, these are the coins. Yeah. Um, you will lose yourself in the patterns and the formations that have occurred That's completely beautiful. naturally within wow. these amazing <laughs> stones. Um, we're going to start with the 14 mils. Um, and then, we're, and like I said, there's literally only, only what, one, two, three, four, five strands, basically. Um, oh. They are incredible. I don't remember them being in rounds either, because I guess it would be quite hard to cut mm. um, yeah. around because you've got those formations within. Listen to this. <laughs> Just incredible, aren't they? They are astonishingly beautiful, and they all have these wonderful formations and patterns that occur totally and utterly <laughs> naturally within each and every single one of the stones. We haven't seen them for years, but none of us can remember exactly when that is, but it's been a very, very, very long time um, since we've had, a, well, welcomed a new parcel just like these. They're fascinating, 14 millimeters in their size, all with those fossilizations um, naturally preserved within those natural colors. Now, now, again, I'm sure it's not just us here in the studio that is really enthusiastic and excited about this showcase. 14 millimeters, they're big stones, aren't they? Massive, big yeah. individual stones. Well, the bigger the size, I guess, the easier it is to actually see those fossilizations. What on earth are we starting at 39 pounds and 99 pence? Starting there, shop ahead on all of your different sizes. Um, a little bit of housekeeping, bear with me a second. We have, in terms of quantity, oh, no. 50. <laughs> yeah, the most right. limited and 510 carats. No wow. dyeing, you know, these haven't been printed with that pattern. And I would be mindful of where you're sourcing them from because yeah, um, like, like your malachites, you know, like, like your ambers, etc. when they're as fascinating, as beautiful as gemstones like this, it does leave themselves kind of exposed, I suppose, um, to uh, uh, imitation. Um, totally and utterly natural. 14 millimetres are staggeringly large, and we don't recall ever actually no, having them in no. rounds. We might be wrong. Maybe we're mm, wrong, Mark, but... I can't. I'm trying to... I don't, you know, I'll, I'm a massive fan of, of gemstones like this, so... You'd remember it, wouldn't you? I would have remembered, you? yes. 30, uh, from 39.99 straight down to under 20. These are your gurus, aren't they, in the Marlin necklace that you were just describing? Absolutely, yeah, yeah. yeah. So get a couple of the eights, yeah. the tens, and then use these as your gurus, or, yeah, or, or maybe even the, the buttons as your gurus in your mark, or your tassel topper. Should just we just, get, just get one of those? Should, should we just, yeah. <laughs> I mean, straight away, the largest carrot weight, yeah. we're, at, 20 we're, pounds. we're at 20 awesome. pounds only. So we think it was back in 2019, the last time we saw Fashion oh, Fossil okay. Jasper, right. a brand new parcel anyway. Right. The phone lines and the website, well, the, 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 yeah, that says I it all, doesn't it? we've got some going on on the left there, look. I think so. Sarah yeah. and Kent, yeah. I reckon she's going to be making a Marla necklace out of these. We, we always get asked for, for gents. Jewelry and, yeah, and true. Gems, gemstones and things. So yeah. I think A, you've got the colour range, which is perfect for your gents. You've got the neutrals, and then you've got the added extra of the fossils. Yep. So I think I think that I think for your gents makes perfect. 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 Yeah. Yeah. Right now for the 14 millimetres, but I want to keep them all together. Look how cool they are! Absolutely incredible. We're at 20 pounds oh, for no. 510 carats. 22 have gone, I've got 50, launching your Fossil Jasper Showcase. Let's put 60 seconds on your screen because we are going even lower. We get enthusiastic and excited about, we get excited about Amber and the reality is Amber is probably younger 
a younger mm, stone. Absolutely, yeah. Um, we've yeah. never, we can now say as fact, oh, we have okay. never had 14 millimetres before. I think the largest that we've had previously is, is, is 10, actually. So 12 will be um, a first as well. Um, we're going even lower than 20 pounds, but these are limited. You know, this belongs in the National History Museum. That's basically what we're talking about here. A gemstone that has absolutely, completely preserved life that once existed millions of years ago, long before um, humans walked the planet. When the dinosaurs were amazing. existed. Amazing. And it's defied Mother Nature's natural process. So the, the original organic material has obviously has decayed, leaving that perfect preservation captured within your gemstone. In six seconds, we are going even lower. For 14 mils, first time ever, beautiful fossil jasper, 520, sorry, 510 carats. I can't believe we're going here. We've got another three strands to come yet. Were you imagining Good that day to under 15 No, wait, not in a million years. No, no. not me. 34.99, 40 pounds for the, for the largest. That's, 100%. That's amazing. Can you imagine this with one of the cabochons? Yeah. Like with be bezeling a cabochon or something like that with complementary colours. But you need to be so quick. I wish we had more than 50. We don't. It's a very, very limited quantity of these. Um, and, you know, it's rarity. It defines what yeah. gemstones are. And we're just coming into autumn, aren't we? I know we've not had summer, but we're, <laughs> we're approaching autumn. And yeah. these are your perfect autumn colours. Well, if, you're if certainly you, making your autumn makes, yeah, aren't you? Yeah, if you're going down, you know, your big chunky knits are going to come back from the loft. And, yeah, get ready for your big, big beaded jewellery. Absolutely. Yeah. Bring it on. But at the same time, I would wear this with a white yeah. floaty summer dress or, mm. you know, a pair of jeans and a T-shirt, something like yeah. that. I, I think it's going to transition throughout across all the yeah. seasons. It's just cool. It's one of those gems that I think, you know, you can we could bury our heads in a good book, couldn't we? Or, or a new uh, or a film or something. But I could lose hours looking at these gemstones, just wondering, Maybe. wondering what was going on at that particular moment in time. Right, on to the 12 millimetres. And I'm just going to layer these up, if that's OK, because I think they look absolutely amazing together. Oh, hang on a minute, hang on a minute. Look at this! <laughs> Opening this auction up. They do look like orange slices you get at Christmas. Oh, they do, the yes. Orange. Candied orange. Yeah. Yeah. <gasps> look Very at that one next to it. Ooh. Well, Star and oh, East, yes. yeah. Chris Dingles. Oh, I think about Chris Dingle. Do you remember that? No. Do you remember Chris Dingle's? No. Is it a Welsh thing, a Chris Dingle? The orange raisins. Yeah, and the raisins. Uh, we had cardamom. raisins. Oh, cardamom pods. Cardamom, cardamom pods. What are they called? Yeah, Chris Dingle's. Chris Dingle's. I love Chris Dingle. Ah. 19 pounds. And I, I know, obviously, it has Christian beliefs as well. It does look a bit Chris Dingle like. Look at those amazing, absolutely amazing collection. Um, obviously, these will have different, um, will have different patterns within, different life forms um, that have been perfectly preserved within. Like you've got your an anthropods. Yeah anthropods in there um which we used to sell by the way little little slate um fossils um which we had in like gem cases little anthropod fossils one single one but you've got multiples on this 12 millimeter strand um we started at 12.99 oh no five left of the 14 mil so they are on the verge of selling out because there was late, way more than that of you with it in your basket 12 pounds and 99 pence only for 12 millimeter First time ever actually having this size, we believe. We look through the, uh, the the auction histories. We have that info, or rather Ross has that info at his fingertips, and he has no knowledge of a 12 millimeter uh, fossil jasper. Right. Totally right. natural free forms. Um, yeah, <laughs> <laughs> Ross, I wouldn't do that in the sentence there. London's got two, Hertfordshire's got two. Hello to you, Wiltshire and Tracy. Eleanor, hello to you, Tracy. Sarah and Kent's got four. Uh, Suja's multi-buying, Suzanne and Sharon and Kathy and Christine and Julia amazing hello to you uh Stephen and Susan and Pauline a new customer and Alison and Angela again I know that if I was to show my um my daughter this she'd be like oh yeah it's cool amazing. it's fossils in a gemstone just cool aren't they and, and it's, it's one of those gemstones so you don't know what yours is going to look like until you no. get at home either so that well, they'll adds, all look that different won't they the, yeah now of this and the 10 and the 8s we have a bigger oh. quantity than the 14 millimeters okay 
Sold out of the 14s, by the way. I knew he was going to do that. Did you? I wasn't expecting him to do this. One thing you can never say Ross is, he's not predictable. Definitely not predictable. Ross? Yeah. <laughs> he says you might be... <laughs> Will we predict where you're going to? You can definitely <laughs> predict he's going to bring you the best possible deal. Absolutely. That's true. And he also said you can probably predict what he's going to have for tea tonight. Um, <laughs> um, oh, good luck, everybody. We had a bigger quantity. When you said bigger, you're still talking 100, though. You know, we've never had 12 millimetres on our archives, on our system. You know, um, the computer system says, no, you've never had 12 millimetres uh, before. Might have had them in the Cambaba, maybe. I don't know. Might have had them in that Maria, maybe. Mm. Not quite the same thing, though. 12 99 jewellery makers is already an absolutely epic deal with beautiful golden colours. This is perfect. They're just lovely. Yeah. A tenner. Oh, he's being predictable now, yeah. isn't he? Nine pounds and 99 pence only, though, we're for still, 12 we've got millimetres. Eight. What have we got left? Tens. Tens and eights. Eights. And we're already at 10 quid. Yeah. Is it having that knock-on effect? Mm. Is, it, is, it, is it a fossil jasper avalanche, effectively? On the rounds, obviously. On the rounds. Make sure that you are checking out nice and early. The phone lines and the website's gone crazy. Beautiful golden colours. That's what I love about it. it, it do you know, imagine this with amber. Mm. That'd be nice, Black jade it? eyes as well. Oh, yeah, that would be cool too. Oh, with your Botswana. It's the same sort Botswana. of... Botswana. Sort of hue, especially the peach. Yeah. Pearls would be lovely pearls, that we had earlier yeah. on. Yeah, with those multicoloured pearls. What about what about alongside some dinosaur bone? Mm -hmm. Again, black spinel from the kits would look absolutely beautiful. Simply knotting with your cords and things like you that. You could do your simple knotting because the drill holes would be quite big, I would imagine, in these. Jaspers do yeah, tend to have nice, do. generous yeah. drill holes, yeah. don't they? It's just cool. It's so cool. You describe gemstones in many different ways, don't you? You've got your elegant, you've got your feminine, um, you've got your striking, and you've got your cool. These are, yeah, you're gorgeous, absolutely. Yeah, these are just cool on in every single aspect. Um, let's dive into the 10 millimeters now. These will sell out, I'm sure of it. The same way that the Botswana agate flew out the door, I don't think this is going to be any different. Now into your 10 mils. I'm just going to put those down for a second because I want to... I love I want... the colour range on this strand. You've got the whites, you've got the browns, the beige, the greys, the gilvers. You've got all of them in gilvers. here. Gilvers. That's one of those good words, isn't it? Yeah. Greyish. That's what I love the word greyish. Look how cool they are. The little planets. Wow. I wish I, I wish I was more knowledgeable, you know, about. As soon as we start talking millions and billions and things of years, I get a little bit, you know, my brain capacity mm. doesn't quite. I, I, I'm not clever. My favourite analogy, and I've told you this hundreds of times before, but if you imagine a thirty centimetre wooden ruler. Yeah. Humans have been on the planet, the thickness of the varnish at one end. I know, incredible, isn't it? <laughs> that's, how, that's a really good way of thinking about it. Yeah. It's mad, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, it's amazing. Yeah. <laughs> Adam's just said, you have just completely blown Al's mind. You really have. I can't get my head around that. It's yeah, like, it's like, it's like my, my husband was saying, Al, if, if we... It was some some amazing like like Brian Cox guy who said if you dropped a pin um, to the planet and it travelled at the same speed of sound, it would be that catastrophic, like more catastrophic than I don't know what event he said, but like oh, literally yeah. a pin if it was travelling at the speed of sound, it would be like in mm. a pin. I can't get my head around things like that. Mm. It's too clever for me. Force, yeah, force, that's physics, it's physics. That's why I'm, I'm, my brain's closing down to it all, maybe. Seven pounds and 99 pence only. I'm not clever enough for this. But here we are talking about a gemstone that has life preserved, beautifully pictured, preserved, yeah. not painted. It is exactly as life was at that moment in time millions of years ago. That's fascinating. It is fascinating. It. It's absolutely fascinating. And yet here we are going, do you think if, we, do you think if these were on sale at the National History Museum, 
Do you think they'd be anywhere near a tenner? No. Definitely not. Not for a little stretchy bracelet. They no. Be. Maybe per bead. £10 per mm. bead. How cool. And you'd probably have people looking through, finding their own favourite markings. We had how many of these? In the 10 mil, wow. 150, but I've got three full rows of names, people That's getting amazing. fours and twos. Just cool. Like I said, I'm not clever enough to understand things like that, but thickness of the varnish. At one think. end. At one end. Mm. Yeah, incredible, <laughs> isn't it? It's mm. amazing, isn't it? Mm -hmm. It's amazing. Seven ninety nine only. Well done. Sarah's got four. Tracy's got four. Alison's got two. I'm going to move on because I'm bringing you the finale of the rounds. Always the most popular, Mark, isn't it? Oh. I know. These are him. These have probably got the. Look at this little guy. Yeah, they're gorgeous, aren't they? There's a lot of fossilage in this. He's ace, isn't he? Yeah. Oh. Look at that little guy. It's amazing, isn't it? And then you've got some which are like, uh, like anthropods. Yeah. Amalite is another one. Mm, yeah, yeah. <coughs> prehistoric. Just the coolest. These are flying on pre-order. Sorry, you've kind of oh, lost no. me to a certain point just because I can't help. I'm, I'm just engrossed in these gemstones. Just the coolest. Look at those. Oh. Oh, yeah. Mark, you know what we're going to do, don't you? We're going to use your um, use your board, and we're going to do this, aren't we? Certainly are. Let's, 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 let's make some lovely, beautiful, high-end jewellery, shall we? That's amazing. So, just knot those together. If you do like a... There you go. Hang on. Hang on. Here we go. You know what we're going to do. How amazing is that? Knot it together. Really simple technique. Cool! And you can make it at an affordable price tag. Yes, these are coming up. Your That's fossil right. jasper cabochons, or pendants rather, right now for your eight millimetres. We've got how many, Ross? 150, he says. This would be your Marla strand. Get three of them. Uh-huh. And then plus this amazing cabochon that's coming up. Yeah, and there's a few others as well. Oh, and there's a drill hole. Yep. Perfect. Knot it together with your yeah. cord. Using the technique yeah. that you demoed. Easy knot, yeah. Which, which we had people messaging in on the Wall of Fame oh, saying that. that with nice. like, I'd go golden. Remember, board. I've got an announcement at 12 o'clock in the Wall of Fame. Have you? Yeah. Yes, I did see that on social media. I forgot yeah. to ask you about yeah. that. Yeah. Amazing. How that perfect is, is that? So, I love this. And I think that's something that everybody can wear. Yeah, absolutely. Gents as well. I see David Beckham rocking this. Totally. It's very Beckham, yeah. isn't it? Very absolutely. Beckham. Yeah. Beckham would look good in that. Leather jacket. Like a... Probably a really overly priced T-shirt and a pair of jeans. Yeah. You know, I can totally see him wearing that. Amazing. Um, good luck, everybody. Five pounds and ninety. Oh, it's sold out. Well, well done. done. Well done. Well done. Okay, and on to the coins. How quickly do you think the oh. coins are going to sell out today? I think one minute and thirty-five seconds. Yeah. What do you What do you reckon, Ross? How quickly do you think these are going to sell? We've got 150 of them. <laughs> oh, oh, but 25 have already gone on pre-order. I tell you what, a 60-second clock to the graphics and to the price... Oh, sorry, to the price crash, I beg your pardon. Sorry. <gasps> and then we'll go from there. Look at these! I know, these are amazing. Mark said 95. Oh, Ooh. Ross is going 80. What do you reckon, Chris? Yes. 90. 90. Okay, what do you reckon? What do you reckon, Adam? Look at that. 75. These Wolfie? Two and a half minutes. Two and a half oh. minutes. Oh. Oh, look at these. I'm going to say less than a minute. <sighs> I'm going to say under 60 seconds. Is that from the end of the purple clock? From the end okay. of the purple clock, yeah. absolutely. Look oh, how cool look they are. These. Just one on your key fob with, oh. your, with your keys, you know. I think they're an ace. They are incredible, aren't they? Yeah. Just cool, so cool. Well, Ross is in an advantage because he knows the price they're going to. Come on, time it, Roscoe. Oh, that's crazy. That's ridiculous. Twelve pounds and ninety-nine pence for four hundred and fifty carats of beautiful fourteen, fifteen, six. Okay, 
I think oh, less than a no, minute. Look. Good luck, everybody. Either way, we, do you notice how we are all saying they are going to sell out, though? Not one of us is no, thinking, no, oh, no, they won't. No. They're not going to sell out. There's four rows of names, $12.99. Love this shape. Absolutely adore this shape. You've got threes being purchased, Susan and Brian, Samantha. I've got, oh, okay. Oh, my Lord. I've got 10 seconds for them to sell out. How many's left? What did you say? S less than a minute. Less than a minute. 39. Okay, so I'm out of the, I'm out of the game. Right. You're Me right. out. All right. right. <laughs> <laughs> Adam. Adam. Adam's gone. As out. Well. <laughs> okay, so it's between now, Chris, Mark, and Wolfie. Yeah. I'm Roscoe. Sorry, Ross. <laughs> no, Ross, Ross is out too. How many oh, left? How many's left? Less oh. than 20. 90 seconds. That was Chris. What did you say? 95. Okay. 10 left. No. Yeah, but you might still win because it like, you Michael did. went quite, you know, yeah. you thought two and a half minutes. I think that's, yeah. that's uh, optimistic. Optimistic, So he's got to get to two minutes then. Yeah. If he gets to two minutes, he's won. Oh. Well, either way, they're going to be an on-screen sellout, you know, because well the call screens have... Gone. Who, what was the time? What was the time? Oh, Michael was nearest. Michael, good call. Yeah. <laughs> Obviously. Uh, Obviously. Well done. Michael is the winner on that one. You get Amazing. Love these when you get them well home. done, everybody. Right. Oh let's Lord. do that right. Can I bring one of these strands back though? Because oh no, let's let's just let's just show the case of the joke. It's 75 carats in a single stone. So if you bought if you bought two of the eight mils and you bought the buttons, you need this for your for your mala, for your guru. It's just How beautiful is that? It'd be incredible. Look at that. Look. A beautiful peach. How many have we got of these? 50 oh. on the nose. Oh, You're wow. dropping that. Yeah, we're going oh. even lower. <laughs> Look at how cool these are. Life perfectly pres preserved, captured from millions of years ago. This is the oldest known. Can we go back to that? Because I can't, I don't want to quote it. No, the one about there. So fossil stromatolites constitute the earliest yeah. record on Earth. Yeah. How amazing is that? Stromatolite. It's a good word, good isn't word. it? Yeah. Um, although many stromatolites are fossils, there are a number of locations on the modern day Earth where stromatolites are still forming today. We might be fossils, you know. One day in many years from now. <laughs> <laughs> They've gone already. Before you <laughs> bought it to air. Oh no. Sold out already. Easy, Adam. Easy. <laughs> we are an old crew, actually, for, uh, uh, for, for the Gemporia partnership. <laughs> experience. Can we say experience, not old, please? <laughs> experience. I'm going to try and put us in age order, see how far. See how far so I'm okay. going to go. So I'm the, definitely the oldest. Not by much, though. So I'm the oldest, then it's you. Yeah. Then I'm going to go for Adam. Mm. And then I'm going to go for Michael Wolf. Then I'm going to go for Ross. <laughs> and then I'm going to go for Chris. Ah, no, I don't actually know the answer. Oh. So go on then, tell us what's the right order. So it doesn't really matter. It is but a number. So we got the, you got the yeah. first two right. Yeah. So it's me and then you. Yeah. Yeah. Then Michael. Me. How old are you, Michael? Excuse <laughs> me. <laughs> 42. He's 42 oh, really? years young. Yeah. Wow. 42 years young. Sorry, Chris, Adam. Do you mind me asking? 37. 37. Oh. Adam, how old are oh, you? No. 36. And Ross. Sorry, 35. He's added right. years to himself. <laughs> and then Roscoe. He's 33. Well, I got Ross right. There you go. <laughs> now I got Chris right, didn't I? Yeah. Oh, I there completely threw that. Okay. Really sorry, Adam. Uh, <laughs> 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 you just added a oh, decade no. to it. <laughs> Did I? A decade? Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 
Oh, anyway, uh, and on right. to. I've, well, they're all fancy. Oh, that's cool. Oh, look at this. This has got to be the fancy one. Yeah, yeah. Because it's like a little, it is like a little turtle. Oh, look at this. Oh, look at this. Oh, look. He's got a little shell. Oh. Oh, he's amazing. That's got to be turned into a turtle, isn't yeah. it? So if you put, if you put, if you were doing this on macrame, the lazy strand would go through the drill hole. Yeah. And then the knot would sit around the base. So yeah. you wouldn't see the knottage on the macrame bracelet. It would sit above it like it was floating. That's very clever. Very we cool. Should, we should do a lot more in this shape. For macrame, it would be amazing. How amazing to sit him like that, yeah, yeah. basically. There's a hundred of these available. This that's, shape is amazing. That's we need to get cool. I don't think we've ever done that shape nope, before, have we? No. It, yeah, it's kind of like, I, the best way I can describe it is like a little tortoise. Or a, a hot turtle. pot pot. Hot pot or pie. I was going to yeah, go pie. Yeah, yeah. 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 You've got the pie pot. lid. Yeah. Oh, that's amazing. How amazing. We, well, we've got to do all our gemstones in this shape. Yeah, we'll relay that one back. Yeah. But it's amazing carving as well, yeah. to actually create yeah. what is effectively like a bezel, isn't it, to the surface, uh, to the uh, surroundings, rather. Uh, £9.99, and pence, but going even lower. We've got 100 did you say? That's beautiful. And the markings <laughs> of the actual fossils look like little tortoise shells, don't they? Do, they do, actually, you're right, yeah. They look like the top of a football, don't they, when we get yeah. hexagons tessellating together. So cool. That's ingenious. Some of our wire work our, um, jewellery makers will be yeah. will be turning yeah. these into little tortoises or turtles, don't you think? Um, we're going even lower. Loving these, but I like the idea of the fact that they'll sit yeah. proud they'll on float. your boards as well. Yeah, they look amazing. 18 carats in this one individual stone. It's cool. Fancy bead. Mm. I, I get why they've been quite vague on their description, because how do you describe something yeah. like this? Kind of tortoise, pie? Yeah. <laughs> oh, no. No, 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 no. tortoise that. or pie shape, or, or. Um, yeah. You know, just, <laughs> just see where I'm coming from. It's quite difficult to describe yeah. the shape. Yeah. 6.99 only. Good luck, everybody. There was a hundred of these, but you're as excited about the fossil jasper as we are. Um, yeah, one of the earliest pr uh, wow. um, preservations of life that existed on Earth. Just fascinating. Absolutely fascinating. We don't have anything else like this no, shape, by I've the way. I've never seen this before. Nothing no, like this no. shape. Um, and with your findings, so again, you can just pop one on a yeah. headpin, couldn't you? Yeah, yeah. One on a headpin and away you go. They are completely natural. They're not reconstituted. Those patterns are literally created over millions upon millions of years. Um, cool. Just so, so cool. I know I haven't time to have said that one. They word. do look like lemon slices, you know, gin and tea, don't they? Yeah. Mm. Yeah. Or a grapefruit mm. segment. Yeah, that's a good one. I can't yeah. eat half a grapefruit without getting it in my eye, though. Grapefruit. Getting it in your eye? Yeah, always. Whenever really? you go to scoop it, like... Oh. Is it, it can't just be me. You, like, squirt something <laughs> in your eye. No, just me? Mm. Um, no. On the verge of selling out. Yeah, I love grapefruit, though. Yeah. Um, well done. Next one, I've got two beautiful cabochons. So great for those of you that do gem setting or wire work. Ooh, oh, look at that. Yeah. Um, amazing. Mm. Very distinctive, lovely sort of oh, lovely. cashmere grey colours. And you can see its measurement. So we don't give you an exact measurement. So if you, because basically these are prehistoric millions of years yeah, old. So you want to be able to cut them um, to incorporate and include all those beautiful markers as best. So we'll tell you that it's between 15 and 21 millimetres um, in their size. But those of you that works with things like your gallery mm. wire or your bezel strips Perfect, or yeah. um, silver clay maybe, I wouldn't fire this obviously uh, because we may potentially destroy something that was yeah. formed over millions of years and that would be yourself. quite upsetting wouldn't it um good luck everyone loving the cabochons be bezel be bezel be perfect wouldn't it yeah it's big enough to be bezel isn't it what about something like shibori oh, silk yeah. that'd be lovely as well yeah you could replicate yeah, yes. the colors create folds if you like the colors mm. maybe replicate the sea i don't know 
Um, only got a handful of these, did you say? Oh, no, there's a hundred. But a lot of multi buyers getting involved. Wire work, of course. Straight down to it. Totally and utterly natural. Fascinating stones. £5.99. <laughs> £5.99. And and there was 100 but again, it's been busy from start to finish. So going back to what we were saying, you know, like when Willow was doing studying fossils, mm. and she's like, can I take this into school? So yeah, that's the kind of thing that yeah. I would give her to take into school. Did she bring anything back from the... No. 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 Oh, that's fine. Because other kids will like see it. a pencil there. sharpener or a pencil or... Oh, a do you mean... Right, right sorry, I thought you meant, did I get no. the fossils oh, right, back? No, right. I didn't get the fossils back. Yeah. Um... Um, no, they're not allowed. They are literally, it was very rushed to be fair. So, oh. no, they weren't allowed to go into the shop. Oh, no. I remember we used to. That was a highlight for me on Yeah, school trips. definitely. No, they weren't allowed to. Because I, I, I said yeah. the same. I was like, you need some spending money. And yeah. I weren't allowed to spend Number of bouncy money. balls I used to buy. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely. The Is that a thing and then you'd find the vending machine. Yeah. Bouncy balls. Bouncy yeah. balls. Yeah. yeah, definitely. Five ninety nine only. Yeah, I mean, how cool is that to take into like a school yeah. project and things like that? Um, good luck, everybody. So this is the larger of the cabochons. I've got one more. So this is the penultimate fossil jasper piece that we have for you um, in this showcase. There were a hundred. Um, stay where you are. We're going um, out with a bang. We're going out with a bang, yeah, absolutely. So this is more of a traditional cabochon. So if I hold it sort of on my finger like so, you can see it's got the sort of flat bottom. Um, we're going to do the lowest uh, price point of the entire showcase. Let's 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 just send the phone lines into oh, a no. meltdown, says Ross. We've gone even Damn lower it. than what we were originally planning. He said four ninety nine would have been an absolutely fantastic price point for something that is millions of years of age. Oh. Two ninety nine today. Look at that! Amazing, amazing, amazing. Um, did we have a hundred of these as well? Wow. We had one hundred. Lots of you multi buying on it. I'm not surprised. I would be too. It's just cool. Um, and I can't wait to see your fossil jasper pieces yeah, being sent into the Wall of Fame. Um, right, coming up the other side of the break is your Wall of Fame. So all of your wonderful creations, lovely jewelry makers, and the long-awaited return of my, of the beautiful mosaic beads. Marks your jewelry. The kits are absolutely incredible, aren't they? Really, look at them. The beautiful. And they will 100% sell out. The last time they were on yeah, air, they did, didn't they? Yeah. Which was when? 2nd of January. So we've all, wow. Six, Six months, months away. Yeah. Six it's months. It's taken us that long to get them made for us. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> yeah. So they're coming up the other side of the break alongside your creations. Make sure you keep continue to check out your baskets. Keep an eye on the website and you can always wish list these. Um, don't go anywhere, though, because the final hour is all about the beauty, the work of art that is a mosaic bead. Jewelry makers, did you know that you can purchase as many times as you like throughout the day and you'll only be charged one postage and packaging fee? No matter the size, weight or quantity of your order, how many times you check out that day, we will still only charge you that single P&P. Keep things simple on Jewelry Maker. It's easy to stay in touch with Jewelry Maker. You can like our Facebook page and join our community of over 69,000 people. You can follow us on Twitter and tweet us your messages and opinions. You can also find us on Instagram and even TikTok. Make sure you get involved and stay up to date with Jewelry Maker. Did you know that when you purchase with Jewelry Maker, you have a 30 day money back guarantee? Happy shopping with Jewelry Maker. It's easy to stay in touch with Jewelry Maker. You can like our Facebook page and join our community of over 69,000 people. You can follow us on Twitter and tweet us your messages and opinions. You can also find us on Instagram and even TikTok. Make sure you get involved and stay up to date with Jewelry Maker. Jewelry Maker has its own dedicated call center with highly trained staff waiting to help you with your orders or any queries. Happy shopping with Jewelry Maker. the great British summer. As the heat wave hits, the British public are making the most of it. While it's still here, 
here's Carol, buying an ice cream from a local vendor, playing games at the fair, and frolicking about in the sun. But Carol has forgotten that Jewelry Maker celebrates Christmas in July, a chance for customers to get their supplies in ready for their Christmas designs and gifts. So Carol can say goodbye to that ice cream and hello to that Christmas jumper as we present Christmas in July. Oh, Carol, you scamp. Want to know what's going on in the next show? Then head over to our website. Click on the TV guide. This will tell you who's presenting, which guest we have joining us, along with what's going on in each hour. If you ever miss a show, you can catch up by clicking on the day you missed and then click watch this show. You can also view what product was on and if it's still available to buy. Catch up on Jewelry Maker. Here at Jewelry Maker, we're always looking ways to make your shopping experience better. That's why on certain items, we've got split pay, where you can spread the cost over two, three or four months at no extra cost to you. So you can buy your way with split pay. Jewelry Maker are proud to be part of the Gemporia partnership. Our partnership family includes Jewelry Maker, Gem Collector, Gemporia, Sewing Street and Yarn Lane. Did you know that calls are free from a UK landline and our phone lines are open 24 hours a day, seven days a week? Happy shopping with Jewelry Maker. Our friendly and knowledgeable help team are available 24 hours a day, 365 days a year. If you have a question or query, contact us on 0800 644 655 and press option 2. Alternatively, you can email or drop us a direct message on our Facebook page. Jewelry Maker, happy to help. Welcome back, everybody. And now for your fabulous creations. Straight away, immediately, I can see some lovely macrame. They're lovely. But just before, coming up, the return of the mosaic bead. Love these. Yeah. I've really been championing. I've been championing a lot recently. Yeah, well, you do. You do. <laughs> well, I just get so when passionate about my favourite products. It's very, it's all selfish. It's all, it's all selfish. No, but generally yeah. speaking, Mark, if they're a favourite mm. of yours, they're mm. a favourite of our audience. Mm. I mean, and the fact they're sold so. out back in January so. speaks volumes, doesn't yeah. it? Yeah. Now, so they're coming up in a few moments' time, but right now, your wall of fame, number 86, is you, Jilly. Hello to you, Jilly. Um, some lovely macrame there. And Jilly says, Hi, all. Hope you're well. Here's my entry to this week's wall of fame. I thought I would give macrame a try for the first time. Oh, well done. Um, so here are my bracelets that I made. That's incredibly neat for Amazing. the first time. Amazing, yeah. Um, wishing everybody good luck in the draw. Good luck to you as well, Jilly. Number 87 is from Julia. Hello, Julia. Oh. Wow. Fabulous abalone. Wow. And Julia says, hi, all at Jewelry Maker. Here's my entry for this week's Wall of Fame. Abalone is one of my all-time favourites. I listened with great interest last week um, at the very informative talk from Dave. I had no idea that ab abalone was graded. Neither did I, Julia. Um, I bought this beautiful abalone about seven years ago. The abalone in these two pieces can be categorised as um, wild abalone, basically with the um, quad A+, plus, um, having more than three colours in them. The quality is extraordinary and I love it, absolutely. The quality is extraordinary and wow, what an amazing piece of oh, pieces. Uh, number 88 is from Margaret. Hello to you, Margaret. Oh, oh they're very cute. Very nice. Um, very apt as well for the yes. Christmas in July show. And Margaret says, um, I'm on a quest to make flat mandala discs from, from um, after my previous two attempts have come out frilly. So I've gone really simple this week and attempted mandala earrings using three lots of sea beads, all size 11s. And thankfully, they're flat. Thank you, Jewelry Maker, for everything. And good luck to all fellow Waffers. Amazing. Loving those. They're How lovely. do you avoid a frilly mandala? It's all to do with tension and tightness. Is it? 
No, yeah. it didn't sound like I was leading into a joke there. Yeah. <laughs> um, no punchline there at all. No. Uh, number 88 is from Susan. Hello to you, Susan. Oh, oh beautiful. Uh, here's my latest make for the Wall of Fame. Um, a red and green ladder weave bracelet with gold seed beads and gold plated silver findings. All purchased from Jewelry Maker. Good luck to all waffers and fingers crossed for a win. So, first of all, now, Susan, that is absolutely beautiful jewellery. So, first, it's, it's an optical illusion because when you look at it, it looks like the back end of an elephant. <laughs> but then when you see the tusks and you can see the yes. tongue, it looks, it's an optical illusion, isn't it? Yeah. Yes. Like yes. His, like it's his, the trunk. Like his trunk is yes. his leg, yeah. Yes. Yeah, 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 yeah. No. That's amazing. Yeah, no, I can see his face and his eyes. Yeah. Amazing, yeah. and it's a perfect display. It's beautiful. Amazing. Loving yeah. that, Susan. Beautiful. Over to you. Okay, so number 90 is from lovely Pam. Wow. Oh, look at this. Good day to you all. My entry to this week's Wall of Fame is a lavender, oh, here we go, lavender jade and sterling silver beaded kiss cross. Wow. Necklace. Oh, my word. All inspired by Mark Smith, of whom I'm grateful. Thank you to all his demonstrations that are so easy to follow. A full set is made with sterling silver findings, including clasp or purchase from JM. A joy to make, but cost me an arm and a leg to make. Uh, though much cheaper than it would have cost me to buy ready-made. I made this for myself to wear to my niece's wedding oh, next weekend. Beautiful. Good luck to all in the draw. And that's from Pam. Oh, that's stunning. That's well, amazing. Well, you're going to turn some heads, Absolutely. Pam, wearing that. Yeah, that's incredible. And I think definitely one for your own uh, Definitely, election. definitely. Number 91 is from Sarah. And oh. Sarah says, hello, lovely JM team. This Wall of Fame entry is a rose quartz knotted mala with kiss cross sections for the marker beads and guru with a handmade tassel, all components from JM. Lovely. It, it works lovely, isn't it? Yeah, it's beautiful. gorgeous rose quartz. And last entry from today is firm favourite of the show, lovely Sean. And Sean says, hello, my gorgeous people. I wanted to make something with a vintage flavour using gorgeous 10 millimetre opalite rounds I bought from you as part of a bundle. Originally, I was going to do a graduated kiss cross necklace, but it was a disaster. So I cut it up and came up with this instead. Oh, it you. uses Mayuki size 11 and 15 seed beads, super duos and crystals all from JM, sending you lots of love. See, that's a good Thank thing about jewellery making. It is. If you don't like it, you can always start yep, again. And you can wear it to an event, yeah. come back, cut it up and make something else. Make something else. It's amazing. Amazing. Well, good luck, everybody. So the draw yes. happens on Wednesday um, with me. And I hope I'll be lucky for you all. So still got time for you to send um, your photographs in. The only stipulation of the Wall of Fame is that they are jewellery maker components and you never know. The winner and the runner-up. Winner receives £100. Mm -hmm. Runner-up receives £50 credit to their jewellery maker, maker account. And we have done that since day dot. We have. Since day dot. So before, yes. talking of Wall of Fame, before we introduce you to the kits, I said on my Facebook page we've got an announcement about Wall of Fame. So I am back with you next Friday. It's rather a special show. It's my 12th anniversary of joining Jewelry Maker show. So it's going to be massive. It's been planning stages for yeah. weeks and weeks and weeks. Incredible deal of the day. And I think the VT will be going out very shortly. And I do apologize for that now. I wasn't, I wasn't, I wasn't, I was, funny. I was not impressed. It's but pretty funny. Anyway, so we are going to run on top of uh, the generic ordinary wall of fame, we're going to run a Mark Smith inspiration wall yes. of fame, okay? So you need to go through your stash or make something, anything that you've made inspired by Kiss Cross, macrame, rosary linking, seed I'll beads. I'll say it, inspired by Mark. Anything, anything at all, okay? And you need to send in your wall of fame entry no later than 12 noon on Thursday the okay, 27th. That's the, cut off. that's the cut off, 12 noon, because we need time to, because it's going to be chosen at random, so we need to do some sort of computer -y thing. Um, so send in your wall of fame, and in the header, you need to put Mark Smith anniversary show. Yeah, not, not just wall not, of fame. Not just wall of fame. So make sure you say Mark Smith and. Okay, what happens then? Three people. Uh -huh. So we're going to have three winners are going to win £50 credit to their account each. Amazing! Yep. There you go. So that's Wall of Fame, Mark Smith Anniversary Show, but they have to be in by midday on Thursday. On Thursday. So that gives, so that gives, you, that gives you four days there you go. to get your entries in and all will be revealed on Perfect. Friday. Well, very exciting. Yes. That'll be very, very exciting. Yep. Yep. Well, you might, for example, use these kits. You might well do. You, you might well use do. these kits. Yes. Yes. Now, Mark... Again, just for those people that have maybe tuned in a little bit later mm. than the initial conversation, 
You do champion these, and I, I can them. understand why, because they're love, absolutely love beautiful. Yeah. The first ever mosaic bead that we had was abalone. Was abalone, which were it? quite quite expensive when we, yeah, when we bought were, them. Yeah, they were, and actually yeah. very difficult to and get hold of now. A year ago, we were talking about getting them back on the show, but we, we, we couldn't, A, we couldn't find a supplier because everything that's been going on yeah. you know, with the pandemic and things. And we found a couple of suppliers and they were incredibly expensive. And obviously we want to pass savings on to the viewers. So I said, just to ad hoc, I said, well, can't we get them in shell. other colours and get them in shell and, and um, leave it with us, they said. And back on beginning of January this year, we had the first initial launch, which all disappeared. And then, so I said, we need to get them back in because they were so popular and we've managed to get them in six months later. So it's taken a long time. Well, it's like a work of art, isn't it? Yes. So firstly, yeah. how they do yeah. this, they take the smallest piece full of iridescence, yep. you know, the finest Isles mother of slippers. pearl. Yeah. Mother of pearl is used in, in Van Cleef and Arpels and... and well, the Alhambra. Alhambra. Camilla, Camilla wears Absolutely. an Alhambra shell every Rolex, day. Yeah. you know, use mother of pearl. So that's what yeah. you have. Yeah. And they take that beautiful iridescent mother of pearl and first, you can imagine they're not, they're not, you know, they're not how do, that curved of the beads. They're, they're not, not that no. shape, are they? No. no. Um, so, uh, and then basically they'll put them together like the most beautiful mosaic picture and then coat them in a resin so they're yeah. not scratchy. And then and soften all the edges. Yeah, yeah. So if, they are a, a, yeah. a real process. If I, um, if I show you these two blue ones here, you can perfectly see just... I th I I've not counted them, but there must be about 25, 30 little, little slithers of mother of pearl embedded in resin and then softened. You can't feel any of those little tessera. No, I think they're really... called tessera in mosaic language. Ah. But they're absolutely gorgeous, aren't they? And, and every single piece, every single slither just glows and changes colour and they, they're just amazingly beautiful. Well, Mark, this six months yes. on, yeah. <gasps> we have them in four different colours. Okay. So if I just turn these towards Chris, um, you will see mm -hmm. the colours. Okay. And I'm going to also give you the, a little bit of a housekeeping and tell you that... Oh, yes. How many have we got of each? Ah, about 70. That's not too bad. That's not too oh, bad. Oh, I like your optimism. Yes. Good. Let's go with Mark, <laughs> Mark's reaction, that's then not, not mine. Bad. Okay. Um, I was hoping for more. No, that's right. good. 70. But that's good. That's good. I would be quick. Um, on these and you can choose your favorite colors. I, I and the other thing that maybe I know the one question that would be going on in people's minds at home is okay So if they're kind of like a little work of art in a, in a bead that has to be created it's still it's still mother nature components But they have to be created to that wonderful little little work of art um, That sounds expensive doesn't it? It sounds expensive. Is it expensive? Not today, it's not, no. Really, no. So the price that I was told is nowhere near where Ross is going, so... Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So that, that little sheet that he's given you, I wouldn't, I would ignore that. No, yeah. <laughs> so where would you like to start, Mark? <gasps> oh, right. Uh, in fact, no, show us your jewellery and then we'll start. Okay. So I tried to make pieces from every single kit that we had. So the first one I made was the one nearest to you, the little mandala. And this was made at about 11 o'clock at night and... I've no idea how I did it. <laughs> okay, so you're not demoing that. <laughs> I've, I've no idea how I did it, but if you, it flip, it, if you flip it over, it's okay. double-sided. How? Oh. It's double-sided, and it's, and it's absolutely amazing. Oh, that's cool. It's when you've got yeah. it on memory wire. Yeah, so one piece on memory wire. So I've used three. You get ten in each of the kits, and then you get ten beautiful large shell pearls, yep. and you get all the crystals, and, and the bag, and you get everything. Wow. So that's just using three. So, that, so should, we, should we do that one first, then? Will you, will do should we do that colourway like first? Peachy, peachy colours? Yeah. Yes, perfect. Okay, so I'm just going to yeah. scooch those in that direction just a minute. And the um, crystals are Oh, amazing. they are beautiful, you yeah. So this, I think this one's going to be one of the most yeah. popular, actually, because um, you get the chiffon bag, firstly, and I'm yep, just going to tip... Do. Look at these lovely the bike cones. They're gorgeous. I mean, move over, Sorosky. Look how yeah. beautiful these are. Yeah. Absolutely stunning. Full and of these, sparkle. And these are eight millimetre, which we, I don't think we've had. Since we, since we stopped Swarovski, yeah. I don't think we've had eight mil bicones. Well, I've definitely not had them. No. And then you get six mil as well. And then you also get your six mil, yeah. which I'll try you and get, tip out without throwing them I everywhere. think you get 50 of each. Okay. Then you've got, you mentioned the shell pearl. Let's put yeah. these on too. And it's these such a lovely huge. pink. Yeah, they're gorgeous. So you also get those, 10 of those. 10 of those. And then the star of the show is... Mm. The mosaic bead of which you also get 10 
and also your little chiffon bag yeah. to complement. Now, this is the pink. You've got pink, blue, purple, and white, yeah. basically. Yeah. Um, yes, I'm surprised, let's just put it that way, uh, uh, how affordable these kits are going to be today. It's ridiculous. Good luck to every single one of you. Yeah. It's been six months in the waiting. Straight away, people making sure they don't miss out on this opportunity. 70 chances. Let's just put it this way. People won't just buy one kit. No, get, for the price we're getting, you can get every single one and mix and match the colours yeah. and have a real play the race. And just for the crystals alone. Yes, that's <laughs> true. I mean, we're talking price. about high quality crystals, aren't we? Which are cut yeah. glass. Yeah. Um, 39.99 is a great place to start. And that is where we're starting. Mm -hmm. You said it yeah, when we yeah, had yeah. the abalone strands, they were uh, in the mosaic beads. They were quite expensive, they were. weren't they? They yeah. were. But, and, and, and I get it. I can understand yeah. why. They're little works of art, aren't they? And you, we had them in the strand. So, um, yeah, look at different components. Still working with the beautiful, wonderful iridescence of Mother Nature in your uh, Mother of Pearl. At $39.99, I can tell you, <laughs> oh, well over 15% of the stock has already gone. If you want the blues, can we shop ahead on the different colours? Every Oh, no. it's risky. Oh, no. I've got a favourite. I won't tell you which one it is, but I've got a favourite by Miles. Yeah. No. What? The what? Um, <sighs> under 20 pounds. Well, that's the disco balls massively. And then everything else is free without a doubt. Yeah. That's crazy. Two pound each for all that work. Yeah. Those tiny little slithers, uh, it's phenomenal. And they're 14 millimetres they in are. their size. They are. Do you see where we're coming from? I think people will be multi-buying across these different yeah, kits as well, getting the different cool. colours. Because, for example, how lovely would the, the white be across all the others? Yeah. You know, sort of mix them together, the pink and the blue. I don't know. So I'm, I was thinking you've got, the, you've got the pink and the purple, which is now, the colour of now, isn't yeah. it? Yeah. And then we're, going, we're heading into Christmas and winter, and you've got the whites and you've got the blues. The cooler the tones. The cooler tones. Yeah. yeah. Amazing. They're flying out the door, they're drawing because we've got 70, wow. 70 available, 27 have already confirmed, lots of you with it in your baskets and also on the phone lines, but Mark, was that our closing price? It was, yes. Well, that, no, that was less than your closing price on yeah. your sheet, so I'd, I've no idea and I give up. There was a whisper that potentially we might take these a bit lower. <laughs> Which means he was going to take it lower. If there's potential, Ross is doing it. Yeah. Uh, that's why I was saying people won't just get one kit. They might think, okay, well, at that price point, I might get a couple or three. So or already it started at £40, didn't it, which was the, which was the price on your sheet. So yeah. already it's buy one, get one free, whatever you do. Yes, absolutely. Already, so. Absolutely. We had 70 of them. I don't have 70 anymore. And in 22 seconds, the reality is going to, well, hit us all just how affordable, not just the pink, Mother of Pearl Disco Mosaic Rounds uh, kit are. It's going to hit you what every single one of these kits are. So do shop ahead, everybody, on these. $19.99, I think you'd all agree, is an absolutely incredible price point for just one. Um, yeah, well, that's it for the, for the disco balls, for the shell, the mosaic, for the crystals. <laughs> well, no, you're not going to do what I think you're going to do, are you? I knew it, I knew it. You can get all four kits for £60. That's pretty amazing. All four kits. This has got absolutely nothing to do... I'm getting quite serious now. <laughs> this has got absolutely nothing to do with me. This has got nothing to do with me at all. No. I'm just putting it out there, because you lot are going to have your Monday trade meeting tomorrow. Just I'm not. Out, just putting it out there. I'm not there. No. OK, right. Adam and Ross can take ownership of this one. Right. You know what, though? Amazing. Make the most of these opportunities. I mean, I think genuinely, you're not going to sell a single one of these pieces for fourteen ninety nine, are no, you? It's crazy. Not even the that, that mandala that I've made there, that would be £80. Yes. And I've only used three. What about these ones, which are much more sort of uh, um, embellished? Same sort of price, 80 to 100 I would have thought. I mean, the blue one next to me is even more. That's ridiculous. Unbelievable. Yeah. So I, I'm, I've been here nearly 12 years, same as you, and we, yep. know, we know the likes of our viewers. So I'm, I'm, putting order, I'm ordering the kits in order that of preference that our viewers would purchase at. OK, yeah. So I'm going to go for white next. You th Ah. 
That's Already? on the verge of... What is the pink? Oh, no. The pink is on the verge oh, okay. of selling out. Um, so hold those phone lines. If you've pressed your option one key, you have got a chance. Please do stay where you are. But there is a bit of a queue. So please, if you've pressed your option one, just stay where you are. Don't abandon those calls. Um, we're into yep. the white. Now, after... That surprised you, but... This is my favourite. Okay. Right. I love the white. I think it's got this really lovely bridal class. Look how beautiful these Timeless. are. You could, wear, you could wear this every day of the year. Yeah, you could. And the the crystals are AB coated. Oh, and they are. Old school. Old school Swarovski. I've not had AB bicones for such a long time. Look how beautiful these are. Yeah. Oh, Michael's not going to thank me, but I'm doing it anyway. <laughs> Sorry, Michael. Um. <laughs> Thank you. You know what's happening. Good luck, everybody. Showness. Snowness. Snow. Snow mess. Snow mess. Oh. I, that's got to be a try. That's got to be a typo. I'm sure we're meant to say snowness. Oh. Snowman. <laughs> uh, okay. Um, <laughs> let's just focus on the bead, yeah, shall yeah. we? Not the title yeah, of yeah. this kit. They've sold out. Well done. Amazing. White house. The white sold out. You're joking. I'm not surprised. I thought that that's my favourite. I love the white. I think it's absolutely oh, no. beautiful. Um, okay. S moving on. Sorry, I'm running out of space. Let me just scooch that in that direction. Okay. You save in the blue till last. Mm -hmm. But um, I, think, I think the purple is going to be even quicker. I've got it right so far. I think the purple will be even quicker than the white. Do you? Look at this. <laughs> so this is, this is the piece I made from this year's Very nice. Marla. Yeah. And this is what I made when I launched the kit back in oh. January. So this is what started it all. Yeah. Where it all began, where yeah. the journey began. Yeah, so this is, this is Kiss Cross. Amazing. Yeah. Kiss cross stations with duck. You can you could replicate that because you've got six millimeter kiss um, bicones. Yeah. So you can do your little stations in between. But yeah. I, wanted to, I wanted to do a Marla this time. Yeah, I and love it. I absolutely yeah. love it with the with the yeah. actual tassels. You yeah. could layer those up, couldn't you? you? Could. I think that yeah, would be absolutely amazing. Right then, here it is, everybody. So the purple. Is that the, the lavender look? <laughs> yeah, the lavender has gone crazy. Fourteen ninety nine. Goodness me, they're absolutely beautiful, and you've got nice, generous drill holes through these. Really good in all of them. Yeah. Sold out. <sighs> we knew it was going to be the case. That sold out in sixty three seconds. This is what happens when you pre-order. It's yeah, right, it's... amazing. Uh, oh, oh, sorry. Um, sorry, Michael. Uh, okay. <laughs> and you think the blue is going to be the it's most probably popular? Already, it's probably already gone. Yeah. It's on that way. Forty have already got on pre-order. Oh, this was this was the um, this was the piece that kicked it off in <laughs> January. <laughs> look. Oh yes, I remember. I think I did these. With I'm you. sure I was on this show with yeah. you. Yes, I remember. Yeah. Let's show everybody because yeah. I remember thinking, "Gosh, that's very Elsa." Very Elsa. Very yeah. Elsa-esque. Not Elsa Peretti, no. Do they have a surname in the film? Um, uh, Elsa and Elsa. Probably. Yeah. Do you don't get here? Snow White, what? Smith? Maybe she, Jones? Maybe she was white. Yeah. Like a Miss Elsa, White. Elsa White. Oh, I see. Snow White. I'm over oh, okay. Snow yeah, could be. White, yeah, maybe. Not sure. See, Chris, how could anyone script this? You know? <laughs> <laughs> it all makes total sense. Yeah. Um, okay, the blue. Oh. Did we even show it? I don't think we did. No, but. Did we? Oh, you did. We did, did we? You did. In amongst our very, very important conversation about uh, about Disney princesses, um, amazing. Okay, so have they all sold out? Yes. Mm. No. Peach. Pink has got three, three. left. Is that That's it? it? Is that it? That's it. That's it. Take well, it we'll away. Get, we'll what are you doing? We? Yes, we definitely. Another six yeah. months' time. Other colours are Lovely in the pipeline, earrings, including, the including peacock. Ooh, you know, like nice. peacock pearls. Yeah. And gunmetal. Nice. So we go down that metal. Oh, that retro. sounds cool. What about, like, can you get golden colours? Golden. Watch this space. Watch this space. Oh, amazing. Fabulous. Mark, which oh. of your beautiful pieces are you so, going to demo? I'm going to do these 
little earrings here because I see we're quite short of time. So I'm going to do the, but I'm going to do them in a different colour way. Okay, I need, to, I need to get some T-pins. Hang on a second. No problem. I, I always forget something when I'm demoing. That's all you right. You know, not as though I've been here for seven hours. Um, uh, Michael, just a heads up, if you've missed out on any of the kits, Michael has just put some mosaic um, beads in front of me. Little bundles. Oh, yeah, we've got little extra bundles on so it. So you could add those on. That middle bundle is mixed colours. Can you see we've got a blue, a white? Yeah, they're beautiful. They're lovely. So these are coming up? They're all coming up. Stash extras. Oh, add them Amazing. to your kits for sure. Okay, so I'm going to show these earrings here, but I'm going to show them in a purple version. And this is, I love doing this little technique because it's a really nice way of, of making earrings that aren't rigid. They've got a bit of movement to them. So what you're going to need is some 0.5 millimeter eslon or equivalent nylon cord. And for each earring, you'll need about a foot. So you don't, you don't need very much. And the first thing we're going to do is we're going to choose how we're going to put our beads on. So I'm going to keep with the earrings that I've got. So I've got three of the, where did I put the, oh, there they are. So I've got them so um, organized, I got them out and then put them away again. So just one of your shell pearl yeah. pearl earrings. Okay, so first thing we're going to do is we're going to just take our eslon and using a sharp pair of scissors, we're just going to cut them at a 45 degree angle so you get nice points. And then you're going to take both of your ends and you do this before you do any of your macrame ink is you decide on the combination of your beads. So I'm going to use three of the six mil bicones, but obviously you've got eight as well if you wanted something a bit larger. So we've got one, two, and then three. So that um, Marla necklace was the simple knotting that we did on the show last week. Yeah, that was, as you can see. Uh, yeah, yeah, really, that was like a light bulb moment for me. <laughs> okay, and then we're going to take both of our threads. So you can see the drill holes are really good even on the, even on the shell as well. And then I'm going to end with our last. Okay, so we've got our loop at the top and then we've got our beaded section. So either use your beading awl or a T-pin and we're going to place the T-pin in the loop, place it into your macrame board and then take your two ends. It needs to be quite tight for this bit so we're just going to place it in a slot at the bottom, back up through the adjacent slot, both cords underneath and then pull into the original slot so it's nice and tight. And that's the, for me, that's the best way of attaching your cords to your macrame board. You want to be able to strum it. Can you hear it's like a, like a guitar string? So you're going to slide the beads down to the bottom and then you're going to cut another piece of thread. Again, you don't need very much, a foot and a half, something like that. And then the next thing you need to do is you need to decide the size of the loop that you want to fit on your shepherd's hook. So we're going to take our thread underneath and I'm going to do the twist knot which we had the Wall of Fame entry for earlier. And we're going to do five knots at the top. So we're going to tie the first half. Now, before you tie it really tight, we're going to slide it up. And I normally leave about five mil at the top. And that's just large enough there to pop either on a jump ring or on a shepherd's hook to attach to the top of your earring. So we're going to do our five half square knots. So this will give you the beginning of your twist. So that's two, three, four, and five. Now I've made earrings with this, but you can do this at varying lengths. Pop it on a piece of necklace memory wire and have a really funky bib necklace. Yeah, that would be lovely. So I've done my five knots. Now for me, that, that tiny bit of twist isn't tight enough. So I'm gonna take the right hand cord underneath from right to left and take the left cord over and that just tightens. Can you see it, it, it gives another twist, yeah. it just tightens everything up. Then we're going to slide up the bicone. So we're gonna take the first one up and because I want to keep it straight, I've started with twist knot. I'm gonna end with twist, but the knots in between are gonna be square knots. Okay. So it was left, 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 left at the top and now I'm going to do left and I'm going to do left and then right. 
So that's a full square knot. And then can you see it doesn't alter the way your, your, um, your twist sits, otherwise yeah. it will start flipping over. Take our next bead up. So you've got the left side and then the right side. So it's all sitting nice and neat, one above the other. And then we'll take up the third. And then we can do the left hand side and then we'll do the right hand side. Okay, so to make, if I bring one of the earrings over, so to make the earrings, what I've done is I've popped on each of the threads 16 11 O's mm -hmm. or 13 8 O's, and that just gives a halo. Okay, but I wanted, to, I wanted to show you the cord around the bead, but before you, if you want to do, you don't have to add seed beads, but I just wanted to create that little halo. So we're just gonna push up our bead. We pop on 16 11 O's on each, and then we cage the pearl again. Well, as you've just mentioned, seed beads. Oh, amazing. How about this? Perfect. These are on your screens right now. Look at that colour. It's intense, isn't it? That's Gorgeous. amazing. So do our left and right of our knot. So that's without seed beads and that's with. And then we're going to take up our last bicone and now we're going back to half square knot. Okay, so it was left top to bottom then a square knot in between the beads and then back to five half square knots at the bottom. So you get a twist at the top and a twist at the bottom. So I'm going to slide that round. So that's three, four, and then five. We want to tighten our twist. So we do exactly what we did at the top. So we take the right underneath and we flip it over pull nice and tight and that just gives you an extra bit of movement. So that's our earring made. So to finish off, take off the T-pin and take everything off of our macrame board. I'm going to use a naked flame today because I'm in that mood. Oh, are you feeling daring? Well, that's because I remember to take my lighter out of the box, really. Okay. Not normally. This, I, this, I love doing this. This is so cool. So this will only work with a nylon cord, okay, the, yeah. the melting. Otherwise, you'll have to use some sort of glue. Yeah, fixture, if it's okay? a man-made fibre. Yeah, absolutely. So I'm going to cut the right hand, which is my working. I'm going to cut the two of the lazy. And I'm going to cut the right of the second working. Can you see we've got three mm -hmm. little tufts on the end? Oh, well, we don't want tufts. We don't want tufts. We don't want tufts. So we're just going to use our cigarette lighter. I'm just going to melt the right hand and then we're going to go in and use the left hand. It's a bit difficult with the air conditioning blowing. But what you want to do, I don't know if you can see on, um, uh, shall I show, yeah. If I, can I show you on two? This is, this is quite important, especially when you're using Eslon. So I'm, I'm just going to ignite the flame. So can you see we've got a blue part of the flame yep. and a yellow. If you are melting your cord, make sure you do use the lower, the blue. If you use the yellow, it will turn your cord black. Yeah. Okay. Yep. Yeah. Okay. So once you've done that, you're just going to finish off your little. So what I would do, I would, I would melt that till it was it was all tufted, and then just go in and give it a squidge. You can use a flat nose pliers if you wanted to as well. And then all you would do then is just open up your shepherd's hook, and pop it on the loop that you made with your T-pin earlier, and then you've got your pair of earrings. Amazing. That quick, you can make you can make a, a pair of earrings in ten minutes. Amazing. As I said, if you don't like if you don't like using your lighter, cut your tufts, add a little bit of the glue that's super or a bit of E6000 yeah, or hypoxia that works or, too. or anything like that. But you'd have to leave that overnight to set. Yeah. Obviously your super glue will dry pretty quickly. But yeah. as I said, I've made earrings with this, but there's nothing stopping you. Have it, if you have a pair a piece of necklace memory wire, maybe do a ten bicone length and then two eighths, two sixes, two fours with a pearl in between, you get the most amazing oh, big beautiful. neck clears. So have a, have a, it's, it's such a simple little technique, but it, you can do so much with it. Oh, Mark, amazing. I love it. I love all your amazing. jewellery as always. The kits have sold out, not surprised there. Can I just show you this little trilogy? Look how amazing wow. they are. To, uh, it's like, so, it's, it's taking me back to the 80s. So what I did, <laughs> that's the, that's the right hand colour and I, I had to add black to it. Yeah. It, it was just shouting out to have black. Oh, I love these neon colours. The ace, aren't Sorry, they? Roscoe, what did you say? Mm. So the one we were doing this, what we had previously was this one that I showed you. The one in the middle is what's on your screen, that luminous wild strawberry. 
Is that what it's called? Yeah. Wow. I like it. <laughs> I think my Yukia really, yeah. That's, that's, that's a good yeah, term. Sometimes yeah. they're questionable, aren't they? Whereas luminous wild strawberry, I'm liking that one. Yeah. And then we'll obviously bring you that kind of peachy light colour. Amazing. They're uh, all together, aren't they? They look incredible yeah. together and they work, work uh, wonderfully with these beads as well, um, with your um, mosaic beads. Mm. Stunning. Good luck. I've never seen these colours before. I've not either, no. Are they new? I think they must be, yeah. Oh, they, they are, are brand they are new. Brand new. Um, and then the last, this oh, one here. Love that. Ooh. Luminous Flamingo. <laughs> love it. So that's the one I've used on the mandala with, with black. It's just amazing. Yeah, when you see it like that, yeah. it, it's not as, because you might be thinking, oh, they're very bright. Yeah. But actually, yeah. when you take them out and start working with them, they're not yeah. that no, bright, absolutely. are they? No, absolutely. Um, Amazing, four pounds and 99 pence. They're brand new. They've never been on your screens previously before. Um, a lot of you getting involved. Have we got quantity? 70 right. of each of them. Um, amazing. Ooh, okay, let's now bring you the parcel of extra mosaic Yeah, beads. so if you bought any of the kits, snaffle these. Which one do you want to start with? As your top ups. Should we start with multicolors? If you want to. So these are, they, this one has got colours in that we've not had. There's sort of a, a green, green colour and there's a dark blue colour as well. I love the green. And then a white. I think there's four different colours in the pack. Yeah, there's two They're blues. They're lovely. They're gorgeous. One more like kind yeah. of golden colour and then there's Oh, there we are. Yeah. There's, the green is lovely, isn't it? Oh, they're beautiful. How many have we got of these? 60 oh. available. Lovely additions to uh, Mark's kits. Because you think the greens will look lovely with the purple. Well, they're all going to yeah. mix together, aren't they? Absolutely amazing. Um, so if you're looking for the mosaic, be mosaic beads on their own exclusively, then it's right add now add that you need to... Um, yeah, add a little top up. Yeah. But also, can I just say, also highlights just how amazing the yeah. kit deal was as well. Yes. £2 yeah. extra, you get everything else. Yeah. Um, OK, moving on to... Let's do the pink. So if you want extra of your pink mosaics... Ah, they're lovely. They're lovely. Coral, that's I said every single little tessera, I think they're called, have a different life of their own, don't they? Or move yeah. and show different colours. And yeah, and we're looking at them sort of static, yeah. aren't we? When, yeah. they, when they actually are worn in yeah. jewellery, you're going to see that iridescence. Um, we had 60 of these as well, so um, nice little additions to uh, Mark's kits. Or, you know, quite simply, if you want to get hold of the mosaic beads, it's probably going to be another six months until we get them again. But they're in the pipeline, you they're say? In the pipe other colours are in the pipeline. OK, yes. amazing. Yeah. Uh, well done. Let's move on to the final. The final mosaic bead bundle. This is your favourite, wasn't it, the white? I love the white. I think they're, super, they're really mm. elegant. And I, they do remind me of the Alhambra. Mm. Yes. I know they're not yeah. the same shape, but, you know, they, yeah, yeah. they have that... Oh. Have they? Sold out. <laughs> <laughs> wow. There I we just go. Think they've got this purity. Yeah. It's innocence. Yeah. Amazing. Yeah. Well done, everybody. Um, congratulations. Well done, you, on your kit. Pleasure. Well. Absolutely Pleasure. amazing. Now, let's bring you some of our last essentials that we brought, last of stock opportunities essentials that we brought yesterday. Um, this was part of Ross's new essential stash grab. <laughs> his bits uh, and bobs. His bits and bobs. Yeah. Um, plenty, of, plenty of you, oh, they were in your endos flying left, right and centre <laughs> yesterday. Um, anyway, so as you can see, we had, which one? 20 inch now, there's the difference. There's 20 of the 20 inch left. Um, and then you've got the 18 inch as well, all, all down to your personal preference. So um, gold plated 925 sterling silver, you can see. Wow. In terms of its drop, it's about an inch difference. Um, but right now we're talking about this one here. So if I just remove that just to avoid um, any confusion. It is a complete beautiful necklace. So if I just hold it on my hand like so, you'll also see the large lobster claw clasp that's in there. There's only 20 left, seven pounds and 99 pence only. Amazing. Stock up your stashes whilst you get the opportunity to lovely jewellery makers because we, sadly we don't have all your essentials on every single show as much as we would like to also. Um, if you want the 18 inch I'm bringing that to you as well but these are last of stock opportunities they were launched um, yesterday. So let's dive into that 18 inch it's all down to preference like for example I would go for 20 inch mm. personally. Um, I know plenty of people actually prefer an 18 inch is actually the most frequent, frequently purchased size, 18 inch. There's only eight of these oh, no. left. It was a very busy show yesterday as well. 
Beautiful, beautiful quality. And you pay, what are you saying about Alex Munro? If you go to Alex Munro and you want something gold plated, gold plated sterling silver, you pay at least an extra 20 quid for wow. something gold plated. Yeah, you tend to pay a premium. On the verge of selling out on those, well done. Um, okay, let's do your curb chains. Let me just hang on. I've got a 20 inch, which is this one, and I've also got an 18 inch which is this one, I'll show you the two. I love curb chains, I think they just lay really beautifully. So if I hold them up together. Aww. So let's do the 20 inch one first, and then we'll dive into the 18 inch. Curb chains lie flat beautifully against the decolletage, mm. so they really create like this river of amazing luster. Um, Straight down to your price point. These are quick recaps. We brought these um, as an hour yesterday. It was actually your deal of the day hour. All your essentials. Um, so we've only got a few of them left. Six pounds and 99 pence. But curbs, the cur well, again, we spoke about H. Samuels, didn't we? Which I think most of us would agree is quite an affordable jewellers. If you go to Samuels and you look for a 20 inch curb chain, you're talking 35 pounds. You know, we get lots of messages from our viewers. There's one that stuck in my mind, and this was from years ago. And the, and the message was along the lines of, I love jewellery maker curb chains. They they are really nice on a sticky neck. They sticky don't neck. they don't stick to a yeah, sticky yeah, yeah. neck. It does make sense. Yeah. It does make yeah. sense because certain necklaces, if they haven't got an investment of, it makes sense mm. to me that yeah. if you've got a certain necklaces, if they don't have enough silver in them, they won't hang. Right. So and they, they will they'll bunch and stick. Yeah, and yeah. it doesn't look very yeah. nice. So I, I totally agree with that mm. comment. Absolutely. Curb yeah. chains do have that drapage. Um, these are drapage. I agree, but the, the mm. weight is important in that as well. So yeah. more, so you obviously you want more of the precious yeah. metal. Yeah. 18 inches. Yeah. So, right, I'm going to show you. We have also got the cable ones. Same. 20 inch, we're going to do at six, six 6.99. 18 inch is going to be what? Five, five 5.99. They're on the website or you can speak to our call centre. Um, we want to squeeze one more auction in before at the end of the show um, because we want to do what? 13 millimetre oh round word. jadeites as our finale auction. Right, okay. That's, oh my goodness, these are incredible. Oh my goodness, the, wow. Look at these. Oh my goodness me. So you have here, firstly, remember we always talk about the surface luster? Yeah. We always talk about the luster of jade needing to look like a melting ice cube. It shouldn't be matte or opaque. It should have this beautiful glossy like appearance. They go perfectly with your Amazingly kits. Amazingly well, yeah. Um, and obviously we talk about translucency, we talk about the colors, but jade eye is usually cut into slices and then carved into whatever the shape it's right, going to be. Yeah. Um, they're normally cut. They're normally cut into 12 millimeter slices. So to get anything above that, like these, is very, very, very seldom seen. 275 wow. carats of, ta of natural type A um, jade. I look at the quality. It doesn't take me to say that. You can see right. that. It's not. It's not heavily opaque. I mean, it's an opaque gemstone, obviously, but. You're not seeing patterning in there. It's not mottled. Um, you've got a beautiful glossy surface luster. They glow. We're at £499. They're huge. These have got to be some of the largest jadeites we have within our vault. Should we do these under £100 today as our finale auction? It's, a, it's, the, it, it's the last auction of the weekend. Close out deals. <laughs> Type A grade. Yeah, they do have big drill they holes do, actually. Yeah. So yeah. even like the tech. Ooh, yeah. Gosh, they have. They're good. Two mil. Two yeah. millimeter yeah. drill holes. Brilliant. So you can put even some of your thicker gauges cords. Yeah. Seventy nine yeah. pounds and ninety nine pence only, or just twenty six pounds and sixty six pence on your zero percent interest split payment. Please tell me this quantity. Thirty available. Actually, there is. Yeah, that, that's good quantity yeah, yeah, for something of good. this size. Um, again, make sure you're checking out. They would go beautifully. I think alongside the whites. There, okay. <laughs> what do we reckon? Uh, or the green? Yeah, the green yeah. ones that we had in that multicolored parcel. I think that would be beautiful. Loving, loving each and every single one um, of. 
um, Mark's pieces in this hour. Absolutely beautiful. Sellout kits, not surprised by that. Um, it's been a busy show. I think it's been a lineup. Yeah, one not, not to mm. forget. Well, how did the black spinel end up in the end from this morning? The oh, nine o'clock. Sold out. Sold out as well. Yeah. All, all kits sell out day. All kits sold out. Yeah, Lots amazing. of sellouts today also. Wow. Um, yeah, if you have a little look at the website right now, oh, it's look. it's looking very similar. There's a few of your uh, of your fossil jasper strands, not many of those. It's been busy, um, and I've loved every minute of it. Now I'm back with you on Tuesday morning, so I'm not in tomorrow, oh. but back in on Tuesday morning. Um, Mark, when are you back? Friday. So it's a big, it's, it's a, a massive, big day. and the deal of the day. Again, it's down to me, I'm afraid. So, um, and if, all I'm, should I just say, if if you like your seed beads, mm -hmm. make sure you tune in in the eleven o'clock. You know what it is. Mm. Remind me. Oh yeah, I do yeah, 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 and watch out yeah. for the BT as well. It's amazing. Yeah. <laughs> I'll be with you on Tuesday morning. Enjoy the rest of your Sunday afternoon. Take care. Mm -hmm.